work into the bit rate. Alright, guess we're live, uh, Patches are uh, Howdy, we're back. Uh, so, all for right. anyone that just tuned in, uh, we just reset the stream, we got a recording for you, we're all good. But the names of the players are wrong, they are playing as uh, Bongo on the Green Falcon and Serb on the Red Ice. His both pronouns are he, him. So, that was how they. Makes it easier. Yeah, uh, hopefully, stream will be updated soon. Also, it's in progress. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, this is uh, hey, officially Dom. game one. That's fine. Love it. No, I, I think you want to just make sure we were right. Yeah. Which I appreciate. Also okay with this matchup. Um, I don't know. Dogwater, yeah, it is, it is me and Anthony. And so if someone is quiet and it's not me, then that's Anthony. Uh, you're fine. You're not, we're not in any rush. I'm just kind of acknowledging. Yeah, this is, uh, that is true. One, uh, the, yeah. Oh, oh. Drops it. Oh yeah, that mic needs to be close to your face. Okay. Oh, uh, drops it again. This is this is terrifying. This is terrifying. Oh no. Uh, oh, that reverse of Nana F smash is gonna bro. do it. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. Ice climbers won game one. Ice is like ice climbers. Yeah. If you want to do colors? I can tell you which one they are. Yes, Yep, and then the other one is green, normal falcon. Yeah. Cool, cool. And then we got the colors too. We got the oh my stream overlay kind of key. Like yeah. It, uh, did you hit update? Yeah. 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 Okay. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, that's why. That's why they changed. I wasn't paying enough attention. On the screen, we see what the streamer sees. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Um. Battlefield. Ah uh, yes, so, yes. This is a Falcon counterpick to Battlefield. Yeah, this is a great counterpick. Uh, platforms means that you can just more places to move around ICs. But, uh, it's still scary dealing with plats on the sides because um, ice is still so sharp. But Bongo has really good movement, so I think he can do it. No kind of. You might be in danger. Uh, that Blizzard is oh, barely makes it back. Gets a starts conversion against Nana. Oh, uh, pee. It's a really weird up interaction because I think Nana got need, oh, yeah. which oh. is why there was the electric effect. One of these, uh, I can do is Nana yeah, can, uh, can be chucked. Popo can chuck his girl and he just chucks him sometimes. And it is invincible. And it's invincible, is all I said. Nana is. And I think Popo is, while he's still accelerating? Yeah. I don't remember the exact details. That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of Icy's up B is invincible. No, I no, I meant the down B chucking. Okay. That's not invincible. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, okay. No. Saying, like, there's no way. I, I thought you meant like the, yeah, the okay, the actual up B throw. The down B throw. Okay. The down B where you're the Ice Blizzard. Oh yeah, just having Anna jump forward with yeah, Blizzard. Yeah. That is not, it is just very disjointed. Yeah, bro, you're, you're sort of trying to scare me, you're trying to give me a card. <laughs> no, no, that's not invincible, that's my bad. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication. Alright. And relatively even start again. And Servo's not actually been any of his uh, funny wall any of the, uh, Yeah, we really wall. haven't seen any handoffs. Which. Oh, okay. Sobo by. As y'all know, Sobo. Not the best in Argus Falcon. Uh, not yeah, not, not the world's best matchup, but. Yo, know, Sobo just kind of bad in general. Oh yeah, well that was a nice read on the tech end. Unfortunately, you're gonna get completely stuffed out going for that forward air. Uh, nice drift from Serb. That was a terrifying spot to be against the Falcon. Yeah, just gonna wait for the side B. Grab, not, didn't grab ledge. Uh, 
close to space. I think it's, um, mm -hmm. it's for Facebook Melee talking about this. Okay. Uh, starting just close to space because then it's like, you know, your, your chance of hitting them to be higher because they're so close. Yeah. And you cut off their ankles. You don't give them chances to float down with a mix-up on their drift or anything. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, read the jump. Yeah. Yeah, just back here. And then... Dash attack. It, it, it was working. Didn't quite get the whole edge guard off it, but it did send back off stage. I respect the dash attack, though. That stuff's good. Yeah, just shield the down smash. Not worried about getting grabbed. That was back air, I think. Or you did a full up up air into back air. Okay. But when you do up air, you usually want to control up auto cancel. I, I don't know, maybe there was a jump expected somewhere or some other aspect of the interaction I wasn't quite ready for. Oh, uh, yeah, just knee shield right away. As uh, not quite, yeah. The Falcon's too heavy, too much of a fast faller. Anthony, move your mic closer to your mouth, please. Closer. 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 Closer to your mouth. Closer. Where'd Dom put it? Oh, okay. Well, that's probably fine. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone tell the production team they're doing great, and Anthony's mic is just too far from his mouth. Bit of a uh, technical difficulty coming in for the end of game one there, but uh, that is one one. That's not. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, can that's cool. Can they hear you now? <laughs> All right. Okay, all right. All set for game three. Game three. Yep. All. All right. Uh, not sure what the restart was there, but. Okay. I think someone just wasn't ready. Makes sense. All right. All right. Now this is gonna be a big one. This is I the one I was worried. So when you are playing against ice climbers, uh, they want to choose one of the three like, stages that have the least climb. So okay. So FD and Green Hill. Okay. And when they choose, uh, the thing is you usually want to make Green Hill and FD, so now this is what we got. Yeah. And yeah. so Serb's going to abuse the fact that there's little platform to play, to play you know, Serb's ground game is really strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's fun. Oh. Just don't care. Really nice kill on Smack them so over there. So hard there. Yeah, I mean, I can't say I blame him. As much as Serp is not really demonstrated hitting a lot, uh, well, we got one there. I was just as about to say, not really demonstrated a lot of confirms off of that initial grab, besides maybe just like a forward smash or something. We haven't really oh, seen a lot of the damage building. Oh, you, oh no. I did it twice in a row. I need to, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking, let the, let the game decide itself. I, that was horrific. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right, I know, right when I was starting to say that the grabs were not looking terrifying. Uh, just a little too low trying to get the sweet spot. Oh yeah, but the thing is when you die at under 50 twice in 20 seconds because you got grabbed, I, you gotta have a little bit of a hard time clutching that one back, and that's just that's just natural, unfortunately. <sighs> really nice. Yeah, definitely a mountain to climb. Any grab is potential death, even at seven. So. Yeah. 
if the ice climbers get broken up a little bit, moved around. Uh, squall heavier. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, the jab was a little scary, but not. We're just kind of seeing a lot of neutral, a lot of quick pokes, not a lot of big confirms or lots there of commitment from anything. Yeah. Uh, just not getting. Just not quite aggressive enough on the edge guards. You gotta jump out there and hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Jump out, hit them. That's that uh, little bit of micro drift back and forth over the edge of the stage about whether or not they're gonna land on the stage, on the platform, on the ledge, all of that. You can just avoid it, and I think that frame of mind and edge guarding is really what Bongo needs to actually implement here. Uh, <laughs> not, yeah, not really getting a. Uh, not missed it again. 150 against Sopo. It's a little hard to hit, apparently. Oh, just really ready on that jump again. Yeah, really brutal meter. Sorry, I'm also not being very loud. Alright, what would you expect? Now for the stage counter pick. Probably, uh, stadium, gone? Uh, stadium is not gone on screen. Probably we're gonna get stadium or uh, what is it? Uh, cavern. Yeah, I'm not sure. Him, you know, FOD, unless he's comfortable like doing like weird plans, chill drop stuff. But the way he play, Bongo plays, like, 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 <sighs> yeah, and I also feel like FOD, you're equally liable to get caught by the platform being just low enough for you to get grabbed. Oh, change. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's. He's been playing a lot more Fox recently. I had no idea. Oh, you might want to switch the character to Fox. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, green is the third one, I believe. No, fourth one. No, that's not that one. one. I got let it. let Anthony do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's one. You got it, you got it. Sick. All right. All right. Um, box pick? Okay, same thing. I'm expecting PS2. Okay. No, back to Falcon. I don't know what's going on. All right. I guess he had, you know, Bongo had a moment of just clarity. It's like, thank you. Yeah. Metal Tavern Arm Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the big thing about this stage is uh, that one flat, it comes into play so often in the matchup. I believe it. It's a little terrifying to me, to be honest. I feel like... I feel like Ice Climbers can still make use of that platform pretty well, as opposed to some of the shorter ones, but... It yeah. does change Nanda's AI logic, at least, so... Really like the up air string, but you can't just let Sopo fetch Nanda back like that every single time. It's good damage on Nanda, but you're, if you're not able to convert it into anything... Yeah. Nice. Ooh, okay. Much cleaner pickup that time after splitting up the ice climbers. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh my god, I just forgot to switch back to Falcon. Yeah, yeah, this is Falcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, getting our stream guy just making sure. Yeah. With no, neither of us noticed. We're like, oh my god, it's Falcon. <laughs> yeah. Remember to switch it off, not back. Alright. That's yeah, Neon Nana splitting him up. I uh, didn't quite get anything else off of that. Just yeah. kind of retreating to center stage. And uh, this is kind of what I expected. Uh, a lot of space and those platforms. Bongo shield drop moving really good. I like seeing the ledge grab on the tether. I kind of wish I'd seen that when Serb saved Nana uh, early on last talk. Ooh, that was such but... a quick shield drop. Oh my god, Bongo's got those. Oh. Ooh, very nice. Quick kill on Nana. And up a stock. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, just pretty. Oh wow, up two whole stocks this game. Yeah, after after last game where uh, 
Game oh wow, yeah. yeah. Game of Smashville, where uh, we unfortunately watched Bongo just get just, just get crabbed. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I really like that make you some more space and playing uh I, right as I was about to say, avoiding grabs, but that's served didn't really get anything. Oh, oh what? the double hit. Double hit yeah. Yeah. I really like what I'm seeing, just perfectly calculating where exactly he wants to be. It's insane how the momentum is Again, Nana's just that. dead. Yeah, dude. It's insane that the one change, but depending on who, uh, who's winning, you feel like a whole different atmosphere. They're, yeah. they're slugging. Yeah, it, it feels like, I mean, the Smash Bros. game, it just was seemed like any single time that there was an interaction, if it involved a grab, you were dead as Falcon. Right? Was this one? Uh, yeah. unfortunate. No. It's hard to grab Falcon in this stage, dog. Yeah. <laughs> this game was, uh, it's 2-2. Two -two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very nice to see a game 5, keeping it close. Now it's stadium. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think they're going to stadium. I think they're doing GSR. No, it's, is it? I. No. Yeah, I was gonna say a Falcon holding center stage with Nair is not necessarily button check. Uh. Yeah, they're just playing super non-committal, super, super restrained, super careful. Just both. Oh. 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 No. Oh my God! just. Yeah. Just gets one, and that's that's the first really long handoff I think we've seen yeah, all set. And where you did, didn't have to go to a game five, you pulled that out early. Yeah, you didn't have to go to game five, <laughs> dog. You could have just started okay. doing this from game one. No, I we, we saw a couple attempts at handoffs, and it just wasn't quite fitting. So I think now finding groove a little bit, the pressure of game five. It, it is nice to see some handoffs, although this just makes things even more like terrifying for Bongo. I like the stomp splitting up the climbers any single time, like especially Nana goes up to that top platform, it takes ages for them to regroup. Nana's just dead. Yeah. It's just who yeah, who can get those neutral ones better, who can confirm those kills better. You already expect a certain type of play. Uh that needs yeah. Forward throw. I I like it, but I feel like that edge guard was uh, not quite as optimal as it could be. Nice. Yeah. Oh no, no lag on that one. Probably just high enough. Yeah. Oh, that's the second time. Oh, the second time Serb has gotten just a read on a roll. Into smash attack and two stocks apiece. Game five. This is uh, ah, this matchup is so volatile, too. Both these players can just completely decimate the other one at a moment's notice. Oh, Nana went up a little too high. I like the way that he's holding space from there. I like the way that he's kind of just not committing, not jumping in with an aerial, not going to get grabbed. As I say that, there are two aerials, but it didn't get grabbed, which is the part that matters. Uh, and, uh, oh, 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 there were, there were shenanigans there. Uh, they can do that in HDR too, which is why I play them part way. Uh, not gonna, not gonna get anything. Just force the wave dash back. Not gonna get, yeah, not gonna get the kill. Bit of a percent lead for Serb here, but yeah, I, I feel like whoever takes this stock is 
really gonna have a much better time with the next one as well. Oh uh, yeah, this is this is looking really good for Bongo. Two stocks. Kill Nana, don't die to Popo. Uh oh. Uh no, missed it unfortunately. Yeah, Nana full hopped again. That's the second time we've seen that in this game. Yeah, just oh, oh just completely ready. Gets the reverse into the forward smash. Absolutely brutal angle, and that's one stock apiece, no percent. Game five. And every single movement they make is terrifying. And, oh, that oh. Uh, missed the missed the knee. Oh. Just quick double jab. Yep. I I like the patience from both of these players right now, just holding their space. Throw out things that are non-committal. <laughs> Bongo cannot get grabbed, and Serb cannot get split up. Oh, as I say it. Oh no. Oh, the reverse hit of the knee. Nana is Nana is at really high percent. Popo's at 60, but one grab does so much more than any of that is the problem. Until Nana's dead, this is incredibly scary. And even then, we've seen a fair. Yeah. There's a there's a box for it. Uh, let's that ba oh the backer is gonna do it. Edge guard situation. We haven't seen a comeback this caliber from Serb Sopo so far, but it it is possible. But I feel I feel like it might just uh not really hitting as many of those. That's gonna do it. Yeah. Very close game five set from Sir Bongo there. From Sir, Sir and Bongo there. No, no, no. I'm I'm doing perfectly fine. I just love seeing some good gameplay. Yeah, as as per usual, I do get to read out. Uh, we are sponsored in part by a place called Cooper's Cave. It has games and paintball, and we're very appreciative here at LGS. And if uh, you guys want to, you know, head down to Cooper's Cave, eat some paintball, and, you know, you want to just bring a Red Bull, you know? We, we, we are, are also Red sponsored Bull. by Red Bull. By Red Bull we right are now. greatly appreciated. If you guys to Cooper's Cave, maybe they have, you know, just bring a Red Bull there, too. <laughs> Uh, that's... Okay. Uh... Oh, uh, Serb's side is not updating. The webcam, yeah. Watch and learn. So once again, uh, if you guys are also here, uh, remember this game, game and paintball, games and paintball, the Red Bull characters. Support them, they're cool, they're sponsored. Uh, they're uh, so right now it should be Watch and Learn and Boyko. If I can go back yeah, to it. Um, It is incredibly stacked. For the people at home, you know, we're in a stacked tournament. Uh, there's a blood bad player. Like, go! Frozen, like, Frozen, she played on the game, like, constantly. Winner settings of the world is insane. Okay. Uh, I believe this is also winner semis. Yeah, winner semis. Uh, swap the sides, yeah. Oh uh, wait, uh, you wanted to swap the names because the side is okay. Or swap the characters. Swap the characters. Yeah. Yeah. Going back with the rock. I, I'm learning new things today. I did not realize that Watch and Learn had a Rob and was intending to actually just play it.
Oh, well. Unfortunately, just a sludge dash. Hey, hey, the, the timing changes between characters. Yeah, All right, when we when we see a new one drop, we can't get too mad about the character specific things. Like, like, Mainly Rob with Game Watch on the side. That is good information. Thank you, Moto. Oh yeah, especially under pressure, playing against Boyko in your winner semis of pools. I this this tournament is insane. The pressure you have to be under to play like this in a competition this stacked is uh it's it's impressive. I would not blame any competitor for faltering a bit or missing clutch dash. Oh, no, we are getting it now. It's our chance to commentate. But very clean edge guard pickup. Is having a good start to this game, up a full stock, give or take. But just converting all the jabs. Oh, the laser. Just maybe a little too far for Fair to. Act. Oh, I like the edge cancel. Yeah, the DAC is gonna do it. to two stocks apiece though, which, I, yeah, especially after that miss ledge dash at the very start of the game, it's just really not spending much time at all playing from behind. I believe it. I mean, a lot of matchups versus Meta Knight aren't that character's uh, aren't very difficult matchups for that character, yeah. But. And you need your mic closer to your mouth, they cannot hear you. You, you need to actually be eating it. Yeah, there you go. Alright, is that... Uh, you need to say something, yeah. One stock apiece, Gyro is gone at the very end. You moved it back away again. When you're, whenever you're just playing with it, you keep moving it back away from your mouth. You, you keep adjusting it away from your mouth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's alright. 70, 80 percent. Another last stock game. Yeah. Oh. Is watch them close this out. Uh, yeah, the side beat destroyed. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. All the way across stage. And there was that unfortunate ledge dash that we talked about, but very close game still to start it off on Battlefield. Uh, the webcam? Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're, yeah that's, that's, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Amazing face on stream. Okay. Oh, uh, that is a good point, Artie. I doubt they would be heard through my mic, but. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, there's been a fair amount of production adjustment going on. Uh, I was apologizing to stream, you're fine. So, let's see. Again, incredibly even so far. Really just nice conversions for both players. Jows gets sent away, but just... Just able to chain three up tilts in a row. Oh, 
very nice there. Uh, Danner's not quite gonna hit, which very well would have sealed the sock. Yep, nice cape. Not gonna kill. I don't know if you know how the, the main uh, thing is special. It's just, just kind of Meta Knight hitting uh, Rob off stage and then continuously hitting him back off. Just edge really guarding. Kill. Yeah. Usually. Oh. Uh oh, he might be dead. Uh -oh. Abbott. Avoids the gyro, makes the right back. Yeah. Nice, up smash, yeah, up smash was a really nice way to close out that stock, but uh, it is still two stocks to one on Watch and Learn's counter pick. So, very interested to see how this game ends up going, if Watch and Learn's gonna be able to pull this back, make use of the quant like qualities the stage has that makes it good for Rob here, or if it's just gonna be more of the same, and I, Every hit is brutal. I don't. That's definitely a kill. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see. I guess you might be swapped out to regardless. Oh uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But we'll for this game currently, it is looking close again. It's definitely a very scary percent for Watch and Learn. Yeah, but no... Boyko's also just starting to pick up enough percent where he might need to worry a little bit. Oh, tries to go for an instant cape for kill. Not gonna... Oh. oh. Uh, oh, lift, lift, we kid, yeah, we kid of Nair is still gonna do it. That is 2 0 for Boyko so far. I wonder if we'll see the same stage again or if there will be another swap. Like the counter pick. Uh, Character first. So yeah, they, well, they already got rid of Sage, so. Yeah. I do you think uh, Washington will want to go back to Smashville after that? Yeah, he didn't do all, or he didn't do bad. I should say he did really good. Like he could have won. Yeah, there there was a lot that was really good there. I'm just not sure if you're gonna be looking for more of a uh, more of an advantage on a different stage or maybe a slightly different dynamic on a different stage. Yeah. And stadium. We're seeing stadium. All right. Yeah. Really hard to like pin down. Oh, for sure. And so good. Meta Knight is an incredibly strong character. Oh Boy is an incredibly strong player. Like you, you're gonna have to work for anything that you get. And then you just get up air chain. Oh, can't get down, dude. Up air chain. Oh my God, second kill. Close though. Yeah. I think uh, we are having issues with all of the cameras and uh, basically everything in production chat. So uh, please, yeah, just just bear with us. We're doing everything that we can. Be nice to the production team; they deserve it. All right. Oh, the gyro! Unfortunately. Yeah, panic option there with Meta Knight is it is really good. Uh, Nair's gonna do it. Wow. Off the top. Nair's really gonna kill him. It is. So good. And then, oh, here we go. Loops again. Yeah, oh. the shield drop up air into so more up loops. airs. Oh, can you get him back in? That down tilt was also really good. So many aspects of this are incredibly well spaced. Yeah, it yeah, just Boyko. looks inescapable. Boyko moves so good. He moves like a dancer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Didn't quite grab the gyro again, but threatened to do it. Yeah, just making great use of destroys, shields, shield grabs, all of the, every single thing about this. And now Watch and Learn is down a whole stock and and disadvantage again. I. Mm. 
just dead, yeah. Was, was incredible. Uh, he could glide toss to cancel the air dodge, maybe miss the input, or just was not ready to do so, and thought he'd slide into the stage. I, wow, what a recovery. <laughs> Oh yeah. Also, wait, I want to talk about that. I don't know what people were saying. Our meta is actually bad. Yo, that that looks great. I love that. It's if it hits, it's very good. I love getting rewarded. Uh, let's see. Nice, nice kill from Watch and Learn. But again, we're seeing two stocks to one, and this is looking. This is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, one, one quick kill here will do so, just, just absolutely do wonders for Watch and Learn's chances in this set, but. The more we keep talking, the more that chip damage is just adding up. 82 oh now. God. That really, uh, incredibly nice kill there, but just, uh, yeah, edge cancel too. Yeah, down, down throw to edge cancel, down B is going to do it. All right. I need to go play my set. Yeah. Goodbye. Have fun. Thanks for having me. Ah, some use these glasses are. They're fogging up. Um, I'll take it off. Really, um, I'm only uh, keeping. Really, I only keep on the the mask in conversations like this because it complements the fit. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, uh, my name is Moldrifter, pronouns he, him. So, am I supposed to hear anything out of these, uh, these buds? Okay. That's okay. Yes, yes. It's it's a, a cool, brisk Sunday afternoon. A perfect day to play PM here in snowy, sunny Lake George, New York. Yeah, you know, when when you're down in New Jersey like I am, uh, it's like a snow desert there. There's like no snow there. And you know, on one hand, it's great because I like to drive around in my car. But on another hand, snow pretty. Snow pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. we also sponsored by Cooper's Caves, Games of Paintball, and Red Bull. Oh, yes. Uh, wait, Red, Red Bull is sponsoring this tournament. We have a sponsor. That's neat. Wow. We have time? 
shout out to Cooper's Cave. Uh, if you ever want to play games or play games of paintball, then, then Cooper's Cave is your place to go. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm down uh, to go to Cooper's Cave to play games and paintball while chugging my Red Bull. Yeah, oh, let's chug some big Red Bulls. Mm hmm. And then now we have so Domlash or Scalo. I'm really curious to see how this match is going to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have Zelda and Mario. So. Uh, Mario is really infamous for his very easy looking combos, uh, but Zelda on the other hand, very floaty lady. So I, I imagine that Domlax is going to be able to use the floatiness jumper, air dodge at Gallo's combos, so it's up to Gallo. I know Gallo will do this, he's a good player, but it is up to Gallo to uh, catch Dom when he is evading the combos to really uh, keep the things going. Yeah. In every direction, it just hits hard and all of them. Mm hmm. It's scary stuff. And Dom, you know, well, he's, not, he's nice with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he is nice with it. Uh, he's been on the come up lately. I am excited to see what Dom will do. Uh, I'm excited to see him take a game. I'm excited to ta see him take a set. Uh, but Gallo, uh, Gallo is one of one of our, our vintage players. Uh, if you play PM, then you probably know that he is nobody to be trifled with. Whenever he is active. Wait a minute. What's, what, what's, uh, what round of pool is this? Wait, is he winner semis? Yeah. Uh, okay, um, it looks like, did, did you see that, um, you, you are unable to be heard? I'm unable to be heard? All right, early, early. say, say testing, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're getting right into it. So both of them are just exchanging blows. Dom, the first one to get stage control. Okay, but, but Gallo just uh, doing it right back. So I like what Dom is doing, sort of like walling out where Gallo can go and can't go with that Din's fire. Uh, that's a really bad place to be, right in front of Zelda and her fireball. Oh, but, but Gallo gets Domlax with his signature dunk, the forward air. Doesn't really dunk, but wow, Dom makes a really good recovery. Claim center stage again. Uh, in games... In games like these, it is really, really important to maintain center stage. Uh, whether you are just trying to like get in with Mario and restrict uh, the opponent's movement by cornering them into ledge, or if you're Zelda, you want to like sort of ping pong with the fireball. Um, both both aspects of the center stage, offensive and defensive, pressuring, comboing, it's all very important. And it all starts at the center of the stage. So Gallo had taken the first stock. I, I kind of like that alley oop that Dom did, uh, getting Gal off the stage. Yeah. Okay. So misses misses the lightning kick, but that's okay. That's okay, because Dom still has Gal in a pretty good place, and that is the stock uh, with a 42 to zero deficit and 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 even stocks. Uh, it could still be anyone's game, which is why I would say if Gallo d didn't just do whatever the heck he did. Huh? Um, I mean, I, I can't really hear you because I got my earbuds on. Headphones? These are headphones. So I'm, I'm not a good person to ask. But like, I could, I could process what you're saying. Yeah, okay, but, uh, you know, the longer this game one is going, the bleaker it is looking for Dom. Uh, you know, anything's possible, but we are going to have to see Dom cast some serious magic. Oh, I'm too loud, okay. So I'm just going to move the, the mic a little bit away from myself. Okay, we're, we're going to balance out the sound. All right, so I'm going to keep talking about this game, and it's up to you guys to, to tell us how we're doing volume-wise. Okay. 
Okay, and Gallo takes a convincing two stock. Okay, okay, so we're doing game two in Metal Cavern, so uh, what everybody at home is asking is why did Domlax take Gallo to Metal Cavern? Well, I'm going to tell you what I think is the deal here. So Mario's comboing Zelda, and Zelda can double jump, and she can air dodge out of things, but with that giant wide platform looming above the stage, um, that means that Zelda suddenly has another option in many situations. Oh, that was so sick! Let's go, Dom! Uh, she could sort of like tech roll out of Mario's combos. And sure, Gallo can extend the combo by reading the roll, but that means he'd have to read the roll, or at least react super good. <gasps> oh, Dom. Yeah, he, he tried to like ledge camp, but... Okay, are, are, are we gonna stare each other in the eyes and... We're, we're gonna use one mic. Yeah. We're gonna use, yeah, pass the mic. Plus, that's a better mic. This mic's not working right now. I'm innovating. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Here's me and Mole Drifter. We're... Yes, we are sharing a <laughs> We're mic. sharing a mic. Yeah, no. This is like, we, we gotta, let's keep our space even so we can, you know... I'm gonna take off my pants. Smart, smart, smart. Okay, yeah, this, this is the strat. We're uh, sharing one mic because I'm like, yo, wait, wait a minute. Now we can, they can hear us both. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, nice lightning kick Yo. by Mr. Domlax. Okay, okay. Uh, sort of like pivoting away from Gal. I'm loving Dom's movement right here. Oh, the, he put him upwards. I, I love that Osmanish box. It's so funny. Sharking? Oh, sharking. That's uh, successful. Rough. Uh, okay, uh, so I feel like Dom sort of panicked and shield a little bit. Nice kicks. Yeah, this is fine. We did it, we did it. We did it, Reddit. Yo, Anthony Invane, let's get it! That's what I'm here for! This is how we used to do at a hog when it was bad. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it right happens. Oh, nice. I think Dom can take it. Oh! Let's go, Dom. Let's my man cook yellow. But he is, he is the T.O. Show some respect. Oh! Oh, kicks! Yo! Can he... No, I should switch mics and get No, 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 that one, that one doesn't work. It's too, too quiet. That was a problem. Yeah, they like this. Oh. Yeah, this is how we're doing it. Oh, I thought, I thought you said that. Headphone breaks now. Okay, that's good. It's just not, not loud. It's not loud. Yeah, they're the same headphones. Okay. Well, that might... Yeah, the... Oh, yeah, that, that mic's too bad, but, um, Dom? No, mold that, mold that, that mic's too quiet. That was the problem. That's why we were using one. Is it? Yeah. Okay, let's get it. Okay, uh, oh yeah, last talk. It's Dom. And, uh, Dom and, uh, Gallo. This is crazy. Can uh -huh. Dom get a good hit in, though? He can take this game. Gallo has a center of the stage, Mario. Oh god. Oh, plus he's, no, he's, he's danger. Uh -huh. Oh, but Zelda, with her bullet, it's Dom, uh, Gallo had to read that Dom, but he didn't. So, so, so Dom Lax is still in this. He has the center stage. The world oh. is his voice. Oh! Oh! Tech chase! That's oh. DI or SDI by oh. Gallo. Tress call to jump. Back throw. Nice setup. Gets him in a good spot. Okay. Oh! Wait a minute! That smash! Oh, trap! Misses! Oh, he's going hard! Dude, they're going. Oh my god! Dom Lax! Domlax stole the game! Two. We can see an upset here. Domlax can make waves. Bro, that he, he sniped the game! What a gamer! Yeah. We'll have a little bit of, not just fairy time bias because you know Domlax home region. Hang out with him a lot. Yep. So I got a little bit, but yeah, yeah Domlax, Domlax game won game one. The score right now is 1-1. One, one. Yeah, insane. Gallo really freaking good at the game. So where are we gonna go next? We can't go to Middle three because uh, Dom banned both of them. <laughs> yo, you, yo, we pit both middle three. Yeah. Oh and, my and then, god. Like, and then Gallo one on one of them. Yo, if you hear in the background, you hear Dom laughing about it. <laughs> Dom and Gallo are laughing about it. I think it's like, yo, you banned middle three. <laughs> yeah, like who does that? What kind of sociopath? Only a greedy T.O. with that middle three. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, he's just trying to win his money. He's trying to make some money off his, uh, the tournament he's running. Yeah, th 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 this was all a scam. He's scam, <laughs> Yo, scam lax out here right now, <laughs> taking our money. <laughs> scam lax. Oh no, he's getting bodied. Oh, no. No. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I got found out. Hey, hey, time to make a speedy getaway. All right. Uh, how do you feel about the stage dress, by the way? I'm so final destination. So I feel like this is a very perceptive pick by Gallo because Gallo said, okay, you know, uh, Dom is escaping too many of my combos by taking up from platform. What if we had no platform? So he has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Combo intensive characters like Mario, they have both final destination. Yeah, that's true. It takes away those pesky platforms that people can escape the combos with. Yeah, and I realized, uh, Gallo Sharking, Lobbiter, and Dom's, oh my god. Yeah, it is so rough because Dom needs those platforms. Yeah, I feel like his, uh, Dom's footsies games, more to makes up for the fact that, like, you know, when, when he gets, he's getting charged a ton. Yeah, this might, this might be a rough game, but yeah. Dom should collect info here. You know, I think that might also be because, uh, that was a really good, uh, game that Dom got. Usually, when you see, like, sort of, like, a violation of the status quo like that, it, it could cause the, the underdog to shake a little bit. Yeah, you know, and, and if he can just, like, use this game to calm down, collect some info, I think he'll do it really good. Yeah, sometimes just need that cooldown game before you, uh, you play for real, return to your, your normal cadence. Yeah, and oh, whoa, yo, what was... Did you see that edge cancel? That was insane! You no, know, that, that, that's why Gallo's a top player. No, 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 that was Dom! Oh yeah, Dom. That's why Dom is on the road to being a top player. <laughs> I love you, Wolf Drifter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Drifter. <laughs> uh, okay, really nice lightning kick, so... Oh? No, that's a hard yeah. one. Yeah, Mario has a really good recovery. Yeah. Uh, on top of, like, having three of his moves being able to uh, accentuate his trajectory to stage, uh, his, his up special is really fast as iframes at the beginning. Uh, it's just really hard to challenge. Oh. No kill there. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is... Honestly, I think I'm having this weird feeling. I see the future, and it says, this game might be close. This game might be close. I I feel like uh, a stock ago, Dom was like, sort of weaving together the, the deficit. And if it could happen once this game, I'm sure it could happen again. And you know, maybe my prediction's wrong, but maybe it's right. That's what we're about to see. Oh my god, Dom. Okay, so I feel like uh, Gallus are about the lightning. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta hit it right past, then you're gonna go for a lightning kick. Oh, nice you kicks. went for a lightning kick. Love, love me some kicks. So Dom needs to be fucking magical with his play. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get some kicks in. Uh, oh, no, that's rough. Oh, but uh, only back throw. With every point, with every hit Gallo gets, it becomes like way harder for Dom to make that comeback. Exponentially, because yeah. Gallo's been winning a ton of like these interactions. Uh, oh. Oh, he's just like sort of flouncing back. <laughs> with, <laughs> he's, he's just trying to like spam shield grab and smash attacks. What are you, seven? <laughs> he just spent every smash attack in the book. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could because it's like if he trades, he wins. Up smash, down smash, uh, up smash, forward up, smash. Oh, and don't forget the triple up smash and the forward smash. And uh, earned a double up smash. Devil up smash. Uh, you know, there's this thing called the no mix up mix up where like yeah. the thing that, um, you are least expected to do is what you just did after you, uh, you oh. it. Yeah, I love spamming too. I know in the really uh, the, the old school days of melee, as would do that a lot, just forward smash, you'll get shielded, then you forward <laughs> smash again. Or that's just the mute, dude, Mute King does that a ton too. He just, he'll, he'll just execution test you, but, or like double, like jump check you with double smash, and, I'm, and you fall for it because it's smart. Sometimes you're not ready for it. So, so Mario, also a pretty flouncy guy, was able to uh, pretty handsomely uh, up special out of whatever Dom was trying to cook right yeah. there. Oh, now De Gallo's cooking? Oh. Oh, but gets reversaled. Can Dom make anything out of this reversal? No. <laughs> Scare yourself, you might be dead, yeah. Indeed. But it's uh, the game is still young. I really like this pick screen also. Me too. Uh, I feel like Dom might be trying to take advantage of the kicks? lightning kicks. Yeah, yeah, just like that. I don't think it would have killed in a bigger stage. Yeah, no, you know, Dom's really good about his 50-50s. Keeps yeah. him fresh. Uh, what, what sort of side kill does Mario have? I know that he, he likes to dunk. He can uh, back air. Yeah, he can back air. And then he has, uh, his, he has his forward air, which kind of kills off the side. It does, yeah. It's a very diagonal trajectory, like what we just saw. Right yeah. Here. Also, down smash and F smash kill off the side. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like, you know, of course, Gala has some sauce here, but uh, this is Dom's stage. Oh? oh the, yo, the wall jump plays his wild jump ether. Yo, he didn't want to recover normally. He didn't want to get touched. Oh, nice. That'll smash. Insane. It has iframes on it, by the way. 
love that guy. He's just like that. Oh my god. Dom's trying to play his foot. Oh. I don't know what Dom's doing. He's going back for it, but... Oh. Ah. I, he had the read, though. Yeah, yeah. That's a good read by Gallo. Or by Dom, but you know, Gallo. I, I got my name uh -huh. mixed up. Oh. Okay, unfortunate. Big break for Dom. Bro, Dom likes? So Big it's break? up to Gallo to like, just not break mentally. Oh? This oh, yo. SD. I think yo. that he sort of is being shaken by the fact oh. that he sort of like, loves his wave land. Oh, wait, Dom. No, Dom, Dom, Dom. Oh, my. Dom. You're so trash. No, you gotta go. You gotta fucking go straight up with that, Dom. You don't gotta. For... <sighs> Why am I mansplaining Zelda to a Zelda main? I don't even play this character. It's it's rough. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't... and like. I saw it coming, you saw it coming, it's unfortunate, but yeah. you know, that, that's the law of conservation of unfortunateness. Yo, get oh, Gal, Gal playing little, these little games right now, he's confident in his game plan. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it, that, that SD by Dom really helped perfect his mentality. It was a show of solidarity. Oh, nice. Doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, wait, wait, oh, beautiful wait. Oh, There's still a chance? The Dom Lax is still in this, ladies and gentlemen. Game of four of winner's quarters in the Lake George Showdown. I've seen worse situations. People come back from worse. Yeah. Oh. It's going to be a major clutch factor. Yo. Clutch Lax? Yo, yeah, Clutch Lax coming out? He gets a pit, and that starts maintaining, maintaining <gasps> stage control, reclaiming it. Sorry. Gallo wants a small little hit in. Gallo, he's just doing such a good job, like, sort of barring the door into that. Oh. Stage, he does it. He has that really good move. Efficient. Really good stage control. And he advances to, to winner's semis. Good shit from Gallo, also good shit from Dom, making it close and exciting. Yo, he really just went a fish. He just did everything safe out of the threat range of Zelda. What a freaking gamer. Yeah, yeah, re really incredible stuff by Gallo. Uh, he's, he's a good player for a reason. You want to know what's also incredible? My mom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cooper's game <laughs> games of baseball. <laughs> We'll have a fun time at Cooper's Games and Paintball. Who is it? Mad Man! <laughs> I love you, Mole Drifter. And also... Muscle Man should uh, get a Red Bull soon, too. Because our sponsor tonight yeah. is Red Bull. Uh, uh, another sponsor. Muscle Man, Muscle Man chucks Red Bull. Uh, Muscle Man's mom chucks Red Bull. And, and you guys... Wombat... Versus Mar, I am excited to see this. My my, my honest reaction to this information. Yeah. You think Wombat drinks wet Red Bull and goes to Cooper's Caves games and PayPal at the same time? All the time. I've oh seen my him god, do it absolutely, dude. With my own eyes. I kind of want a Red Bull, not gonna lie. I actually want to really go here too. <laughs> but yeah, uh. It's, it's like working. Sponsorship is working. No, of course, you know, they're cool peeps. Cooper's Caves and Cooper's Cave and um Red Bull. Yeah. Score. Great sponsors. Uh, Thank you for supporting the scene. They, they love esports, they love DM. Then you know? We love them. Yeah. Okay, Wombat versus who's the other player? I can't see them. That's Mar. Uh so who's Mar main these Oh uh, Marf. I don't think Mar is gonna in any way go Sonic, obviously. He's Yeah, so Marth has a really good match against Squirrel. Squirrel has teeny tiny stunning chubby hitboxes. Uh, and Marth has big hitboxes. Well, yeah. Mad Knight's also not a great matchup for Squirtle, so, so Marth, Mad Knight, they're both good versus So, Mad. it's not, uh, that's a good Wombat color, the normal one, don't worry. But, um, what is it? So, while you think that the Marth, you know, the thing about Marth is that, you know, he can easily kill Squirtle, like, big hit with hitboxes. Most Marths struggle with the mad Squirtle matchup, so they'll usually resort to switching like this. Yeah. Because it is, like, when you are still learning, even if you're only alright at the matchup, I think Squirtle actually does better. It's when you become really good at the Marf, uh, Squirtle matchup, does Marf, I think, win. Yeah. Which I think he does win. But uh, a lot better for Marf, you know, go, Medite. This matchup's a lot worse for Squirtle. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. You know, Wombat even told me on the way here. Um, he's like, Marf, I mean, Man Knight does not. Squirtle does not do good against. Squirtle does not do good against Man Knight. You can see I'm warming up just as they are. How do you do now? By the way, you're still in? Oh, I'm still in, yeah. Let's go. You made top uh, top cut? Let's go. Oh, I didn't even ask. I'm sorry. That's all. I mean, we're on pops. Yeah, that's true. But also, shout outs to my, my homie here, Mold Drifter, for making top cut of bracket in Project that, Thank at you. Project Thank Plus you. at Lake George Snowdown. It wasn't easy. The odds were against me, but I'm here. 
take blood and take names. Nice. Are you winners or losers? Losers. I, I couldn't edge it out against Serb. You know, Ice Climber's hard. Yeah. Ice Climber's doable, but Ice Climber's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're placing? All right, all right. All right. Thank you so much for being on comps with me, Anthony. Uh, and uh, joining me is, is Zubat. My... My, my 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 regional pal. Uh, so, oh yeah. Okay, Zubat showing up, but wow, uh, they are just uh, they are just uh, flying the sparks right here. Hello. So is this game one, right? Yes, this is game one. They just uh, got in it. Of course, you know our boy Wombat. He is he's doing really well despite the matchup. Yeah, yeah, I guess we're commentating All like right, this. So, still. Uh, we got That's an even start. Three stocks each. Seven minutes on the clock. We're going into game. Talking one. to this one. I thought this is the one. Oh. Just just play it down. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's get real cozy. Alright, so. Uh, not much to say about this matchup. It's just a lot of hit and run. Yeah. Yeah, so Meta has a lot of recovery options, but they are reasonably telegraphed, especially before he uses his moves. Uh, if Wombat can catch uh, Mar in a spot uh, that he knows he's going to save for a little while, then you know, of course, Wombat's going to get the edge guard by just like going off stage, probably roaring a bear or something. Yeah, oh my god, this combo while wow, it's cooking will this lead to a waterfall? No, it will not because that was some good some good drifting by Mar. But okay. Oh we got the down throw. That was a that was a pretty bad DI uh, by Mar. So Wamet likes to do this sort of DI mix up thing where uh, if he DI out, then if he reads it, down throw kills. Uh, otherwise, uh, he DI's in. Then I think it's like the up throw that sends him like straight up and that goes for a combo and it goes for a kill. So it, it, it's a 50-50, and Wombat sort of tilts the scales a little bit. Yeah, so I feel like in this matchup, uh, especially Mad Knight, with, he has really good mobility, really good frame data, uh, really, really uh, crack shots at Edge Guarding Squirrel. Oh my god, Wombat's cooking with his signature waterfall finisher. He hit it with the turnaround up there to mix up the DI so he can get the, the waterfall. Indeed he did. Okay, so we are going to the Green Hill Zone. I don't know about this choice because a lot of Wombat preferred kill methods uh, is... See, the, the, waterfall, the, the waterfall finish kills him at 90. Uh, and then in addition, uh, we got Squirrels, Bears, and Bears, which he just loves using off stage. Um, I think that he was a little bit uh, shell shocked, no pun intended, uh, because he just got killed by a waterfall finisher at the end of game one. That's why he came here. But that's not the only thing Wombat can do, and he showed that during game one. Yeah, yeah, a lot of characters can't really handle getting combo by that really well. It's kind of a Goldilocks combo. Uh, it has to catch your opponent at just the right percentage in order to connect. Too high, then the, they could jump out of the cape. Too low, then they could just jump out of the cape. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. It just just has to kill at just right percent. Yeah, 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 but but this is what PM's all about. <laughs> While we were distracted with the microphone, Wombat did lose his uh, second stop. Uh-huh. I do like the Dimension Cape to just teleport to ledge. It's a bit of a... See, it is a really good mix-up because it's just... If Man, if man I hit you, hits Dimension Cape above the, the ledge, they just snap the ledge every time. 
You went backwards. It makes no sense. Why? I don't know. Some characters are privileged. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think it all comes down. He's like, he's spinning. He has a sword. Ooh, that was a bad dimension came a little too early and not enough distance. It, it, it's a really high risk, high reward attack, that dimension came. I don't think there's a lot of risk behind it. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you have hit lag after it's, you with it. It's especially a, against a, a high mobility character like Swirl, you really gotta watch it. Ah, oh, you're right, there's that uh, magic percentage kicking in. Uh, I think Marsh is pulling the trigger too early on that. All nice right, so here. that's why I like the stage for, for, for Squirtle, because of kills like that. The back air off the stage, I, I think that in a bigger stage it wouldn't have worked. The stage has infamously tiny uh, side blasts. All right, that, that was really good timing. He sort of like stalled below the ledge. Nice sort of wave for Mars in air, but it doesn't really matter because Mars still got the kill. Oh, why that's cooking. Oh, you want to get that early kill, but Mar jumped at just the right time. So Wombat could like hit him with uh, another Nair or a Nair. Oh no, Squirtle's tech roll is so bad. Yeah, why, why is he tech rolling? I mean, I feel like there's a reason why that's a good player. He might just, uh, just have to just, just do tech in place. Oh no, the SD! You yeah, to see also it. kind of a low blast zone. I've done that many a time. Okay, but 2-0 Wombat. You know, not surprised, because Wombat's my boy. I know he's just cracked at this game. Like, if you if you walked up to me and told, and, and told me that there were, like, two other squirrels that are yet better than he is, I'd say, where are you talking about? You are, you are smoking some serious meth and cracking crack the game. Game 2, not Game 2, Game 3 on Pokemon Stadium. Yep. Interesting counter -pick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll say. Um, because, I don't know, I think I kind of like this because I feel like maybe Mars learns less with side blast zones. He still needs to watch out for the waterfall finish. He has to kill him on GHC at 90. It's going to do it to him even earlier right here. But that does rely on Wombat actually getting the waterfall finish. He's done a generally good job avoiding situations like those. As long as he sort of, like, doesn't linger too much above Wombat, then he should... He should be able to avoid the waterfall finish. Fortunate missed Ted from Wombat losing his stuff. Great nair from R. Yeah. But, alright, alright, so, we got the down throw. He just keeps on taking the down throw for some reason. I gotta ask him why. But, uh, okay. We got, we got that Squirtle neutral air. Uh, just setting him right out to the blast zone, really tying it up again. Uh, but right now, Mars still has the stage control. Uh, still has that percent lead. Uh, oh, did I mention he has stage control? That is so important. Yeah. If the mention game hits, it hits. Yeah. And like... Yeah, good TI by Wombat. Uh, fortunate stage positioning by Wombat was able to allow him to survive like that. Alright, Mar taking the, the first advantage of the set. I mean, yeah. I didn't see most of game one, so... Yeah, really, really good stuff by... by Mar here. But, uh, Wombat still, uh, that's uh, making the magic happen. Uh, if anybody can make a reversal such as this, it is my boy Wombat. BAT! He doesn't get the waterfall finish. Really good positioning by, uh, by Mar. Oh, that... that I was feel like Wombat was sort of like... I liked that, because Wombat was going long and anticipating and, like, whipping to the ground, but... Mar is able to cancel to, to a pretty good spot to uh, retain the neutral. It's really smart game. Oh, uh, barely, barely dodges the uh, air of the Oh, oh no, oh, one no. SD. Okay, sometimes, sometimes you need those cooldown games. So that was a convincing two-stop lead. I feel like Wombat did need to cool it for a little bit, but now he's cooled it. 
Uh, he is he, he he is not having a cow. He he lost his cow. He abandoned it in, in a pasture somewhere where I'm sure it is being well accommodated for. He is he is gleefully cowless. I'm trying to say, and thus forth. He is going to take game four. Not only shall he take it, but he shall take it convincingly. Because he is Wombat, my boy, our boy. Yes. Indeed, Zubat. I couldn't have said that better myself. But, you know, Mar picked a pretty good stage for Man Knight, but so let's see. Mar's gonna go for the tech chases. Because Mar was doing really good when he was tech chasing. Yeah, and then Wombat needs to step up this game and play the game of Don't Get Grabbed, 64. Cut. Ooh, nice tech in place. Okay. Let's go for that shotgun water gun. So I so Smashville I think is a good choice. Smashville is, is the average stage that, that no one understands, except that everybody understands it because it is the average stage. Yeah, you're you're pretty even Stevens blast zones. You're pretty even Stevens blast zones but on the side. Uh, Wombat, uh, can he edge guard? Yes, he gets Mar with a forward smash. Yeah, that, that, uh, the edge guard was questionable. The edge, coming back to ledge was a little questionable. Uh-huh. I'll say. Oh, but, oh my god, just taking stage control right from, uh, right from Mar. Um, so let's see if Mar could, could edge guard Wombat. Uh, so far, so good for Mar, but that was a really sneaky withdrawal. I don't think that Mar was ready for that. And it, like, went right to ledge. Okay, gets him with the bubble. I, I love this in and out weaving that Wombat is doing. Oh okay. no, he, Mar really needs to land one of those down airs to take the stop. Yeah, but. Wombat's he, just getting all this extra credit right now. I feel like Wombat knew that because I feel that Mar is approaching. They're kind of telegraphs. Uh, you sort of do get telegraphs when you're really fishing for that kill. It is unfortunate, and it just goes to show that uh, momentum in any given set is not the decider, but it is so, so important. And you need such a good mentality to overcome that bad momentum. Okay, gets him with one of his Wombat Fairies. One of his Crack Fairies. Alright, let's see what. Ooh, Mar just got. Oh, what's the edge guard? Tappy -tap. Oh yeah, that was so smart. He was like sort of trying to suss out when he can't uh, the shuttle loop. But now it is a clean two socks to three. Wombat is winning, but oh no, he got grabs again. What's Mar cooking? Doesn't matter because Wombat just gets out of that combo without taking too much percent. But Mar is having a really good stock so far. It's sort of like tacking on that damage. Yeah, Mar's gonna start landing more of those grabs. Mar yeah. has a really good grab game, but Wombat's just not letting them do it. I think that's easier said than done because this is Wombat Squirrel we're talking about. It's slip slidey, it just goes all over the place. You're, you're, you're going to be uh, hard pressed by an opportunity where you can just stop and grab it, even when you're a high mobility character like Meta Knight. Because the last time Wombat had to play a Squirrel, it was against Boar again. Uh -huh. And I have noticed Wombat is not actually using side B at all. This whole map you noticed? Yeah, yeah, I did notice. So the problem is if Wombat tries to side B a man and shields, man that gets guaranteed Nair. Yeah, As, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so Wombat gets punished for actually hitting the opponent. Uh, it's such such a difficult adjustment, but a uh, Wombat uh, with Jobby Dan, I'm sure he's had to play many matchups like that. He is well prepared for a matchup such as this. So the down the the eye not down throw is really, really bad. Yeah, because you gotta, it's uh, it's up and in at high percents. So that's like a fast forward character at least. I I love. Oh wait, no, that's I was just waiting a no. grab, and Mar has 81 percent. Oh my God, that was such a good aqua jet wombat. Game four takes the sets from Mar. Just amazing play by both contenders here. But wombat's my boy, so you know, of course he is going to win. <laughs> I wonder who we'll have next. All right, so while we have this break, um, I would like to remind you that this tournament is brought to you by uh, Red Bull. Um, 
you drink it and it gives you wings and it gives you lots of energy to do stuff and win tournaments and win games even when the odds are against you and um cooper's cave games and paintball if you are looking for games you go to cooper's cave paint games and paintball if you are looking for paintball i i'm pretty sure that cooper's cave games and paintball ball has it uh, also, also Dungeons and Dragons. Do they do they have Magic the Gathering? I feel like D and D and Magic the Gathering go hand in hand. Uh, you you want to play some Magic? Well, let's see who we have here. We have uh, two more players. Uh, two more very talented, very uh, spooky, scary players right here. Uh, players whose names I get to discern. Uh, we have a Wario main. Uh, it, it could, could it be Malak? I, I know that, I know that uh, they play Wario. Wait, Poilu? Oh no, Poilu. Poilu's on the right. And then... Okay, so it is Malak. Malik is the Wario, so Poilu, uh, I believe that he originally was from France, but he moved to Canada. What? Oh, I thought they were doing hand warmers. Oh, wow, you're right, they are doing hand warmers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, okay. Uh, you... Anyway, anyway, so, uh, Malik is from, uh, MDBA. I believe that he is the, the sole representative of, of MDBA. Uh, he's, he's been, uh, in, like, the sort of North northern easterner area. Oh. The northern or easterner area, I think he's been hanging out with Anthony a lot, uh, going to Hog, uh, smashing ground, uh, making waves there. Also, uh, went to... Was there a big tournament a little bit before? I, I feel like there might have been. You asked me the wrong person, I have no idea. Yeah, it might have just been like Hog and stuff. All right, so we, we do have another uh, winners quarters match. Uh, and they're going to stage bands. Uh, Malcolm and Poilu on stage bands. Where will they go? It's gonna go to PS2. Yeah. Like, you know it. I know it. I don't know. I don't know it. I don't know why. Why would you leave those stages open? I leave those stages open. Oh, I love Green Hill Sour. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think that them can use the wall. Oh, hold on, we got hand warmer number two. Uh, we we have a tournament to run, gents. Oh, this might be hand warmer number three. Let's see. Oh no, they're actually. Oh no, no. no actually I, I I feel like they're fighting. They sort of playing both with each other. Yeah. So, uh, so Lucario, he can do the wall climb. That's when he like near reverse your horse, spears your face the wall. He can launch him a whole bunch of times. Uh, and then Wario. Uh, if he side beats into a wall, then he doesn't go into a special wall. So both of these can take advantage of the wall. Uh, I like this for Mal because uh, he can kill with side beat, he can kill with back air off the side blast zones. Uh, but Lucario, Lucario just does that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I know like Wario has a pretty good combo game with Lucario. The problem is he has to actually start it. Yeah. Like bite's good, like down smash to cover the attacks. Like, anything with bite is really good. Yeah. But, uh, alright, so... Oh, oh wow! Wow, I think that maybe, uh, Poilu overshot the dodging of that, um... I think Poilu Mario tried to go for a back check. air, and the, the just in the hurt box that I got hit. Oh, really good stuff. Sword just reacting to all of Malk's DI, just cooking for as much damage as as he can right there. Oh my oh god, my that was goodness. so cool. He cancelled his extreme speed to finish the combo. That was such high confidence too, because 
Uh, if there were any other player, they'd be afraid that Wario would just get out of the way with his superior airspeed. Oh, okay. So. Oh no, they missed the the wall jump button. Okay. Yeah, and, and 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 then he even wasted his meter on a bad recovery. So unfortunate, but I feel like Boiler can just get the moment of that. Okay, nice that, that was a, a good walk by Mel. Uh, it can be used to combo Lucario. He, is, he does fall kind of fast. Oh, that was such a good ledge recovery. So we're in double teams. After I think that was a wave land on some ledge. It all happened so fast. Oh, Mal didn't have a double jump. Yeah, yeah. Um, Boiler sort of stole that from him. Oh my God, I I, I love that exchange. Unfortunately, this isn't uh, you know 3.0, so that doesn't work anymore. Yeah, yeah. So the thing with Mario uh, over there is very fast, but it's all it's knockback is never great. So sure, it can keep your opponent off, but you need to like do something else to seal the deal. Okay, oh, well, that's the forward forward it's such a slow forward smash. We're gonna see a spear bomb. We are. Uh, oh! oh, he grazes the aura bomb. Wow, a beautiful DI from Mouth avoiding getting hit by that. Yeah, that. He just sort of orbited around that. He was like, oh, he barely escaped the event horizon. Oh, <laughs> and but then drop down back air. Yep, the just to secure the heat. Luca. Okay, so Poilu takes game one. Uh, Malk, though, keeping Poilu on his toes. His little Foxy Curry toes. And we are going to our next stage. Uh, so we are banning Battlefield. Uh, what else are we going to ban? So I like the banning of Battlefield because Wario likes platform plays probably because he can sort of read tech rolls into a, a fight's command grab. So we're, we're going to Pokemon Stadium too. I think that is just an average reliable stage that, that now can really count on. Uh, hopefully get something done against Poilu's Wario. And he is getting something done. We, we got some combos. Uh, it sort of like overshoots the clap. I'm surprised really that matter. Lucario up the tilt beats uh, Wario in the air coming down. Uh, I'm not surprised because uh, up tilt is still a disjoint. Depending on where, where you hit it, I think. Alright, we got a little forward smash there. Wow, smash. what a tech. And then Malk Reaper just adjusting and just getting the first stock. Yeah, this is a very common stage choice by Malk. I don't know like what it is about this, but uh, my man Malk is cooking. And he just keeps on cooking. It doesn't matter that he's like on death's door. He just keeps on doing nares, bears, and fares against... Okay, uh, the Oro Spear command grab. Yeah. Sort of force him out off the stage with his palm. That's why they call it the force him out. And now, now Poilu's going to be really just taking back that deficit. But, okay, okay. Spare Spare with the, okay. Oh no, Malk went the wrong direction. Yeah, now cool with that, and if he just like ping pong into the spear bomb. Oh, nice walk. The up throw into Wap, Brand Butter Wario, let's go. You know, with, with games like this, it just goes to show that uh, we got a lot of hitters, and even like beyond the hitters, we got like people who are also hitters, but maybe a little bit less well known, prove themselves a little bit less. Nobody is safe in a tournament such as this. Uh, but we got uh, we got more nares. Uh, I, I'm really liking how um, how Malk is spamming out these nares because they have such uh, long duration hitboxes. Oh, nice oh, clap wow. on the top. That was an early kill. So if if Poilu tries to double team into uh, Malk's uh, into Malk while he's nearing, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, Poilu is still getting punished for doing a move that's supposed to be absolutely safe. Same thing with like anyone who teleports, uh, has eye frames with some sort of uh, approach specials like God leave these, these good big long hitboxes and all of a sudden shakes up the neutral. Oh, I, I, I feel like their double jump again. Yeah. Well, okay, so still anybody's game. 
Uh, I like how Poiler is taking back the stage control. Uh, Sorv has... Oh, Malgastorv all turned around. That was a really smart fair. He knew that uh, Lulu tries it really quickly and ping pong into the spear bomb. He gets the waft, and that does it. Malk tapes game two. What a waft. Malk is on the board. This is anybody's game. Who knows what's going to happen? Well, we'll see what they ban. Succinctly put, we'll see what they ban. Uh, that was Malik. It's 1-1. One, one. Of course, of course. Running streams, yelling, it's all such hard work. I appreciate what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Uh, shout out to the TOs. Doing such a bang-up job of making sure this runs smoothly. Found our dreams, really? Um, yeah, I, I think that you can wall climb. I don't know how, how deep down you can wall climb with Lucario. It's, uh, it's hard. Okay. But, you know, with stages like these, maybe, maybe he's just trying to camp the boss with uh, the water. Who's to say? Okay, okay, but uh, Mal keeping it pretty even. You know, they're sort of going back and forth with his first stock. Uh, Ray DI uh, doesn't, doesn't quite get the kill. Alright, this is, okay, this is the back I, I can tell he doesn't really want the back there. There's just a lot of just missing neutral and stuff, like that side B not killing. Oh my god, that side B should have killed, I think the ceiling was too high. Yeah, the, uh, the, the uh, up and away. Oh, but that sour spot kill, but the oh Mario side god. B did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, color me surprised. Stinks. I love him. Yeah. Yeah, um, okay, so, okay, this is the up special that probably would have killed. Uh, yeah, up special was not. You, you can tell, you can tell that Malk is fishing for a lot of stuff. Uh, it's so easy with Mario to over to overcommit with unsafe options. And meanwhile, Poilu is taking uh, all advantage of his momentum. Yeah, Let's 73 okay, extra credit per se is a good start. Yeah, really bad news for Malk here. Really bad news, yes, but now the far is a lower percent, it's a little bit easier to combo. Alright, oh, I, 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 I saw that fight, I was hoping he'd do the fight, that was such a good fight, into the loft, he reverses it, do, do you remember right that 72 there, stock the lower deficit. percent made it easier to do all that stuff. You gotta watch out for Wario, cause he'll get ya! With that, well, not with that, because, you know, he just seems to die from Wario's hat, but what we saw before, that's what Wario will get you with. Oh no, that was a bad wop. Yeah, now he has to start all over. <laughs> uh, by, by 4.15, we'll see What was that there. interaction? They both missed their grab. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it, it's found a dream. The platforms are a very unorthodox height, and they're not always like that. So it's really easy to just bluff stuff, uh, think, think that things will connect, but then just completely... Yeah, but like, they were right next to each other. It wasn't like the platform was right. They were on the same platform together. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So that, that, that was a good combo. Ranker a little burst option by Boiler there. Uh, I don't know if that was EX, I think that was. That was EX, he flashed up a little bit, he doesn't have to charge anymore. Yeah. But alright, so it looks like Malk is down a whole stock. Uh, but if, if anything has been shown from this game, he can take it back. But alright, alright. Um, they're both tagging out damage to each other, and... It's really not great for Malcolm because. Uh, oh no! Yes, he's dead. That's why it's not great for him. <laughs> okay, and uh, Poiler takes game two. And we're going to Cloud of Sedation. That was really quick. It was, was so random. I, yeah, I think it was a random. I think thing. it was like Force of Habits. So I don't, for some reason, I don't like this FD. Port one starts in the middle, port two, and three, and four start on the far left side. Huh. You know, I also noticed that, uh, that in Battle of Deal, like, uh, spawn points for, uh, after stocks are taken, they, they can go, like, above either side platform. That might be good. Uh, it sort of threw me for a tail spin, man. Like, but we're going to Smashville. Maybe we're going back to Smashville. I don't, I don't really know if uh, they went to Smashville. Yeah, I mean, I was there, oh, the but... Oh, the 
Yeah, but uh, luckily, luckily, uh, Lucario starts every game with one meter. Wow, I wish Trump, uh, Bowser started with his fireball. But no, it's oh the my God. Is broken. No, no, you think you wish that Wario would start with his buffs? No, I was talking about Bowser. Oh my God, it's the same. It's the same thing. Transcend hitbox too bad. What am I supposed to do against Fireball? Watch the TV boxing. Anyway, back to the match. Um, oh, look at the Dragon Ball Z trade. Yeah. But they still make it. Ooh, the 75% the the waft. Almost getting the kill, which is so nice. Yeah. So nice indeed. Uh, we see Malik Addy Lane again. Uh, I don't really know how this presents. Uh, one is expected to retain a lead such as this, or anything that happens to you can kill you, just like what happened just now as I was saying that. But, okay. So, uh, we are actually not pretty even. Not only do we have potentially Foyla, but we also have stage control, but uh, neutral now belongs to, to Mal. You gotta watch out though, because Poilu does have both meters up. We can see some serious shit. We can see like a really good E speed recovery. We can see a Force Palm EX. We can see that. I, mean, I think maybe up air would have killed there instead of going for the back air. I think that would have been a little bit too committal. I don't think he wants to risk that because Wario does have that drift. We do need to read a little bit more in order to get Wario where you want. That's play. true. <gasps> oh, we got nice DI by Poilu. Oh, what a wall uh, tag! off the bite. Waft? No, he doesn't need the waft. The sour spot up air into a side B. Like, jeez. What was that? No, I don't think he used the waft. Yeah, I was just seeing No, waft. that was, um, if you down air and you do taunt, you, uh, you get, like, yeah. the, the fart. <laughs> you leave a little rosebud. Yeah. That's cute. I like that. Uh, anyway. So, we got... Okay, so that was that was a pretty nice use of forward air. I like how he waited till um Quilly was a little bit lower than the ledge. So so brawl tech. If Polu could that grab, if Polu just let Malk fall, Malk would not have had a double jump because he was hanging in touch the stage. Uh-huh. Yeah, but instead he just back threw him on the stage. Yeah. But that that's um Oh, he That's your useless brawl tech for today. Oh no, he wasted his wand, and now Poilu has it. This game, this game can be Poilu's, but now this isn't over until the obese pigeon sings. But Poilu off oh, the no! stage, and now all of a sudden we have a tie game again. What Will an exciting see a game set! Five? Oh, okay, so Misfree's the tech roll, really smart tech. Did the dumbest possible tech you can think of. Teching to the side, just lagging on the side of the platform, but sometimes the dumbest move you can think of is the smartest. Because no one expects you to be an idiot. Up throw, up air, okay. Get, to, get the percent, okay. Oh, the turnaround! Oh, no, he could have grabbed, but he went for down tilt because he was expecting Lucario to act out his shield. Oh my god, so Malk has stage control. He's retaining something Ooh, with the smash. forward smash. I'll try to go for the side to be killed. Yeah, but that forward air is disjointed. Lucario has the power of the aura. Malk overcommitting to side B, really fishing for the kill. Yeah, oh, is that Whirly gonna no! do that? Yes, it is. And oh my god, Poilu takes it. We've been seeing nothing but good sets so far. Shout out to Malk, uh, amazing, amazing set against uh, Poilu. And shouts, of course, to Poilu for advancing to winner semis of Pool B. be able to chug a can of Red Bull while I am chilling at uh, Cooper's uh, Cooper's Cave Games and Paintball. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if they have Red Bull, if I could bring a can of Red Bull. You sort of need to like, go into the store and ask them. But, you know, shout, shout outs to like, uh, both of our sponsors, Red Bull and Cooper's Cave Games and Paintball for, uh, for, their, for their love of for the love of the game, even a little guy like Project M. 
and even the big guy like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. While we're talking about like brawl stuff, uh, some useless brawl trivia for uh, Wario. So you, we all know that Wario's final smash is Wario Man, but what you probably didn't know is while he's in this state, um, his his like super suit it's poo stained. If you look at his butt, it is stained with Wario poop. The poop is there. Sakurai personally probably rendered the poop stain himself. This isn't a, this isn't cap like it's actually there. Wario does not wipe as Wario man. That's his power. Super not wiping. You know, there's some knowledge that you shouldn't share with the class, and that's definitely one of them. They need to know. They're they don't entitled need to, to know. know about the wipe stain on Wario's suit. It's not a wipe stain. It's a not wipe stain. He didn't wipe. I guess he's too busy fighting crime. Stop fighting crime. You're shitting yourself. <sighs> so, who do we have up next? Malk and Malcolm. Well, they're not on stream, but it's still pretty funny. Luigi, Mario. slides around to uh, accentuate the campy campiness. So this is the, the Super Mario Man Brothers. Men. Men! Does anyone else men? So we're going to the stage bands. Is it going to be Smashville or PS2? What a riveting choice! I'm at the edge of my seat! Uh, debilitating over if they're going to choose Smashville or PS2! It's gonna be Smashville. Wow, what an amazing reversal of fortunes! We are going to Smashville! Okay, so they're not doing hand warmers. They're probably doing their little spin kicks. They already did their hand warmers. Yeah. They just wanted to play a little bit of footsies. As good brothers want. But you got one of the best Marios in the world. Obviously not the best Mario, because the best Mario in the world is also the best player in the world. And you got the best Luigi in the world. Uh, but they're keeping it close pretty easily, uh, pretty handily. 
Um, you can see that uh, Flarp's really trying to maintain his distance. It is up to Gallo to uh, sort of close the gap. Especially on the ground, uh, Flarp does have better mobility than, uh, than Mario. So it is going to be tough for Gallo. I also understand that, um, you know, Flarp just does these tournaments on weekly basis. Not only does he do on weekly basis, but he beats some serious hitters. What a but nice forward air. It was a, it was a nice F smash. But. Okay, but, so we, we have Flarf had to cover a little lot of bit of ground here. And, but he's doing such a good job of baiting all of these attacks on the fast track to his first stock of the set. So I noticed that, like, Gallo's, uh, like, starting to, like, slow it down a little bit, too. Yeah. Did you try to CC at 130%? That's what, that's what you gotta do. You sort of just sort of need to back play throw? a back ground death store. Back throw, baby! Mario is not obese enough to survive that attack. Oh my god, that was so sneaky! Alright, we took it. Now uh, we sort of, uh, escaped that combo. That Mario is recently floaty, floaty enough. Uh, such that he doesn't really get worked by, uh, by Luigi combos, or at least whatever Flarp is cooking. Double dunk? Oh, missed the double jump because Luigi is so floaty, it's sort of hard to tell what you do. The crou crouch cancels the down smash with a down smash. CC is broken. I love CC. Alright, so good. Oh, I, I, I love that sort of, like, back air off the stage. Uh, trying to maintain the stage control. I, that was a... I feel like Gal was telegraphed in that attack a little bit. How are you? The, the up smash, it comes out faster if you're getting... If Luigi is in front of you. Facing away from you, that's why I meant to say. Yeah, it does... Uh, is it stronger? No, it just comes out faster, because, you know, that's where the hitbox starts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, we got some low flippy flips. So, Farm has his first lead of the game. That's pretty impressive. So, the thing with Luigi is that his, his mobility, it, it, it's kind of mid-max. Um, he, he has the best wave dash in the game, so of course that translates to one of the best ground abilities in the game. But in the air, he is as vulnerable as a new born obese baby pigeon. Um, that means that Clark needs to be really careful when he uses his aerial booster, otherwise very good. Uh, make sure he doesn't linger in the air a lot, because that that's the time when Gallo can capitalize. So Clark's doing a really good job staying grounded. Oh no, Link there's a the misfire air, on deck, you gotta be careful. Attacks. Wait a minute, the misfire's no! gone. Oh, that was so bad. Why do you have to do that, Gallo? That's your brother. It's your brother, Mario. Oh my god, so we we got um we got Farp still in the lead. I, I didn't know Farp was a stock up. Two, three, mama. Oh, sorry, missed the way that that's okay. We are down to basically last ish hit. Anybody can take this game. Gallo stage control. One percent advantage belongs to Flarp. Now he avoids that F smash that comes aside him uh, with a fair to side The classic Luigi double aerial at a short jump. Clark takes game one. All of his aerials, if he does a short hop, he can get at least two. Uh, uh, Luigi starting to prove that he is not the second banana here. to our stage bands for this exciting game two. What do you think they're going to ban? Uh, well, uh, that's the stage they're going to ban. Uh, the, the Delfino stage and the Wario stage. You can't go to Wario stage, the Mario Brothers. That's like, uh, uh, doing else something really bad. I guess we're going to PS2. Wow, Game 2, PS2, after a Game 1 Smashville. Daring today, aren't we, boys? 
Uh, we're gonna probably go to Battlefield next, I'm telling you that. Oh man, I don't know, I think that might be a little bit too racy for that. <laughs> okay. But we are doing a lot of bouncing about. Not a lot of hitting. Uh, that's because good brothers aren't supposed to hit each other, they're supposed to get along. But we're keeping it pretty even. We have, we have got a pretty solid uh, mid-set rivalry here. But, but Clarp uh, starting to, uh, to tack on a little bit of percent advantage. It's, it's not super consequential, but uh, we're going to see how quickly uh, Clarp can round out the stock before Gallo takes it too far. Oh, I, I love the way he dashed back, just nearly avoiding that back air. Clarp is just moving so smartly. It's like doing a really good job in just paying what Gallo is going to do and reacting accordingly in time to just uh, so Gallo just misses all of his attacks. You know, Gallo's trying, he's playing really well, but but Clarp is just he's moving and schmixing. Yeah, they're playing really well. Yeah. Oh, that was a ledge hog! Yeah, but I can understand why Flarp was afraid. Uh, it it kind of looks like Gallo was going to land on the stage instead of that ledge, so I feel like Flarp made Lions to do the punish instead of just hanging out at ledge. Well, which is fine, like, he could afford stuff like that, he's a little stock up, and Gallo's at the nice percent. I want Gallo to get a kill at the nice percent, that's what I want to happen. Okay, okay, is that, okay, not a nice percent kill, but we still got the stage control. Really, really nice on holding up the shield. Clark wasn't expecting that, so he didn't go for the grab. That was a really bad recovery from, uh, oh, nice up B. Just get off me. Yeah, yeah, I, I love the position of the fireballs. Covers jump, covers move forward. <laughs> oh, down smash. Clarp is up a whole stock. This is a very different game from what we saw in game one. Clarp, I feel like he's sort of getting the download on Gallo. He also has that game one momentum. I don't know if Gallo's trying to do some other stuff that might not be going according to King Kaku translators. No King Kaku's Japanese can play out. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. The point is, uh, my man Clarp is good. We got it, man. Uh, doesn't read the tech goal super good. Clark has a really smart tech now. Because he expects a tech goal towards center stage. That's where center stage is. Center of the stage. Yeah, look, Gallo's having a rather difficult time ending these stocks early, or even racking the percent up. Okay, we got a down throw. See, I call it a C. But it doesn't really matter because Mario. Wow. Jab down down smash kills. Yeah. Uh, the one switch. Not the one two switch, like switch to the one but just the one. You just need one. One Clark, because he's Clark, that's the name of the person who did it. Therefore, the combo should be named after him. Oh, I love that such sick platform would be just everywhere and nowhere at once. Alright, alright, so really smart jab to down smash. Uh, the, the one Gallo, that's the name of Gallo's combo. Is that up smash do it? Not quite. Luigi's up smash isn't strong enough. Mario is not obese enough. Gallo's definitely gotta close the stock out quick. Let's play the next stock card. Uh, well, Luigi Nair. Luigi Nair. Oh, I know that Luigi Nair too well. Don't I do that? Yes, sir. All right, Clark taking game two very convincingly. Uh, but now we are seeing the Gallo pit. Gallo's a pretty good pit. He's been using pits uh, a lot lately, and he's just always has secondary pit. So, the fun fact about this pit, he actually used it to counter pick uh, when I played Luigi. Oh, okay. I went. I mean, I guess he had to give his main, uh, the old college shine words right to his second there. I think he was smart to just go pit <laughs> game three. Well, we got Gallo the nice percent right here, and going out the nice percent. It's one of those characters that, like, was, like, one of the best in the game, and then it's not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, a lot of his, a lot of his combo starters got nerfed down air, I know it did. Uh, it's angled out, like, horizontalized a little bit. Yeah, I think all his buttons got changed. 
Yeah, uh, and I, I, I feel that going 3.6 you know, was at a really bad spot, but I think that P plus gave Pit some things bad. And a lot of people say, oh, Pit's bad because he's outclassed, but, you know, that's not to say that Pit can't plug. And it just means that, like, plus people are using Pit's, and, like, you got the element of surprise on your side, see? So it is a clear four stocks in the game right here. We got an up smash, doesn't quite kill it, because we got some pretty solid DI by Gallo. The sense of the angle Gallo wants to be sent to. Oh, and we have a misfire on deck. You love to see those misfires. Yeah, so Gallo evening out the stocks, but not quite evening out the deficit. Okay, are we gonna see a back a kill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that low ceiling is going to do it, and also pink is. Pits pick and heal a little bit more pits here, I feel. Yeah, Pits a little on the lighter side. Yeah. This is a boy child, man. He was that little baby boy. That baby boy was him. He was a little boy, and now he's still a boy. Uh, but anyway, back to the back to the match. Uh, Oh, I like that arrow. Yeah. Oh, there's that misfire. Yep. Right. Just rough. Yeah, I'll say. Well, I, I think it just looks rough because, you know, Gallo, a really solid contender, uh, his pit isn't quite as polished as his, his Murphy is. Uh -huh. Lots of wave dashing bouncing back. Flarp has all the time in the world. By all the time in the world, I mean that he has just like five and a quarter minutes. Just like, chill. Have a sip of beer. Have a sip of beer. They say that Red Bull gives you wings. And it gave uh, Gallo wings because he's much too big. It has wings because he is an angel. That's what he is. He needs more. He needs more Red Bull. Okay, we got, we got the back. That's it. Gallo on his last stock of winners. Yes, in this game, that is currently 2-0. Uh, alright, alright. We got... Okay, so we... We, do, we don't really have anything off that, uh, that down special from each side. I love pronouns. 
pronouns in the, the stream overlay. Uh, I love not misgendering my fellow uh, PM competitors. I said not misgendering, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> no, you did not say I love misgendering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I've been talking for a little bit, so it's sort of like easy for me to like omit words. But we got Palu Zuccario, we saw we saw him earlier, uh, giving Mouth of the Hands, but not without a light. And now we have Precious Ice Climbers. Uh, not the best Ice Climbers in the game, because, you know, the best Ice Climbers in the game is like the second best player in the world, after the best Mario in the world. He's also the best player in the world. Uh, but Fresh is certainly, certainly very high up there. Fresh and Serve. We're gonna see some serious stuff. I don't really know how Icy's grabs interacts with uh, Mario. But what I do know is that One, Mario does have a lot of choice and good frame data, so it will be hard for Fresh's Icy to sort of get in there. It's going to have to rely on a lot of mix ups, lots of uh, blizzard walls, lots of wave dashing into the grab. But also, like, you gotta watch out because you don't, you don't know what Mario's gonna read. Okay, 
I, I can see a little attack on Nana. Balu uh, just going gung ho on Nana right here. Oh no, but he whips the up. He does the up smash to Shoryu again. But it's okay, because he's back on stage. Jamie even heard him. Oh, but that wow, forward smash. throwing forward smash is out. Yeah, I don't think that was a throw out. That was a combo from uh, Nana's Blizzard. He does very well time forward smash. Just seems that way, because you know, Popo just up and down. Oh wow, we got the Blizzard Wall again. Um, wow, it really needs to, uh, he steps in. Uh, does the Tatsumaki. Uh, so now it's just Popo. Nice right. Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Uh, but we got... Okay, so we, we got back in the game. We have a dead even time. And lots of, still lots of bouncing about. Uh, the Ice Climbers, I feel like they're strongest and closest uh, to the ledge. Because they can just uh, maybe go for over there, off the stage, and they do some sort of bizarre ice climbers combo that mystifies the masses. It's just a lot of running and hit and runs. Yeah. It's kind of hard to commentate. Uh, this, this is a little bit on the difficult side, but not impossible, I say. Uh, I feel like it's a lot of hit and run because one, Paolo doesn't really want to do that. Uh, when ice climbers grabs you, you, you best have a uh, so they need to do better next stop. And meanwhile, uh, Ice Climbers doesn't want to get separated. Very high risk, high reward character in general. But we got that double up smash by Fresh, uh, claiming the stock. Okay. Oh, no. You hate to see it, but you know, this is what happens. Oh, no! I know Fresh messed it up, or Paula just got out of it because it's Mario. No, Fresh messed it up. Sure. Well, that's okay, because he can do that. And you're fine. Oh! That throws a hitbox? Yeah. I don't want to commentate anymore. I'm leaving after this set. Oh my god. I hate Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers is a challenging character to appreciate. But Fresh has a pretty sick Ice Climbers. We can agree on that. And we're going to Battlefield for game two. Three, two one, go. We got some, we got some, some glacier hits. Uh, and now Fresh just going right in. Uh, Zora misses that, that, that blizzard ball. It just does your, your casual blizzard. Oh no, we got the grab on the platform. You don't want to get grabbed on the platform when you are against the Ice Climbers, because then this happens as, uh... They didn't, they didn't lose a stock, which took a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, that's true, that's true. What a down smash. What a down smash. Tries the Tatsumaki, but it, it doesn't quite do what a ball it wants it to do. But... Okay, we got this little, uh, small hand right now. Like a YZ for Paolo here. Just sort of keeping Ice Climbers on the stage, keeping them separate. Nana's trying to go back to Popo. It's Wall Hammer up. Oh! Bless you. Ah, yes. Indeed. I think it's kind of silly that Popo can recover Nana by just like. And Nana misses the ledge. Oh, I can just upbeat teleport her to me. It's like the logic of the game. It, 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 it's tough to work now. Alright, got a little Tatsumaki action right there. Uh, Walu, uh, all of a sudden winning. He has a little stock up, but how far is he able to go with that extra stock? Fresh, contemplating. No, the stocks are even. Now, oh my gosh. Fresh is up the stock. Oh, you see, uh, my, my commentary class is fogged up, see? Me when I have spread misinformation on the commentary bike. Uh,. Oh, wow, wow, I guess that's why I was surprised that that lead, because it wasn't. But okay, we got, we got 
Separate Nana. Oh my god, you gotta grab Popo and make sure they separate from Nana because you can't do that anymore because they're together. They are synced up. So I feel like I had the spicy take about Ice Pirates. That Ice Pirates is a stance changing character. Yeah, your defensive stance um, when they are all synced up because they can sort of like not get separated or recover when they're synced up. I no, Ice Pirates is just a JoJo character. But then you got your, their, their decent stance. They're like really offensive. They do the, the super cool ice climbers combos and stuff with the handoffs. But uh, they're easier to separate with their decent A lot of stare down. You love to see it. Okay, we got a fair. Now that we can hit with the spike hit. Sorry, it's fair spikes. seconds at a time. Oh, yeah. But, you know, whatever it takes to win. So, uh, Fresh is doing a really good job not interacting this one, except for now when he just got Tatsumaki in the face. But we're still, uh, we're still camping a little bit. Uh, nothing wrong with a little bit of, uh, camping. Lots of fun pitching a tent, uh, making sure the bears don't get you. Speaking of bears, uh, 
speaking of bears, uh, that was not a nice bear, that was a nice up, up special. I want somebody to, like, bear while sort of buffering that line oh so I can say God. nice bear. Oh my God, did you see Nana almost getting a fully charged up smash? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, she is out of control, someone stop her. Okay, we got some, uh, got a nice up smash, we're covering what was in front of him and covering what was above him. Uh, really solid, uh, icy setup. By Fresh, that's why he's a good player. Mr. Number 10, Kais. Hello, hello. Welcome, Kais. Welcome. How are you doing on this fine, sunny, snowy Lake George afternoon? <laughs> I'm good. That was a crazy set, huh? Yeah, yeah. But Fresh just commanded that game start to finish. Yeah, Poilu, I don't know how much Icy's experience he has. That, yeah, I don't know. That character demands not. You need to know. Both of these characters, you need to know how to deal with them. But Ice Climber, specifically. You get grabbed, you're going, you're going down. And I don't know if... Malu was ready for this because I do think Lucario wins this matchup. You think so? Mm -hmm. Double the aura. He gets aura off of ice blocks. Oh, so he can get double aura off just one hit? Yes, because it hits two opponents. Wow. So uh, I was having a combo with Sir. Uh, yeah. He was talking about you know our resident Pisces up in the northeast. He was talking about how uh, the matchup is. Lucario just wants the down. Get in there with invincibility and then press buttons and build another meter to do down B cancels again. Okay, okay. It's not a good idea. Who do we have next? We have a wolf. Uh, Squeeze. Gluteus. Now, Gluteus is pretty good. He's a wolf from New York. Uh, I haven't seen him in too many tournaments, but the, the place I have seen him, he is, he is certainly up and coming. Uh, but Hakeem is an absolute. M F and monster. <laughs> so true, so true. Uh, I've I've been on the losing end to Hakeem more more times than I'd like to count. Uh, yes, yes, he does come to Hog every now and then. Um, you know, one time, you know, I was having some downtime during uh, my very own Kingdom Bracket in New Jersey. Shouts to Kingdom. Uh, and I, I like to look the bracket, see how you homies are doing, and I say, well, that wow, Hakeem beat Kite. He's, he's in Grand Finals, and I was like, so. <laughs> It happens, yeah. Hakeem, he, or S has to puts in the work, so I wonder how this matchup is going to go. Definitely will favor, but if there's anyone who knows this matchup, one, it's going to be S. Go. Yeah, uh, you know, even while I was looking at the team, I'm 
this bracket. Uh, I knew that uh, no one is safe. This bracket, top to down, is full of hitters. Uh, Moody, uh, Moody is no exception, and he's going to have to play a lot of work in order to make this work against Haki, but uh, it's difficult if he really believes in himself. Right now, he could get eight percent. Actually, Buddhist did more than eight percent, but Assassin healed. Yeah, <laughs> like it might as well be eight percent. Yeah. Okay, Buddhist get things started. That's where you want. Uh, that's where you want Ness above you without a jump. He's in. Uh, he's in the danger zone. There. Yeah. That could have been really bad. Yeah. We got an up throw into uh, the reverse hit back here. Hakeem is quite a pro at that, in addition to many other things, but uh, this is the, the third stop of Flutius, and finally he might be gaining some traction. Okay, really good, uh, really good bull flash. Uh, closes out that stock versus Hakeem. I know that Ness doesn't look like much of a river dancer, but Hakeem's Ness can river dance. <laughs> yeah, you're getting down here. Yeah. The triple toes taking that one out. Yeah. Stay back. You got a gun. Shoot the gun. Who shines in between the fire? Nice. That, that is what you gotta do, but ends that hard. Yeah. We got uh. Oh no, another Hakeem vortex. <laughs> Nice wolf flash. Wolf flash. It's a very fleshy wolf, but also very flashy. <laughs> nice. That's not the script I would have went with, but I, I do. Yes. It, that, that information is true. Oh, they got the. I think that was a one to switch out the shield. Yeah. It's going for the boots. Works every time. Yep. Works every time. Oh, oh no, but the down tilt also works knock, every time. Knock, knock, knock. Let's hope. Uh -huh. That, that down tilt. Now it's, uh, you see the rolls were reversed. Now it's Little Wolf, Little Wolf, let me in. <laughs> Man, that down tilt just. I feel. I feel some type of way about that. About that move. Yeah. But where are we going to go game two? So, we banned Fountain, we banned Wario Land. Uh, both those stages, Hakeem hates. I know this because he just banned those stages. <laughs> I'm surprised because uh, Fountain, I feel like Three, this would be pretty good on. Two, yep. One, go! Give it a little flats. Ooh, nice ball. Up there against the sweet box. Solana. But, okay, we, we got some, some pretty, a pretty good start by Gluteus here, having Hakeem on the ropes. Okay, just takes a stroll next to him. Yeah. Sweet spot. Alright, just a little, a little double jumpy. Uh, it's a little wolf flash. Wow, this is a totally different game, too. I am excited. Like I said, hitters front to back, and Gluteus, I know he's a hitter, and he is hitting. This tournament is just wonderful. There's just so much top talent here. And even the talent who's not top talent is still very talented. Talented enough to put the top on the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. Both of these players not on the RCM rank, but uh, both good enough to be on there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hakeem is like, I'd say he's like basically top 15. Mm -hmm. And then Glutes, I don't have a super solid re I haven't seen him play enough, but. You know, with play like this, you, you can tell, like, that is the PM rank material. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've been without a wolf player for, for a little while. Uh-huh, and maybe, maybe Gluteus is the one to lead the charge. Legally, the best wolf player in the world he can become. Where is the It's another, that's three wolf flashes. It doesn't kill without one. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Oh, no, Crouch gets the shine! <laughs> The classic just lasted off. Uh, lasting off again. But, but, wow. 
Uh, and up air is just like a force field. Like, yeah. You cannot jump in on rules with an up air. Uh, so we have to contend with our Nessus force field. Yeah. Back air? Just get it! No. A little bit ambitious. Maybe should have went with narrow fair, but. Alright, oh, does the little head bonk. Be really wearing a helmet there. Hakeem's trying to cook, but I feel that with a lot of characters, uh, spacies are kind of hard to combo or very easy to combo. Yeah, it depends on that starter. If you get a solid starter, yeah, just like that, we're pretty much even. Yeah, if your combo game involves putting the spacies like straight up in the air, then you're gonna have an easy time. Right. If they have any access to the ground, that shine's coming out. Yeah. Or they just tech roll away, but you're not gonna get the spacies uh, if you say combo at zero with certain things. Wait, is this one stock to one now? So Hakeem is bringing it back. He's like putting on a serious face. He's saying, okay, maybe maybe this guy is pretty good. This is where you want to start the DI Wolf Shine up so that you don't get Wolf Flash up. I, I almost expected uh, a Lucas Dacus. Yeah. Oh, no reverse bear, and that gets it. Hakeem clutches Scout game two. Yeah, that looked impossible for Astastic, but somehow he brought it all the way back. It was like three stocks to one at some point. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, same bands. I wonder where we'll go next. I think, uh, you know, if I were glutes, I'd go back to PS2. I think that worked out for him, all things considered. Personally, I think there's too much stage there. Like, uh, Ness's worst attribute is his recovery. And I would just do this on pushing uh, Ness on stage. But I say that as like a, a player who likes to play characters with edge guard. Well, doesn't necessarily need to do that. But I really still would. Put, put as much stress on Astastic as you can. Oh yeah. Uh, 100% there, guys. Actually 68% because Hakeem is right now at 68%. Just waltz is the reverse jab. Alright, we got an up throw, into the fair, into the side, into the back air. Oh my god, that is a textbook Hakeem combo right yeah, there. Yeah. This combo brought to you by holding in. Yes, also by Red Bull. <laughs> and Cooper KMD. <laughs> play. Assassin's gonna do that now way more often, and I don't want him to because it's not good, but every now and then it works. It's wild. Uh, just like the ED inhale. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. So, that just happened. Yeah, that was wild. Assassin with a clean 3-0. Oh, oh, sorry, it's, it's return, it's down, okay. No, I'm not pretty sure. Cheese, please. Yeah, that was an insane 
good set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see another one already. Yeah, we we've been seeing nothing but good sets here. Really good uh, deliberation uh, by the by the whoever decides who goes on stream. I guess the tos, because we're getting nothing but quality sets. Mm -hmm. here just hanging back There's a lot of grab opportunities. 
that, that yes. he's, he's gone for. It. Uh, make your opponent afraid to shield. Then they'll shield less often and try to rely on their movement. And then, then their movement might not be good enough. This is an interesting stage choice, but I think Blues is all like, okay, that last game was a dud. I can definitely move on PS2. I need to do it on PS2. Yeah, that reverse bear. Think of you. Just solid, safe combos. I like it. Little yeah. three moves there. So, a Valiant Edgar attempt, but, uh, you know, 
Uh, he who edge guards monsters must be, must be careful, for he made that edge guard himself. And when you stare into the blast zone, the blast zone st stares back into you. True. So true. Oh, missed an edge, uh, an edge dash. Yeah, you see, though, the blast zone looked into you, not good. There you go. Get that side off the eye, but he goes for the get up attack. Oh, oh wow. wow. And he just tied it right up. Okay, not quite 45 minutes, but exactly 45 minutes. Fear, uh, surprise, reckless efficiency, fanatical devotion to the Pope. <laughs> Dash attack. Uh, but Mar really brought this back after getting first stocks and after that spaghetti. He's winning all of a sudden. How can you do that? Yeah, teach me. Mar really doesn't give up just now, which is yeah. good. I want to see what Blue goes for more, uh, more cool guy options. Yeah. He's, he's too safe out there. He's got a seatbelt on out there. Yeah, because if if we know anything about Wolf, he's a cool guy. That's cool yeah. guy things. He can, uh, he's driving a, a motorcycle out there with a seatbelt on. Yeah. Okay, that could have been, that could have been bad, but... If, if you do ride a motorcycle, please wear a helmet with your seatbelt on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you're playing Wolf, like, don't be afraid to, like, do, like, that metaphorically. Only metaphors are Yes. Oh, wow, Glute's really going in. He might take this game three yet. Wait, I thought he had seed. Oh, my God. What is happening? That, okay, good, good, uh, good roll. Oh, yeah. you're... No! Wow! Wait, wait, just up, 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 up. No! I I'm leaking out, man. We're going to game four. I was like, I was like, Luke, go straight up, please. Wild. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one, go. That was wild. That was a, that was a cool guy finish. Uh, another, we're, we're doing a stage to uh, again sort of ignoring DSR, I guess, because we are fighting with the honor. <gasps> Shines him underneath! Oh, I love it. Gluteus, behave yourself! <laughs> that, that's what you want to see, that stuff. Just the instant death. Okay, but we hold down out here. This is me. Okay, so a little bit of spaghetti on Gluteus is our tiger right back up. and go. Either way. Yeah, keep that distance. Shoot the gun! You brought a, a sword to a gunfight. Uh, or it will bring a, a gun to a sword fight. Technically, his gun's got a sword on it. Or a knife on it. Uh, yeah, but the death still got the sword. Yeah, that's true. It's been, it's been deep, deep laden. Yes, deep laden. Not to be confused with deep laden, which is just terrible. That's an indicator of if they'll win. Are they actually winning if they're winning? He's in a bad spot. Great angle, but even better edge guard for the bar. Alright, so uh, we're evening it, evening it out again. Yeah, this is it, even as it gets. Yes. Zero to zero. Two stops. What is this game of Smash 4? <laughs> Smash 4 used two stocks? Yeah, I got two stock game. That's wild. Yeah, but, um, it's, you know, in, in situations like these, it's tough to tell who has the advantage, because they're just ex ex exchanging moves like the DBZ characters who will teleport punchy punches. Yeah, the crouch cancel floor is, yeah. it's really hard to get through if you're not really precise, otherwise you're just, it's a slobber knocker. You're just hitting each other. Yeah. Well, we got glued to the nice percent. The moment is now. Take the next stock. Okay, maybe not because uh, it's not the, the nice percent. But that's okay because he still keeps the stock. A little okay, reader so from reflection. Yeah. Uh, like like the, the Hollow Knight bench. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's what you gotta do. If you're uh, panicking, just take a breather, you know? Realize it's not so bad. Yeah. They're not scary. Cancel. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Oh, pumped. 
You're gonna fucking kill yourself. <laughs> true that, true that. Yeah, so is that it? Is that the end of Cool's yeah, way of no. being? Can I eat lunch before my final rounds? Stay tuned. Uh, are, are we are we done with Cool's here? Okay, cool. Alright, uh, looks like my block is up. Uh, thank you uh, to all the hardworking TOs, uh, especially the ones who got me into this, uh, this very privileged commentary block. Thank you, Kais, hey. for helping me out. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Later, gamers. Yep, see you guys later. Also, uh He actually does that. I, I kind of respect how consistent he is about just doing the hand armor. Until it's teams when he asks to reset like five times. Because he, he always wants like this specific setup of each character on each team. Huh. Yeah, he does that for like four for. Alright. <laughs> Don't worry, the, the chatters will bitch about the volume and all like. Hell yeah. Awesome, let's go. I can like, I can fuck with him and be like, is this too, is this too, is this too, is this too, <laughs> like this, <laughs> I can, I can, I can lean forward, you can lean in, I'm, I already lean forward always, so. yeah, I'm a leaner, we hit the gamer lean, oh my god, I'm commentary, I'm Never be good. That's against the spirit of it. 
Oh my god, the tech! Oh my goodness. Dang. There, I shield for some damage. Up yeah. air, up air, that, cape. All that damage that Kite's got on there is uh, still very big damage. Even Absolutely. If didn't get the kill. Yeah. There's uh, one back air away. <laughs> Kite's press moves. Kite's press some moves, but oh, if he gets grabbed. Reverse jab into there. Alright. Not a very commonly seen <laughs> ender for right. but you know. Yeah. This one upper full cape. This yep, this is a grab. This is Boyko running yep. around, waiting for that big wing to swing. And like, ah, percent. Give me my grab. If anyone knows their percents, it's like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Up the gate master. But it is funny, like, he's really all fundamentals. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's damage. Good damage. Actually, not that much, though. Is that it? Oh, the, no. The 42 is big, though, because yeah. now all of your aerials knock down. Your neutral just gets that much better. Yeah, dash attack knocks down. Oh, great, great grab reaction there by Boyko, seeing the shield and grabbing it. Boyko is a master of dash attack. He is. He's, he's, a, he's big he's on dash attack. He thinks that move is broken. And he might be right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, very hard for your face to see kill there. Oh, no. MK has so many mix ups there. Yeah. Oh, reach the jump. Okay, not gonna do it. And the uh -oh, SD. This is where it gets rough. Probably okay. The big kill confirm does in fact work at this percent. Yeah. So he just needs that grab. Yeah, All right. oh, there it is. If he executes it, alright. Oh my god. Hasn't missed one. Pretty good game. Hasn't missed one. Not bad, not bad. Dang. So, game three probably on a flat stage, I would have to guess. Yeah, it will be probably on Smashville. Probably. Yeah, usually. Or maybe Dreamland. Depends on how Bobby's feeling. Or, I don't know. I don't know what he thinks of this matchup. Yeah. I can't say I've talked to him about it at all, so. Yeah. But, uh, that's, this is an interesting 1 1 situation. Yeah. This game is really important. Man, is it hard it's to win on Dreamland. Pretty tough as MK, but you gotta ban. What did he ban? He banned Delfinos and he banned FD, which are. Yeah, we've talked a bit about how the 1-1 the one -one is really hard against Kais. Yeah. It's so easy to just get 3 one by him after yep. after going up 1-1, one -one, feeling okay. You lose the game on his counter pick, it's, it's like... <laughs> it's so tough. It's rough. Yeah. It's not a good situation for you to be in. So far, all Kais this game. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. interaction. Funny little interaction. Yeah. Sometimes you get a jab as MK and it just works out. Well, this stage is a tri Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Well, this stage is a tri plat, which is good for MK. The combo game, it's. The platforms are a bit too far apart to really give them the type of extension that you got a battlefield. Yeah. And, additionally, the blast zones are so high that you don't really get that much better kills off of their cape. Yep. Oh. A lot of damage though with Oka. Yeah. Tacking it on. How do you hit the glide? How do you hit the glide? Oh, That's always the question. played that part really well, but... That was a really crafty recovery, like guys, I gotta say. Yeah. Very good, but... Is that? Yep. Alright. So first talk to Kais, this is where it gets tough. This you got us because... Oh my god. What are you looking for? That's looking so for scary. Run up and there, an edge guard, anything. Now Kais is positioned there. Yeah, down. jumping, trying to find that dare. Yeah, you can't jump. Charizard can just get the jab out of there so quickly after the down from right. Look at that RD63. That's tough. That feels bad. Yeah, up tilt, yeah. The Baron Shield up tilt mix up. Not even a mix up, he just does it pretty much every time. He gets so much value out of it. It's so, just so like, spaced that it's like, what do you even do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Kais goes up to stocks. Definitely a dumb one. Yeah, it's looking rough. Yeah, the back air won't kill, across the stage at 148, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, oh, you, how do you edge guard the glide? It's really the question, when you have Zardoz stage, how do you hit the glide? Oh my yeah, god, 94. Quick, quick, 94. Oh, and even though this game yeah, isn't going it. by that fast, it's like, <laughs> it's getting yeah. really, really dominant. Like, this usually, one, usually yeah. dominant performances are over at a flash, before stalking to get it over with, but we're like, oh, they're let's go minutes in. Dodge. This is tough for Boyko. What you want here is just to get some momentum back for the next game. Yeah, mostly. It's win neutral a couple times. It's not easy to make a comeback like this against Charizard. <laughs> Some would say it's near impossible. Yeah, just a bit. But, right. Okay, I got the shield drop there. Oh, no, it's very clean. Oh, it's nice. Shield drop there is very, very good. Oh? Right, no, Never mind. <laughs> That option at heart. Happens. Sometimes you yeah, think you have more jumps than you do. Yep. 
and then you're out there without a jump. Dying. Yeah. Stuck under the stage. Nothing you can really do there, other than not go for the edge guard. When you're down that much, why not? Yeah. Hit your opponent a few times, feel good about yourself. Yeah, Blinko picking Cavern. Pretty good stage. It is pretty good stage. Zard's jab doesn't hit the platform really. Are we on Cavern? Maybe default stage? Uh, we're trying to pick a different skin for the stage. For some reason. They might just be kind of invisible. <laughs> yeah, let's just play it out here. Alright, we got we got some mid-game conversation between the players and the commentators. Yeah, I can see how on this TV um, the vision issue might be a thing. Yeah, especially with Gray MK and Gray Zard. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we we'll play, see what happens. We play it out. So far, pretty even. Wicko not looking too... Oh, the full jump there is... Not looking too much on the back foot, actually. Oh, kind of being on the front foot. Yeah, this is where you are. Uh, the nightmare is getting jabbed. Yeah, I, it's really tempting to want to use that platform as a pressure mechanism for when you have your opponent in the corner, but Zard, <laughs> Zard just presses A, just hits you. Yep. So it's not really the best angle of attack. There's not much you're getting out of there. Yeah. Good recovery by Boyka. Oh, jeez. This is tough. Oh, but that was a good landing. Alright. And that's good. guard. So. Nice little refresh. Yeah, you know, Kai's getting some percent there. That's yep. always a good thing. Pretty important if you're down. Send the card over to the Start a game. Uh, that is damage. huge damage. If quick 59. No CC percent. Or no ACI. Oh, nothing. Rather. And off stage is bad. And a quick stop? Wow. Wicko really put the, put the yeah. fear in Kais out there. I feel like a reversal last game. MK, definitely a lot easier to kill, though, than Charizard. I'm pretty really on that, so. <laughs> Probably not gonna be. Oh my. Yo, the empty he's, land. He's getting the up smashes. He's just that getting up crazy. smashes. Yeah. He almost lived that one. Side B, not quite gonna make it. Yeah, Alright. 22% is not, not nothing. He's chilling. Uh -oh. Every time Kais gets a hit, though. Yeah. So grab. Yeah, smart by Boyko. Oh, he landed, okay. He's putting himself at zero risk. Just no possible way he could die there. Oh, jeez, oh, that's, yeah. that's a tough one. He was so brave holding it. I was waiting for like the get up attack or like. Yep. But a little too brave. Oh, he wants that grab. Yep. This is why he picked Cavern. And there it That's is. That's why he picked Cavern. That's not working on most black stages. Yeah, now any, any launcher is what he wants here. Get an upper strength, get 40%. That opening is so scary. It's near the edge of the stage. Gets a stomp. Wiko uh, made it through. Yeah, he's doing low stash. Uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. That's why it's scary. Oh. Oh, that is tough, and suddenly we're so even. Okay, you said Kais was kind of chilling earlier, I guess. Yeah, that was, I guess wow. he really is. He's getting such good grabs. Oh, the up smash is so big. And there's out. Smart. And I does have a little bit of a Luigi quality to him. Oh, Kais not up to him after that bear on shield. Hit this next up. Oh, yeah, that's up beep. Oh, oh my god. Oh, being a semi fastballer never felt so good. Right? Getting to live that. How do you get back to ledge? It's a chance. It's a chance for Boyko. Oh, uh, he takes the black. Okay, down throw. Uh, uh, hitting a tech chaser to oh, would be damage for a kill. All he needs is one more grab. Oh my god. He needs just one. Oh! That's how Kais does it. He chases you down. <gasps> the DI! Oh my god. This okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. On the, yeah. Well, uh, guys. Oh, Boyko. Boyko was so, yeah. so, so, so close at the end there. That was a tough game for That Blake was fans. one neutral went away. Boyko fans and very good comeback by Kais. Yeah. Not losing composure after losing two early stocks. Yeah, Kais, stock there, so. Kais playing the ground game just fine and yeah. getting better punishes. That'll be that.
Yeah. We talked about the 1-1 one -one situation being hard against Kais. I mean, it's just... It looks like we have Brian next. That's all I'm going to Okay. Brian Vanga? Yeah. Brian Vanga? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brian Vanga. Brian Vanga. DVD Bongo here. Also, hello chat. Thank you for tuning in to this event. Hello chat. Bills. Uh, What's chat. good? Pokey Fall. Mona Tony. We got the gang. Mona Tony. Aries? What's up? Aries X plus 95. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Tuck's been here since the beginning. <laughs> we gotta, gotta respect oh, Henry friend. Tuck. A true chatter. Till the end. So, I warmed up Brian for the set earlier. Uh, we played a lot of Fox. Yeah, he's pretty good at this matchup. He kills off a grab, and very consistent. Like, yeah. So. Yeah. He, uh, a little bit of a tech chaser, this DVD character. He is quite good. Yeah, yeah Bongo, not gonna play Falcon in this one because yeah. he has a Fox. No like, let's, let's be real. Oh my god. He's, the way he's hitting those auto cancel back airs. Oh, oh my god, he's going demon mode. Yeah, he's that's, that's the real demon Getting mode. a little demonic. That's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> this DVD guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, DVD's punish game. Uh, so good. His movement, so good. He's just an incredible player. Yeah, he's looking nice. He got ranked something on top 50. I he no sure did. I didn't really read it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So congrats to Brian on, congrats to Brian on getting a placement on the ranking. <laughs> That's all we can say. <laughs> all right. We bring you no information. We bring you no information. Only this hand like, horror. Yeah, only funny words. Oh my god, they both <laughs> missed a ledge dash at the same time. That was awesome. Oh my god, please don't die. That was perfect. Oh I see we are uh, we're having some kind of day in terms of execution here. It is pretty warm in this venue, which... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I definitely uh, I had to take the coat off. It's pretty warm here, so oh, yeah. no cold hands complaints. I don't think. I mean, half the community has hand warmers here. That's true. Also, is it Spencer? Yeah, hand Spencer. Warmers? Spencer at the pack. Yep. Definitely at the pack. Also, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe you just said that. Thanks for the man. <laughs> 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 yeah, so this is a pretty historically Fox favorite matchup in terms of character. Um, getting closer in PM as people get better at the game, especially with all the you know, specific throw stuff. Yeah. yeah. You get like back throw dash attack on Fox. Uh, a lot of options you're not really going to get. Uh, it's like. In melee. You can't even get, like, fair. It's like, yeah. You gotta take the true tech chase in melee, which actually changes so much in the matchup. Yeah. There's a lot, I feel like there's a lot more dash tacking in this game. Oh, just yeah. Just overall. Dash tack's crazy. It's just more it's common fun. to get it. Her kit's just better for it. Are we good? Yeah, you're good. I believe we are good. Going into it soon. That was an awesome, like, I game of telephone it. over there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Start on Delfino. Delfino. The very rare New York, New Jersey Delfino's gameplay. Yeah, very rare. I mean, I guess somebody didn't want to go to PS2, and that somebody was probably Brian. Yeah, probably. And I, I get it, you know. Yeah, so Bungo's Fox, not that new, but still definitely like a dual main secondary thing. Yeah, um, for sure. His Fox is like, yeah, it's definitely, it's very him. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> So does a lot of the same like movement stuff as his Falcon, but it's just a fox. Yeah. yeah. He's got good fundamental defense. He hits his combos. Like, got that first stock. This is our stuff. Pretty clean. Oh. Insane S right there. Yeah. That's out of a bad situation. Longo just barely got out of there without taking the up air. Yeah, DVD's bears are just so insane. They're quite good. It's so important in this matchup. Absolutely. Uh, forward throw, threatening back air. Yeah, same up B spot goes low this time. Yep. Bongo good about hitting his mix ups. Sitting on the platforms. That is what I remember of fighting Bongo's Fox yep. in the ditto, but I mean, it's also if good in this matchup. matchup so. Yeah, I was going to say. If there's a matchup between the platforms that um, on, this is one of them. Platform is uh, it's pretty oh good. My, he detected. detected. That's crazy. Oh my god, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, that was dead. unreal. That was messed up. That that, was... That's a PM specific thing that Brian got the up there. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh the reverse yeah. last Yeah, yeah. 
It's more so the, the speed at which I play Snap Punch yeah. than the initial part. Oh, I didn't know it was the speed at which I Oh, good deck there by Manga. That's a hard deck to hit. You got to go for the deck down there. But DVD is just kind of Punch hacking game. this game up. He's just, he well, just hit so hard. Oh my god, Delfino ceiling. That is a pretty nice benefit for DVD. Oh, that up tilt. Living that, living that up smash and then up killing. Air. That was a beautiful combo. Oh. That was just so fundamentally DVD beautiful. DVD is so beautiful combo. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's a that's a rough start. Oh my god. We have at least two more games. So. Even that 17 is like that's free real that estate for DVD. Yeah. This is a this is a matchup where Fox gets so much value out of CC and ASD right now. Yeah. Forward air knocks down real soon. Yeah, the big dash attacks. Yeah, that cross that smash just completely crossed up. <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah. Brian's pretty big on that move. He was telling me earlier. <laughs> this is the best move in the game. I got. I mean, I gotta respect him for using it. Yeah. Oh, got burned. That's rough. Yeah, this is tough. Your bongo. Weird reverse bear. Yeah, take away. <laughs> Playing so so safe. He's doing the Brian thing where he's impossible to hit. Yep. Sometimes he just. Sometimes he's just impossible to hit. It's like we all know how good his punish game is, but yeah. he can just turn yeah. on the neutral. This is the thing Stango always says, always says about him. Like, in doubles at least, like, sometimes Stango's like, he gets a break because he doesn't have to worry about Brian getting hit because Brian just won't get hit. Same with Toon Link. Yep. He's always been very evasive as a player, so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, We're kind of just ending up around the platform. And, I mean, Sheik likes that. It's one of the few ways that she can get damage in a relatively safe way. Yep. But Bongo's just kind of winning out in the situations anyway. But, punish game here. Yeah, oh, oh got a roll, he did not. You don't want that roll, you won't wave that kind shield every time. Don't tilt up air, yep. that's gonna be a stock. Oh, Who's this stage is Bongo? so good for Bongo. <laughs> yeah, but, Brian fires wheel now. <laughs> Bongo's doing a really good job of staying alive off stage. The eye is actually fantastic at all of that. It is really, really good. Yeah, the yeah. mirror fast fall just to get back to the ground. Yeah. So Bongo's putting Sheik exactly where Sheik doesn't want to be, which is yeah. just kind of at Fox's mercy, dealing with short hops. Yep. Just Fox could just run over me. Yeah, just at really close range. Oh, that, that is a crazy series of events. I cannot believe you got ledge. That's very, very good for Bongo that he grabbed Bongo up Yeah, that is crazy. Uh, next up throw. Especially now, so. Oh, oh, oh wow. I thought uh, That's it's tough. Broke. It's tough gauging whether or not you have invincibility for the poof. I thought he had it there. I thought he did too. And, and that's oh, rough because now he's oh, taking some damage on stage. DVD cutting into his lead. Oh, geez, he gets grabbed. Little late. Yeah, good for Bongo for ball jumping out of the, the side B leg. A lot of people are just going to spam and defense pop from there, but ball jump, get out of there. Yeah, it gets you out of there, and it also, if the opponent comes in, you're suddenly, like, landing on them as Fox, which is great. Brian's Full hop is so pretty fast. good. <laughs> Turns out. Yeah, it's a little broken. Oh, oh that yeah. drop so unfair was, that was dirty. That was messed that up. Was that was messed Game up. 15 is chip. That's, yeah. that's pretty good chip. He's, second he's alive. Oh, he's al yeah. Oh, my God. Brian, like, somehow makes Sheep look like she's a really survivable character. She is not. She, she is isn't really... Combo way, but her but, cover's a lot better. Yeah, he really makes her look, like, durable. <laughs> Which is crazy. Yeah. Oh, uh, great CC. Yeah. Oh. Black Ansel Banner by Bongo? She's pretty funny. Back up. Oh, we didn't go for the dash tag. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was there. I think a lot of them. Oh, that's... He's just looking for one bear. Yeah, he really just wants tough, it. Though. If he takes a drill, that's looking... Yeah, drill turns into a lot. Yeah, nair at this percent, you can just safely nair. Like, it's all... I see I from Bongo. Oh my god, the robot. Drill. He didn't hit his wave shine. Ah, oh, hitting the wave shine there is so important. That is tough for Bongo. Now he's staring down the stock. There's so much... Every bit of chip is just so... Oh. This is what Brian's all about. Oh my god, the drill. Oh, the chip! That was literally the chip. That was like a fighting game OTG. 
Oh my god. Love that combo by throwing a full stack of needles. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, combo for damage. Oh, this is so tough. This just uh, not been the, 101 free percent. I, I really liked the, uh, the up throw up air timing. Yeah. Bongo delayed it yeah. a fair amount. Yep. Trying to catch the STI slipping. Love to see that. Oh, oh yeah. Delay. Oh. Yeah. But it's still alive. Yeah, that should be it though. You know, that's a tough game to lose. Yeah. But with an early start like that. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. But, but I feel like Bongo was still doing fine near the end though. Yeah, he was. Kinda just got messed up in the middle. Yeah, he didn't hit his end guards at all, and he just got hit hard. Yeah. Oh, definitely one of those games that slips away from him, but hit in the second place. Yep. Oh, oh my god, the oh, Bobby that's rough. Okay, big oh. full hop up air. That is such yeah. a good combo starter. Oh, good up tilt. Oh, great recovery. Oh no, Bungo's just not hitting yeah. that wave shine. He's kind of just not, not hitting their tech right now, but... Yeah, maybe not super warmed up with the box yeah, prior to this set. He played it in a few pools, one pool set at least, I think. Okay. But definitely more of a Falcon player story. Absolutely. Yeah. The box is a lot, if not recent, a lot recent to more recent to you. Oh, that's another edge guard drop. Yeah, they're just. Uh, oh, it's so close. Yeah. But it's so far for Bongo. Oh, oh I'm gonna take a damage. Melee, oh, Surely, right surely. Oh, oh my god. Ryan is proving oh. impossible to play. Ultimate's going crazy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think. Question. Anyway. Yeah. Well. Alright. Crowd's going though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so tough. Where Brian's just getting the back air spaced on you, and like, not, not much you can do. Yeah. You gotta hit now, play. Oh my god. Yeah, Still looking pretty alright in this game. Not bad at all. Uh, a little full hop mix up. Oh, oh great down tilt. That down tilt was awesome. Yeah, very that good DI on that DVD. The on only way to win neutral there. Box down tilt is a good move. Especially in this matchup. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Bongo is uh, Bongo's looking good. Yep. Edge guard. All nice. Right. Yeah. Finally hit one. Called a. Uh, DVD has a lot of different timings he'll go for, and that was definitely a hard call on the early timing. Yep. Just yeah. guessed right, caught him out. Because the mix-up is less whether DVD goes to ledge or not, and more so the timing of it. Yeah. That's the that's one of the big PM buffs that he actually has opportunity to mix up the timing. And he will yeah. go late, especially. Yep, I'm going to hit a nice angle to ledge. Arcadian ledge dash, we'd love to see it. I'm is not hitting tech skill today, but that's okay. No, oh, that is angle by her. That's a rough one, but... Cannot recreate that angle, but that's a hard angle. It's the same exact spot as the previous game here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One laser at a time. Bongo really taking charge of that platform. He does, he does not want Brian up there. Yeah. He does not want Brian on that platform. It's a pretty important 78, though. This yeah. Like Nair, Nair Bear percent. This could be Drill Shot Nelson. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, Smart. Geez. Smart recovery by Brian. Nice as always, no jump. Oh, he really just took that one opening. Just, he's taken so many of his punishes to fall away. It's just so incredibly good. Oh my god, so freeze the roll. Oh, that's or such a big chip. 65 recovery. Oh man, this is looking a little over. Yeah. This is looking kind of over. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Back of the there, my Brian. Oh my god, the upper was too early. Oh, oh man, Bongo really has to hit this edge guard. Oh. And yeah, Brian did that same recovery last one. Worked the same way. It's a really All nasty right. mix up. Okay. All right. Well, Bongo. here we are on last dock. Yep. Last chance. Great Got the edge tagged. Oh, oh my god, I, I thought Brian had waited long enough. Oh my god. Okay. This is Fox's weird ability to be survivable. Be Fox's oh weird ability to be survivable over 100. Oh, okay. There it, there it is. Good stuff by DVD. Very solid, as always. Hit his punishes. That was the story that's that. You hit his punishes. Yeah, he back through and then hit a tech chaser too. And then a little dash tag. 
until a quarter. Absolutely. Ooh, Mark 3 2 over Faller. Master Mar. Master Mar. With a little that, victory oh, no, over no, the that Mo? Oh my god, Moldrum? Yo, Moldrum oh, Faller? Oh my Yo, god. What? Wait, that's I need to look at this bracket. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do some reconnaissance. What's here. happening? What do you mean, Moldrum with 3 2 over Faller? That matchup is so difficult. Hold on. Oh, yeah. We got Hakeem on stream next, Astastic. Nice. No idea who nice. playing. Hakeem actually attending something. Yeah, right? So Crazy, I know. To to yeah. Oh, no. Okay, Gallo beat Morks. Mole Drifter, 3 2 Poilu. That's crazy. That's a big upset. Watch and Learn beat Wombat 3 0. Oh. oh and okay. Mar beat Mao. Mar beat Mao, alright. Send up a lot of cool sets. Send up Bongo Mar. Bongo Mar. Bongo Mar, that's funny. A couple Long Island team kills. Today. Yeah, it's impossible not to. Oh no, it's Bobby. <laughs> oh like, my god, it's Bobby. <laughs> Oh, it's Bobby Aki. Oh my god. This oh, is awesome. settle in, get cozy. I'm glad we get to watch this. To bring the people this. Get a little blanket. We got Bobby Aki. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they played a lot, and uh, Aki did, in fact, lose to the Ganon at a cream. Yeah, at one point. <laughs> Aki, one of the people who certainly triumphs over the Zero Suit. But, yeah, oh, not, man. Not against this character. Oh, man, it's the Ganon difficult. Yeah. Bob just, uh... Bob just... But Ox got a good power skin. Yeah. Absolutely. And he's good at pressing buttons in the smart place at a disadvantage. Yes. Yeah, he has, like, several mix -ups. Like, you know he's gonna double jump in some form after he gets hit, but he has several mix-ups that he does with it, where it's like, well, that's pretty hard to cover. Yeah, Bob go with Mar. Oh my, Turning Winner, Turning Winner, so Ganondorf Turning Winner is very, 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 very good. I should be Oz, thinking up there. Oh, okay. Oh, well, SD. Yep. Right, hey, but uh, there's a grab yeah. and there's a kill. Yeah, so, uh, in the Midwest, Chalupi talks about this matchup a lot. Um, oh my god. And he frequently talks about how, how bad of a matchup it is for Ness, and how he thinks Ness is the worst character in the game. Oh, he does play this matchup. Ganon's grab game is just silly. <laughs> So this is definitely a... Just messes this character up. If you're, if you're watching this, don't think it'd be an end of the here. <laughs> Gets grabbed at like 80 and it's like, whoa. Yeah. Pick your poison. Not much you can do with any character. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. my god. Yo, that goes crazy far below ledge. I really do not know what's up with Ganondorf's dash. I, I just... Yep. <laughs> Alright. This is a character. It's definitely a character. Um... Big grab by Hakeem, but oh, okay. gets out with the rolling down. That was very nice. SDI. Right, turn around and shield. Oh, oh my, my god. god. So Hakeem uh, is no! feeling oh, that one. Oh, this is so tough. The fact that the Nair reversed. Oh, that's terrible. Alright, got to jump back, I believe. Yep. Oh, that's terrible. But, alive. Never mind. Yep. Oh, right. that's tough. Alright, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got, we got Up air? Yeah. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. This is a loud venue. <laughs> it's uh, All right. a little back right. throw. Yeah, this is, uh, this is tough for Hakeem, but this, this is, is tough. one grab. It really is, uh, Hakeem's success is about, is about whether or not he's hitting his punishes. Yeah. Okay, 65. Quick 60. That's the power of Ness. We got the run up to showdown. That's something going. Oh, oh my god, this is so tough. Back air. You know, I gotta say, nice timing by Bob to be able to land and shield the pink air fire. You do not want to get hit by that thing. Yep. <laughs> There's one of those little landing mix-ups that Hakeem does, and it's like, pretty scary, because if you get hit by it, it's, it's bad. So much of Ness is landing mix-ups. So, uh, that's... Too far? Yeah, too far. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. You don't always know with Ness. The Bob Ganon. <laughs> yeah, Bob Ganon is a demon. Definitely demonic. I think, uh, I think the thing was small Ganon today. He, he did say that earlier. Yeah. 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 It's one of, it's one of the guy, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, we'll see if he sticks to it, depending on who he plays. I don't know if he loses to Brian. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to want to play Ken against me. But, uh, oh, chain grabs. Got the up air. If nothing else, Bob has fantastic execution. Yeah, he is so consistent mechanically. It is insane. It is crazy. That's why his rare losses you can often watch is to see the rare time he messes up his tech consistently. Yeah, the days he's playing bad. Oh, jeez. That's gonna, Next gonna one back her up. Oh, oh, well, that's just not barely. Not as like I was looking for. Yeah. Oh, so very, very cool wave dash forward by the game. Just hitting the fair and then confirming yeah. confirming wave dash forward grab on the roll. He's very good at finding the spacing. This guy loves doing fair yeah. F smash. He loves doing fair F smash. So crazy. And down tilt F smash. And when it hits you and gets the sweet spot, you're like, oh, you die at like 60. Oh, first dash attack. Like, oh. Yeah, so Ganon uh, has one of the best moves grabs in the game. Yeah. Distance wise. Dis yeah, distance not speed wise, wise yep. but distance wise. And the people just don't. Yeah, it is uh, kind of not known. And this guy loves <laughs> chain grabbing characters. I uh, didn't think God chain grabs. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe he lived. Yeah, the Malachi Ganon is very bare. It is strong. <laughs> very scary. Loves, loves chain grabbing up down for Yeah. With incredible execution. That's oh, a big not punch. rough double jump land for you, the game. You see it less with Ness than with Lucas, but it does happen. And it yeah. just sucks. Clean edge guard and this is an even game. Super even. Which is crazy. Oh, crushes yeah. up the Yeah, pretty like, pretty much being like, I don't respect BK Fire running up. And he's like, right. But he just crosses him up. And then hits a scramble with Ness. I grabbed. That has turned into a lot. Oh, another PK Fire. Can't be grabbing that. The damage build of it, like, cannot be overstated. It's crazy. It's, crazy. So it's, it's like, it. Often is that one thing that just gets you a kill percent. Oh my god, the dash attack. The dash attack, yeah. 73. Even dash attack is unbelievable. It is so incredibly good. Even on, like, DI in, take the fair DI in, you're just so far off stage. Oh, and that's a clean edge guard from Malachi. All right. Oh, oh ugh, getting grab. chill grabs. Oh, but drop the punish. Oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> Weak dash attack is... No up tilts in this set so far. Yeah, um, Bob, Bob loves using like seven moves maximum. With every character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll use like forward tilt, grab, down tilt, Is that it? up smash, uh, yeah. fair back air. Up air. Wow. That's it. No, not as clean of a game as the last one, but still solid stuff. Yep. Yeah, still looked like, uh, still looked like. Bob was kind of chilling. Yeah, just kind of swing his big moves in neutral. I don't think Hakeem got any of those like crazy true zero to death no. big momentum swing punishes, and I feel like that's often what winning hinges on. You, you need to be able to delete a stock. You can definitely do those punishes on Ganondorf. One of the few weaknesses of the character is his uh, unfortunate combo weight for a lot of Yeah, players. and big body. Yep. Oh, we are scrapping. We are dead rap. Bob is actually just dead rap. Oh my god. This is 3 a.m. net play, Bob. Yeah, this is El Gran Diablo. That was crazy movement by a game. Somehow getting behind Bob on the platform. To get the back row, yeah. yeah. That's the Nest player stuff. That is real Nest player stuff. Yo, Akiem is the master of the character. Definitely is. Ganon has a lot of space up there. Yeah. He is oh, chilling. Little, little, little damage build. I feel like Hakeem has gradually gotten better at minimizing uh, Bob's damage build. Yeah. High low percent. Oh, jeez. Jumped into it, though. Ooh. Where's Bob going? Uh, <laughs> wish I knew. Is that death? And oh, that, that's my definitely god. Definitely death. death. That's over 100. Oh, that's death. That was death 10% ago. Oh, yeah. Ganon? Yeah. It's hard. Might be a little strong. Oh, weighted into the down smash, yeah. that's so much damage, and position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, spacing moves right above the game, trying to bait something out, bait to jump in the corner. Yep. Oh, oh he just keeps getting through with these fairs. The spacing is like, just barely in the game's range. Trust the cape from there. Interesting. 
Um, I wonder if the dash attacks are coming back. Oh my god. How do you get out of the corner? Only needed a fair in center stage. Uh, DIL, that'll just kill. Please knock off my Malachi. But, uh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Ganon does have the crazy thing is Ganon has fast moves out of combo. They did a regular get up at the same time. He does. Oh, pivot up smash. <laughs> oh. And another fair okay. that's just Akeem full DI out. Akeem is holding down away. Uh, down third fair. All right. Yeah. Here we go. It's this is this is how it goes. This is how Bobby does it. Oh my. Down smash. Okay. Not really up tilt as much. No, nope. uh, he's just kind of like dash dancing. He's, he's just, just like playing no neutral in a normal way. Uh, he's just playing hard and powerful cheek. Yeah. And well, all right. Well, that's that's a three stack. That'll be a set. I'm glad the, the people get to see Bob's Gandor. I'm also glad the people get to see Bob's Gandor. Yeah. My God. Only people have suffered on Netflix. That was beautiful. Yep. Wonderful set. Sorry, Hakeem, that you have to be the victim of that yeah, one. Yeah, that's you know, tough. Okay. Happens. But. You know, that's why we uh, that's why we do them in. You don't want to play Zero, zero Suit Ness. It's like 94, you can't really combo them. Yeah. You like can't get hit because you'll just die. Yeah. Not the worst matchup, but definitely not one you're you're going to a tournament looking to play. Yeah, it's just uh, tough on your execution and decision making when you just pick in and grab Mad 80. <laughs> That's crazy. Very funny. Can Zeros is a god like Duel Man? Yep. It's kind of true. It it's kind of true. Yeah. Like, they do pretty much cover everything. As long as you're a person who believes that Ganondorf does fine against Mario, then... No one does fine against Mario. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> no, nobody is doing fine against Mario. Honeydew, uh, I don't even know if they can still hear us. Oh, well. No one's talking to me. Stretch out my leg. It's been a block. It's been a block so far. Uh, get a little losers update. Yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, there is no losers update. There's a bunch of sets going. Oh. Oh, dang. Yellow versus Hog. Yeah, all Boyko Moldrifter, Flarp Watch and Learn, and Bo Bongo Mar are all happening in that Fresh round. Fresh over Flarps. Oh, the motorbug. I was hanging out. Yo. I was hanging out with Dave and Bag, and and Fresh said, "Yeah, no, I'm feeling ready for Flarp today." And I was like, I was hearing that, and I was like, "Well, it's Zach." Like, but I mean, I guess he was. Yeah. My God, I guess he was. Fresh, the best ice cream player in the world. Always, forever, Perhaps always. that matchup is not literally unwinnable for Isis. No way. <laughs> I disagree. I only use evidence and no theory. <laughs> Dang. So that sets up winner semis of DVD Fresh and Kais Malachi. Oh, wow. Yeah. So those are two classic sets that might take a while. Yeah. Yeah. Boyko, Moldrifter, Flarp, Watch and Learn, Bongo, Mar. Bongo, Mar. All happening. I wonder if Bongo, Mar ended up being MK Fox. Probably. Right? Yeah. Now yeah. all the new characters. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking? Oh yeah, <laughs> Moldrifter That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Upside of the century. Upside of the century. Let's go Moldrifter. Let's go East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> this is an awesome regional. I missed yeah. East Coast regionals that people went to. Oh yeah. We haven't had that many. We've just been going to Nationals. Yeah. I mean, Nationals are cool, but like... We need, we need a few, like a regional month. A regional month and a half. Oh, we're playing. Alright. We're playing. Gallo Astastic. This is like a. <laughs> it's not a classic? Yeah, this is like an APM Netplay classic. Yeah, no, this is definitely an APM classic. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need more APM classics. Uh, Two people I, who played Mario. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think I can play this Mario in tournament anymore. I don't think, we, I, I don't think we're going to see <laughs> Mario Ditto. Although it would be funny. Only against Motobug. True. Yeah. Oh, I love the way Gallo plays. Mm. 
Haki, that was actually kind of crazy for Haki to get the single hit of uh, Fair to come on grab. Gallup's been doing down tilt Fair with Mario yeah. at East Coast Regionals since like 2012 or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, the downer up there. Oh my god. Good deck. Gets the tech there. Pretty big to avoid taking any further damage or your stock. He Safe really pressure from Gallo. Yeah. Just went for back air roll. Scout now what team likes to do out of shield. I like I don't even know like what set history there is. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like no clue. Yeah. Oh, oh, up air gonna okay. kill. Dang. That's that crazy. is the kind of punish that like feels really good to get on Mario. Oh yeah. And like there's a lot of characters who struggle a lot against Mario but yeah. Ness, even against this character, yeah, that's just the punish. His, his, uh, he's just so strong. Because all his punishes are just your opponents and Ness, and he can't up you out. Yeah. Oh my god, he healed. He actually healed off the fireballs. That was wow. messed up. That was messed up. Oh. He actually healed like 20 damage that's off the fireballs. But I mean, this is still down to down to a fair percent. Or okay. dare up smash, you know? That Whatever works. Really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Most we're, players really want the grab. Yeah, we're kind of just sitting here in neutral, but Gallo getting hit with the edge guard. Very good edge guard by Aki. Yeah, that's tough. That's like, there's like six different things Mario can do there, and they're all really good. Just attack on the fly, though. So after all that. Kinda, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just miss them. But sometimes that's, that's okay. on defense, like enough is enough, and you just, you just mess up. SDI by Hakeem. Yeah. Very low after getting the reverse up air there. Yeah, Keem looking like pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty warm. Today. Like even against Bobby, wasn't playing bad. Yeah, he just he, got he just got matchup. Yeah, he but, looks good. Player, but yeah, Gallo is. Oh my god, Gallo's in the vortex. Yeah, sometimes Ness but, just it just feels endless. Ness is just drawing a figure eight around you. Just dash back, short hop, DGC back in. Yeah. Dash back, short hop, DGC back in. This is where Ness feels like the best character in the game. It's, it's just sometimes it's so impossible to hit him. Yep. It's just in and out, in and out. That's top five. No. <laughs> but yeah, no. That's, uh... That's a fair. Probably kills here. 89. Yeah. Ness is... Ness is very heavy, weirdly. Yeah, Keem's actually doing so. pretty good on the edge guard, yeah, I gotta say. Keem's playing really well in general. It's like, if not getting the kill, like, at least getting some damage there. Oh, hey, you're chipping. Well, because back throw. Oh, yeah. Question mark? Back throw. Wow. All right. Hey, Keem gonna take game one with a little two-star. Honestly, not what I expected. Same here. I figured Mario Ness is probably, like, pretty hard for Ness. But... I guess Ness. Ness Team has the punish uh, game. Yeah. Down throws down throw. Fox punish game seems on today. Yeah. We're going here, which is yeah. a dangerous proposition for anyone. Both these characters, uh, Ness oh, characters. The damage, 60. Yeah, the stage buffs Mario's neutral a lot, but buffs Ness's punish game quite a bit. Yeah, at least in comparison to Mario. Oh, absolutely. So Mario has a chain grab, but not on this character. Ness kind of gets that 60 regardless. Of whether or not those platforms uh, they confirm to get on stage. And another edge guard. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone. Just a doing a really good job edge guarding Mario. Yeah. It's kind of crazy to me. Like, that is not easy. Yeah, keep just holding shield there. That's, uh, yeah, letting the letting the Mario normals run out. Oh my god, that's wow, so much damage. So much this counter pick is really this is not where you want to take Ness. Oh oh. There are not many characters who want to take Ness to FD. This is, this is tough. But like, that game one was reasonably close. Yeah, this, is, this is just tough. This is like not the differential in Punish game. Mm -hmm. Mario wants to see. Oh, yeah. You're pretty much finished with Wade Day. Oh my god, Akeem is looking unhittable right now. Okay, but he got hit. Yep. That's damage. That's a down throw. That's a down throw. That's a down throw. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Gallo finding some life. This is... Hey, Mario could definitely there. hit this combo. Absolutely. Mario is capable of deleting the stock. Ooh, but light reaction yeah. to the DI. 
Wow. Oof. That's tough. Oof. That's, that's not a good feeling. That's Gonna never, hit with that. That's never a good feeling. That's right. The bear grabs are just so strong. Yeah. Three stocks to one. And he's got he's right under that fireball. Yeah, he's playing around fireball so well. Yeah. The keeper looks and really good at this matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Where does that come from? Maybe they played a bunch. Yeah. I mean, Hawk's been around for a while, so. Yeah. Okay, big forward air. But, uh, misread the timing on Hakeem's recovery, and now Gal's taking a lot. Oh my god, and the delay jump. fair. Oof. The double fair and air is so much damage. Oh. And you got no shield. Holding in, taking big damage. Wow. Oh, Hakeem oh destroying on yeah, Gallus Counter Pick. That was insane. That yeah. was a very convincing game. Oh, Kevin's in chat. Coaching, giving yeah. notes. I think he needs to grab him. Oh, Kevin. Alright, shout out to Kevin. Best player in the world. But yeah. A lot more fireballs this game so far. From yeah. Gallus. Which seems good, uh, <laughs> limiting yeah. your opponent with your projectile. Yep. Oh, didn't get what he was looking for there in terms of movement. Yeah. Oh man, like he keeps so prepared for fireballs. He is so good at moving around fireballs. <laughs> yeah, this is very impressive. Like he doesn't even take that much like chip from the, from just like messing. Yeah, it's just. just this is very, very impressive. Oh, oh. jab down smash. That case side of the stage. Straight back. Oh, that's a big down smash. Yeah, it's being oh. unafraid of. Oh, okay. oh my god. Oh that my was god. Got like that. That's funny. That was messed up. <laughs> just stood there tossing fireball. <laughs> just, just chucking shit. Yep. Oh. Everything gets there. It's a nice guard. Oh uh, yeah, and we're fireball back fireball. to even. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the this, just so the combo game is so consistent. Yeah. Like, it's just so consistent, like the 40, 50, 60. Yeah, and Hakeem's hitting every mix-up afterwards perfectly. Yeah. Just every mix-up. Oh my god. Just playing so confident in the matchup. Yep. Yeah, Stalin, 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 Stalin. Oh, reach the roll, but yeah. not fast enough on it. Just playing that floaty game of, you can't hit me, even if you do, I won't go anywhere. And then as soon as I get in, I hit you with a big punish, but... Yeah, but Gallo getting the best of all openings. Grab at 90, whatever. Just a bunch of chip into grab. Yeah. That's, that's all you really need in this matchup. But it's so hard to chip out of the way he keeps playing. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah, he is. He's just hitting every fair at a disadvantage. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. He is right. looking very poised to just win this. Yeah, okay. This is very impressive. Back row definitely creates a more volatile situation. It's very close to hitting this edge guard. Okay. All right. Tough angle. All right. So. Gallo just... Not an even game, but a doable game. Playing to Ness's weaknesses. Throwing him off stage. <laughs> oh, he's looking strong. Oh, that's tough. Okay. Down B's got to be coming. No, no down B. Okay. Save the down B. One last try. Great roll by Hakeem. 3-0. A clean one, too. Dang. That's crazy. That, uh, uh, that was not what I was That was not the set I was expecting either. Yeah, that's yeah. it. All right. That's interesting. Yeah, good stuff, though. That's what I say. A few more loser sets, probably. If I had to guess. Yeah, I have no idea. I can check back if you want. Oh, well, okay. For once, I'm the one that has service. Yeah. I'm so excited about having service. Oh, well, that's wonderful for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Very much is. Yeah. Can't say the same. Pull up chat. Yeah, Kevin is fucked up. Random East yeah. Coast Regional. Oh, yeah. And then we got top, top player Envy in this before. Venue. In this very building. <laughs> not playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> playing melee with Jeeps. Yep. Pete's sheet goes crazy. Oh yeah, God. fresh people are. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Things, right. The timeline shifted. Everything's been playing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. Cool.
Are you trying to repeat history? <laughs> yeah, no. Pete's so do I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what Pete's angle is, but Pete's I never like, know what Pete's Yeah, I'm a commentator is. today. Sometimes Pete's decision making is just absolutely incomprehensible to me. I agree. I know a lot of MIJ like just didn't know when this tournament was, and then ended up with really last minute plans. It's awesome. It's pretty funny. Honestly, I didn't remember this tournament existed until you were like, "Oh yeah, we're going to New York." <laughs> yeah. It's a fun tournament. What three awesome. top ten yeah. players? Like, it's a good tournament. Trying to check on losers. Wait, wow. Now they're updated. Are they really not over? Don't tell me Boyko Moldrifter has actually been going for 26 minutes. Don't tell. Don't tell me Boyko Moldrifter has actually been going on for 26 minutes. I don't want to know. There's no way the Moldrifter run goes like this, right? There's no way. No, that is true. Pete did get a spot in theater, but didn't get ranked. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh. Yo, I got no idea. Stock Kyle, I don't know. We don't we know are blocked by a huge like commentary wall. Yeah. Windows on the stream computer is trying to tell us <laughs> that there's a what? new Windows feature to That's update. Crazy. <laughs> this is insane. This is messed up. This is the funniest tournament. I'm not pressing any buttons. I refuse to press any buttons. I'm back here. Oh, we're picking a time. Yeah, where are we going? I'm just gonna push it out as far as possible. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, right. we're free. Figured that one out. Wow. Let's see if I have service on this half of the race. I, I feel like there's like an impending crowd cheer. I feel, I feel like there's really? some suspense. Well, like, what is anyone doing right now? Why are there three sets that haven't been updated I don't know. on SUG? This is just a tournament with a lot of standing around. Yeah, that's true. Maybe just been standing. Let's see if I have I don't have know. Or isn't every tournament, though? That's fair. Okay. Especially because I'm not entering. No, I still do not have service. Mm. That's up. Do you want my phone? Oh. Okay. I was just going to check. Are you dead? Are you dead? What up, Joey Big Large? Motorbug. Oh no! Exclamation point bracket. Ooh. Ooh. Having to rely. DVD fresh. You enjoy. Very long sets. Oh my god. This is gonna be funny. I believe we're gonna see Toon Link. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, how's, how's Frosty's going today, bro? Is it, it's like top bracket for a bunch of stuff, right? I have no idea. Uh, like, I don't know. I was sitting in the car for three hours this morning, and I just didn't check. That is, you know, that's true. I, could, I, I just didn't check. I have no idea. No, 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 Frosty's? Yeah, yeah. No, isn't Frosty's? It ends on Saturday. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like the whole thing with Frosty's. That's back just goes, oh shit, I made top eight. <laughs> Let's go back. Average. Clark uh, 3 Q Spencer. Ooh. Dang, close one. Clark's running the gauntlet this tournament. Yeah. That's tough. He didn't look like he was playing that odd earlier. Yeah. Spencer's playing pretty good today. But... Spencer was playing pretty good today. I had the pleasure of playing him. It's a fun set. Did you go tell Alright. Freaky Friday bracket from Larb indeed. Yeah. Alright. We are getting into it. With a little hand warm. Uh, DVD fresh. Instead of a lifetime. Oh my Flarp god. Yet again. No way, Flarp. Oh, I have to check. I have to check bracket. Or everyone involved. This is crazy. That's funny. Let's go both players. Do we know Boyko Moldrifter yet? I don't think so. Yeah. Yo, has Boyko Moldrifter just been... <laughs> Crowd's going insane. Boyko Moldrifter. Meanwhile, we have mutually camp, mutually shared camping. What's happening? Brian got to play against Yeah. True. True. Yo, it was so messed up. We were looking around the venue earlier. There's a Yoshi on every setup. Huh? There was like five Yoshis at once. Oh my god. This has literally been the tournament of Yoshis. I'm so pissed. <laughs> Have fun watching Slime. <laughs> so pissed. I had to fight Yoshi. I got a bet 70. I have to fight Yoshi. Yeah. <sighs> There's Marg screaming behind us. 
Okay. Shiny Zubat though, wonderful guy. Very pleasant to be around. But man, I got hit with the Yoshi. I was not about the Yoshi. There's some real screaming. Something must be ending. It's Boyka Ball Parlin. Oh my god. Yo, is up 2 1. Oh my god. Brian calling in from live on stream. Oh my god. Alright, Pete just, Pete just looked at me and gave me a thumbs down. So. Oh my god. Boyko uh, just lost to Mole Drifter. That sucks. Alright. Oh my god, Mole Drifter yep. just beat Boyko. Okay. Alright. Hello, chat. What's now, going on now for we're you? For the long haul. Yeah. yeah. I believe we are officially at that point. Alright. <laughs> well, that just happened. Okay. <laughs> wow. I need a drink. All okay. Right. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have Brian jumping between platforms and Fresh trying to get a grab. Yeah, and that Brian, was a selfie. Brian's gonna um, press the down B button. There's not gonna be much to talk about, so I hope. I hope so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope you're, uh, hope you're feeling good. Yeah. This is definitely Boy, a mental test. Hope you're celebrating in your room because Mole Drifter beat Boyko. Yeah. Going absolutely fuck wild because Mole Drifter beat Boyko. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't say Boyko. No. Boyko. Boyko. There you go. Ah. Proud of you. Oh, okay. It's been a long day. Yep. But hey. You still gotta drive home. Yeah. Wow. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have to We're just gonna watch this set on repeat. We'll be able to get through like maybe <laughs> four of them. Yeah. On any oh, we got, we got Zach and Chad with some. What's going on? I need an agent. Yeah, Brian is pulling bombs. Agent. If it doesn't go to time, it's going to be a very gotcha. very slow. Yeah, we are already a minute gotcha. down. And most of us stock taken, I guess. Yep. But yeah, Brian is just not, not going to get hit. Not putting himself at any risk. That's really landed with an aerial, but that's rough. Fresh getting his desyncs in. I yeah. <laughs> you, you have to call him out. Yeah. I do not know. Oh my god, that just cleaned people brain. Word. That's super just protected. I see. Hannah's doing evasive maneuvers there. Yeah. We're pressing buttons, but it's okay because we're back to neutral. Oh wow! That'll be a stop. Put the bomb down. Pick it back up. Fresh, no grab, but did like a pretty good job. That's, that's Jeff. Put in some real damage. Is a down smash. If you can find a down smash yeah. on Brian, it's very tough. He is so evasive, especially when you're playing a very grounded character. Yeah, he's he two -link. He he is just so. He's so good. He's so good. His neutral game is insane. There he goes. Right. There he goes. Full hopping with the bomb. Oh, you thought he was going up. Now he was going down. Oh, still living. Two oh, link up there. Such a good move. The chip. Look at the chip. The chip. That's more than chip. That's a stock. I can't. I can't call that chip. That's a uh, yeah. Wow. That's past the point of chip. That's a full stock. And this is where it's tough. This is why the matchup is bad for race climbers. Because two. It's so hard to get near two link. Oh and when you do, you're at risk of just losing it all. It's like, ISIS have a, a pretty hard time even just playing like a fair positional game, like putting the opponent in the corner and then the push strong aerial. Yep. Like even that, it's just hard for them. If, yep. they, if they don't get the grab, it's really... They have so little. Brian just tacking on the damage onto Nana. And he's at zero. Like what that's, are they going to do? Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> yeah. And that'll be a Nana, kill. Yep. That'll be a kill on Nana. Oh, he's looking so clean. This oh is... my god. This is so Brian's tough. like licking his chops. He's like, hell yeah. Yeah. If you're oh, yeah. worried about your favorite Sheik player having to play against Ice Season Bracket, do not be worried. Do Brian, not be worried about play. your favorite Sheik player, DVD. Yep. I think he'll be okay. Well. Well. Picks it up with the chain grab. Is this new stuff? This seems like new stuff. I don't know. That was 90. That's, wow. That's a hefty amount of damage. Oh my god, the short up uppers neutral are so, so good. Yeah, that move is kind of crazy. It has a hitbox all the way down on the hill, all the way through. So you can wow. just do it rising out of a short hop, and it'll just hit people on the ground. It's a yeah. move. Wait for Nana's roll there. Get your free chip. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, 
right? Nice recovery. Wow, yeah, very, very good recovery. You gotta appreciate the fact that Fresh is still in it. No, he's, he's playing to win. He knows I mean, those two grabs. He's ice climbers. Yep. It is. You're it really right. is that winnable. He still has Nana. Okay, well, he's That's dead. That's it, yeah. <laughs> he is, in fact. He had Nana. He did have Nana. For that brief move. Alright. Wow. So, Fresh wants somewhere with no platforms. Minimal yeah. amount of platforms he does not want to get jumped around on. I haven't thought about striking on PMBR in like so long. Oh, Zed. I don't even remember what's legal. Yeah. Well, Is that pretentious to say? No, we're just evolved. <laughs> no. Evolved no, I just haven't. I just level. haven't played on PMBR in a while. No. Uh, don't make me have an opinion about stages. <laughs> anyway. 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 Dude, you getting a big old chunk of damage. And now, now Fresh is on the run. Fresh just side being around. Yeah, Fresh. What is he doing? He's moving. He's oh my god, he just shot her with so an arrow. Right. That would deal some physical damage. That would, that would hit hard. That would hit hard. That's, that's a tough experience. If I was wearing a park and I got shot by an arrow. <laughs> yeah, that'd be rough. Fresh, uh, not big on ledge dashing this set. Yeah. He's, not, he's never been the biggest ledge dasher. He's always done. That was crazy. That was. That was. Oh, he went for the infinite. That was 1 7 only. He went for the infinite. But yeah, Fresh has always done the decent blizzard from ledge with Nana. Yeah. That's great. He plays so differently. Yeah, he does. I really like watching him play. Same. It's like a. If you have one ICs on your coast, you might as well have two. Oh, yeah. So you can mix it up every now and again. Yeah. You watch enough serve and you're like, alright. Two very different I think styles. I get it. But no, it's nice to see that play. Yeah, no, I, I love watching that play. And he's so practiced at what he does. Yeah. Yes. He plays his own pretty unique style and just does the fresh stuff. Yeah, he, he gets the tournament he's like, alright. I'm gonna hit him with this thing, that way. Yep. That Dave DM'd him at it. Yeah. on Thursday. <laughs> I'll watch the Celtics. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, got the grab, but that's oh, that bomb was so the clutch. Neg the negative edge. <laughs> yeah. Frame zero. Yep. Oh, no. Very good recovery by Brian. Not not hitting a shield full face the other way. No one's lose gone there. How he gets grabbed. Yep. Would rather give him an attempt to edge guard the low up beat than do anything else. Yeah, Brian's really good at targeting Anna. Really good. Oh, that was a nice offstage yeah, play by Great job, my friend. Yeah. Oh that my god, Brian with the bomb is so scary. Okay, but trade it out. This is a grab. Uh, I don't know if we'll get there this stock. Refresh. Oh, or... Brian is just throwing bombs at you. <laughs> well, it sets up this funny little scramble where, like, there's a tech chase situation for Fresh, for fresh but Nana's yep. over there, so it's not like you get your kill confirmed. Yeah. It's just... It's weird. When they Fresh made it up the straight up bomb toss though. Mm -hmm. With uh, letting it look like it was gonna hit Nana and then sinking with side B quickly. That was crazy. What? Down throw in. Oh, that hurts. Nana got lost. Oh, jeez. That yeah, hurts. Still a sofa chain grab. Yeah, Fresh. Fresh but... sofa is uh, pretty strong. It's reasonable. Yeah. I think reasonable is a very good word for it. Yeah. It's not the tech sofa, but it's not bad. Yeah. He's not helpless. Oh, yeah. Put on some damage. <laughs> That's Dude, cool. he's just charging forward smash. Yeah, that is the one situation where you got to be careful because if that fair spike does hit, you are just dead. it feels bad. You just got your own spike sofa. Not good. But Brian, you're not going to hit by the spike. Lives another day and takes the spike. Back air. Yep. Feels good to have a confirm like that in a matchup like this, huh? That's pretty nice. Tink up B is pretty good. So get this. This Brian guy, he's gonna jump and he's gonna press down. Really? <laughs> I think he's gonna do it a lot. No way. What's that do? <laughs> I think it wins the game for him. Usually. That's speaks. crazy. Usually. Well, wow, more people should play this character. Yeah, hold on now. <laughs> uh, anyway. And that's a forward smash. But that's not an edge guard. It, it really, like, this is all just 
That's so nice for DVD. He's so chilly. He's got a stock to work with. That's he's got the, it. He's got the game. Yeah, this, this is not who you want to run into if you are a Ice yeah. nice Climbers player. Yeah, this is rough. This is a pretty tough matchup historically. So. Yeah. Man, the the dual maners. Yeah, the dual maners are scary. You, you have to use a dual maner. Yeah, what do you do with zero suit cannon, or what do you do with sheet tank? Oh, it's like, man, that is tough. Yep. And then we got Stango. Just, <laughs> DK. Just DK. DK zero suit fox. I don't acknowledge any of the Stango characters. <laughs> yeah, only only D DK. Only DK. Solo DK man. Brian getting a little bit of damage with some bombs, as he tends to do. Yeah. <laughs> the platform on this stage is so hard to interact with. Oh yeah. Now, Fresh hoping to get, you know, some FD-like qualities, but... but it's, it's just a constantly moving platform. Yeah, Brian loves that platform. Oh, wow. Incredible decent guys block, man. That was almost a crash. Moment. Has Fresh hit any, any no, big I don't think low percent hit, kills off crap? I don't think he's hit the funny combo yet. Not a single one? Maybe one or two, but uh, none of significance. That, he's, just uh, been, he's just been chipping. That pretty much is how you beat Ices. You stop them from getting that big combo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Well, no, no, no. Is it 2-0? It's 2-0, yeah. Yeah, it's 2-0. Yeah. Uh, we got it. <laughs> it's fine. It's 2-0 and, you know, close. Okay, Nana died. That little recovery situation was actually pretty unfortunate for Fresh. Having Nana yeah. above you and being Sopo doing a little recovery is pretty bad. Having Nana below you is not that bad because the magnet box for Uppy Startup is yep. way bigger below that. Yep. But that was not the case, and Fresh and Nana just kind of died with a Sopo quickly after that. And, okay, yep. a little jab down smash, a little jab smash. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's the next one. Alright, well, got a lot of wave dash forward shield by Fresh here. Yeah. So, this is slow going. Yeah, there's another one. He's Not really trying out. to minimize how much damage he takes trying to get in, because that matters. Oh, yeah. But, oh, even if DVD's just hitting Nana, it's really big. Yeah. Well, who's that bomb trajectory? <laughs> you know, oh, no. DVD's got tricks. <laughs> it's just always there. There's always yeah. a bomb. It's, it's tough. This, this is what makes it a tough matchup. One of, one of quite a few things. He's not even ahead by that much percent wise. It's just, it just feels cannot so be touched. Right, this is this is one grab and then Fresh is in the lead. We've all seen that. We've, we've seen it time and time again, but you just cannot find that grab. Oh my god. Imagine that oh, arrow is so nice like, standing. I thought he sniped. I thought he sniped. Yeah, that's smart. Up being down to the other way so that. Fresh can't just go off stage and save uh, it. Doesn't get jab grab there. Okay. Jump buffer and roll in. Yo, Fresh covering himself with Nana's ice block. Yeah, while she was that was crazy. It's kind of clutch. Unfortunately, he got hit. Oh, wow. Fair hit the platform there. I was yeah, surprised. That was, that was high. Yeah. Fair's not a good move. Yes. It's a pretty good move. But yeah, this is where it's tough. Where you get just bomb toss onto you into bomb pull bomb. Yeah. And not trying to punish grounded, jumping anyway just to piss in an aerial there. Yeah, the stock lead just hurts so bad for Fresh. He's doing like a decent job, I think, sharking with his up airs. Oh, yeah. Like, DVD has to work for it. <laughs> 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 right. DVD has to work for it. Bank shot there. But man, this is tough. This is not, a, not an easy one by any means. Brian is oh. gonna make it back every time on that. Yep. At Especially least with a wall there, oh, that's yeah. gonna get it. It's gonna get funny. Oh, yeah. Here, that's good. Stage. Focusing on Popo for the edge guard, because if he hit that up, he has death. Yep, yeah, right up there, though, by Fresh. Getting his chip in where, it, where he can. Yep. It's, uh, yeah. It's one thing to say it's hard to hit DVD, but it's hard to hit him on the ground. Especially. All of the yep. moves that Icy's can use to erase a stock happen on the ground. And DVD is just not getting hit down there. But, alright, you do it. Can you do it? Alright, yeah, That's well, a funny combo. That's a lead. Alright, Fresh is, after all we yep. talked about here, about how well DVD is playing neutral, he got grabbed by his climbers in like 20. Yep, oh, but he evened it up right quick. Which is really important here. 
Why, well, even if you're in the lead, like this, up 2 in a set against Lice Climbers, you're still scared. But at a percent disadvantage, oh my god, oh. a big scramble. Get out of there. Okay, oh, random grab. is grabbed, grab. grab. so scary. Got away with it. Oh, this is stressful for both players. Fresh can't take too much damage or he's gonna start getting knocked down. That's oh, yeah. Bad. Grab. Alright, it should be Oh a, my god. Oh my god, he dropped the Just grab. barely dropped. Oh my god, DVD's so brave. Alright, Fresh takes the game. Alright. Fresh gonna do it. 2 1 DVD, now we're going to a tall stage, probably. Yeah, no, we're going to a tri plat. We are going to a tri plat. Almost definitely. And DVD will sit on the platform. Almost definitely going to a tri plat. Is there hovering? Brian hovering this stage. Yeah. That's interesting. Maybe he's ruling it out. I'm gonna choose to believe that. That's my truth. Some crazy dueling stages left available. Battlefield is really hard. Yeah. Delfinos. Even Cavern. Yeah. Wario Land. Oh my god, yeah. Wario Land. <laughs> this historically Tink's best stage. Alright, Brian's everyone, trying to get a little degenerate. Everyone sort of recognizes how good Tink is on this stage. It is incredibly difficult to reach this character. And here we are chilling on PMBR, so, you know. Yeah, we get to play on this stage. just gotta take this. Yeah. This abuse. Oh yeah. Welcome to flagrant abuse of platforms. Welcome to what we did for many years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a tough one. Okay, that was a big blizzard and grab, but Brian has the mesh. Yep. He's got everything else. Why why not have the mesh? Yep. He's a very good player. So. Not at Brian all slowing himself up. Oh my God, the rising up air to hit the wave land. Uh, that's big game. Oh, he charged up here. <laughs> that's awesome. Come How on. How can you not be a Brian fan? Come on. So sorry. Yeah, Fresh, oh, is, yeah. Fre uh, Fresh is looking to get in on the ground. Brian just lands and full hops again every <laughs> every time he lands. He's already jumping. There's no vulnerability point. Yeah. Except there. Brian just kind of landed in the wrong place. Landing in the wrong place is how the, how the team like messes up here, but... Oh, he's setting bombs now. He's setting up his lair. <laughs> he's protecting himself with a bomb on the platform. Yeah, this is so... Okay. Oh, on the platform Fresh too, but... It. The platform's tough to get the Oh my god, he's oh, dropping two, two just straight up king drops in a row. Handoffs there. In that that is rough. Those are such big openings, and... Oh, yeah. Dude, he still has the percent lead. Jimmy Dice. Those, those punishes just didn't do that much. Oh, wow. Tossing out his projectiles. Yeah. Right. Confirms. Confirms on confirms. Okay. This is probably alive. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Now he has you alive. Yeah. Oh, quickly gets to the ground with the Zare. That's crazy. Yeah, Brian uses his air in just such an interesting way. Because of time he makes up on fastball line. Fastball air dodge there. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have a full hop, often. Yeah. And, uh, you know, stuff like that, especially whenever it comes to knockdown. It's just like, oh, come on. Oh, definitely. I gotta deal with this now? Yeah. Not this on top of everything else. Definitely all the projectiles on top of the sword. Yep. You got that move. You got some disjoint. Yeah, a little disjoint. And another percent lead. He's, if only by four. He's thrown the bomb at Nana many times. This is good, yeah. There's a lot of times where going in like that yep. becomes less risky with your chances of hitting Nana and then getting her off stage. Oh, so absolutely. even if Sofo shields it, it doesn't really matter because yep. he, he can't punish you that hard without Nana. That's why that early damage is so important when your news moves start knocking down. Oh yeah. Everything changes. Yep. Up B. Yep. You played it. does not have to be at any risk Very here. simple. Very yep. slow. We are... We're not getting chipped out. We are on pace-ish to time out. Yeah. Depending on how this goes. We um, could absolutely see this game near time. On a small stage, but... A, this is the power of tri... Not, not triplats, but... Accessible pla high platforms. High platforms. Yep. On All a more right. mobile character, but... 
Oh, that's oh, such a big combo. drop. Yeah. yeah, Fresh having a few drops has kind of been the story of the set. Yep. You gotta make it count so the match much. Is insane, by the way. We yeah. hear it all the way back here. He wants to get out of there. He wants oh, damage. Insane option. Throwed himself at the bomb, but yeah. double back air. Yep. Gonna do it. Uh, oh, God. Oh, I got scared. I'll be real, this I got scared. This is a game. This is so scary for DVD. Okay. Yep, cutting cutting through yep. both of them with one up air. Just uh -oh. absolute safety. Fresh will always Anna. choose. Always choose. Always. Anna. Always. It's, no decision it's a high value decision. Yep. You win neutral once, you have the chance to kill. But he needs yep. to win neutral on the uh, ground. Catches the roll. Okay. Just looking for that way dash forward jab. Yep. Let's see the blizzard ball again. DVD is DVD is actually just raining hell on him. Yeah, this, this is this, hard. This is hard to deal with. Oh, oh. yeah, the read, he but not the timing. Time oh my god, from down to down. Great yeah. recovery, but what coverage? Nothing what you could really coverage? do at that point. Nothing you could do. All right, uh, this is so doable though, Fred. Always looking for is just catching the landing one time. But three minutes, I don't. I don't He's know got time to work with. Yeah. Three minutes is a lot. I would be pretty surprised at this point. DVD just seems to be doing too well. He gets chipped too fast at this point where it would be too much of a risk for time, but... It's a big chip. Even if it's just like 10%. Back airs? Oh my god, that's huge damage. Oh, this is looking so bad for Fresh. How yeah, do you approach this? What do you do? What do you do? This is not bad. What do you do? This is just not bad. Okay. Oh my god, he dropped another one. Ninja. Another crucial drop. Right? Uh, that's some funny names being called out. Anyway. <laughs> By Dom. Yeah. That's pretty funny. That's a good one. Thanks for Super Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, Shoutouts to, uh. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> that'll be the set. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll be the set. Right. That'll that'll be the we're set. so good at this commentary. Oh, the Bobby Ditto? The Bobby Ditto? Is this our other, uh, this is tough. Semis? Yeah, this yeah. is tough. Yeah, I think what, it's um... What happened last time? What was last they time? They have a very storied set history with Kais winning a lot when he yeah. was not seated to win. Yeah. Did that for many years. Um, I don't when know. When was the last time? Is this it's like Boyko where they haven't seen each other? Maybe. Because Bob hasn't gone to that much the end, end of last year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we are continuing with the Ganondorf. Yeah, all Ganon today. Bobby saying. time, big business. Are we are we big business are we fans? Or are we Bob chat? Boberson fans? What are we What are we on? We got Crump and Chat. That's all I need. Let's to go, play. Barry. What a Barry. It's my dog. My favorite player, Crump Barry. <laughs> Crump Barry one up. Same. Yep. It's just inspirational <laughs> gameplay. Mm -hmm. What up, Jay? Hope you're having fun watching this on a little Sunday night. Yeah, definitely a little Sunday night. <laughs> or maybe Sunday evening. Yeah, it's uh, some o'clock. I don't really know. Yeah. We got Kevin in chat acting in the role of Nightbot. Just posting all the time. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. All day. All day. Best player in the world, by the way. <laughs> Let's fucking go. That's what I'm talking about. Real heroes. Alright. Oh, we got the hand warmer. Well, uh, always the hand warmer. Um. Yeah. I, I have no idea what to expect from this. Yeah, this could go any sort of way. Yeah. Kaisa's Zard does not feel like the kind of character that Bob Scannon was designed to be. Yep. But... Yeah. Who knows? Down throws, of very course. powerful. Dash attack is very good at with punishing up tilt. Yeah. yeah, dash attack is crazy. Are we getting into it? 
Yeah, we're getting into it. It is, in fact, OP. But Charizard might be more OP. Yeah. Charizard is so fast. Nice little QOL thing for, for Bob in this matchup compared to other matchups he's played against Lard. Uh, his heavier, which means back throw is way easier to react to. Fair enough. Even if he's not reacting every time to back throws and he's preemptively dying in. Oh, like, there's the dash attack. <laughs> oh, it starts. It begins. How did Chris he lose his me. first dog? Uh, I, I just got hit a lot. Yeah, okay. I, got, I just forgot. I literally yeah, blinked. Well, it and it happens. passed me by. It's been a long day. Yeah, it has. Okay, but that is oh, gonna do it. Okay. Just whip punish grab. That's crazy. On the jab. Now throw smash. Just gonna kill. No jump. I'm gonna die. Uh, Dash oh, tag getting dash in, tag. but... It's, it's the neutral opener. It's the punish school. It does everything. Kais is really getting the better punishes yeah. so far. Kais' punish game is just so good. By far. Kais is really just hitting them with it. Yep. That was uh, a nice edge guard. Yep. Very, very clean the whole way. Bob, uh, another player who's shockingly good at survivability sometimes, especially with this character. Yep. It's kind of terrifying, Bob, playing a heavy. Because he'll just run the recovery mix up every time out there, every same, every single chance he gets. Yep. Oh, good DI though. Guys wasn't really ready for the DI in there. Yep. Oh, they narrow off the platform. Yeah. It's so it's scary. So good. And it's so big and hard to deal with. It's just huge. Yep. Bob looking for some kind of grab here. Maybe even this up. Stock-wise. Oh, but and he got clipped by Nerf. Not what you're looking for. That's uh, gonna be a death. Yep. Damn. Very clean stock by guys. Rough start. Two pretty clean ones in a row. Rough start from Alakai. Uh oh. Hostage. That's the ad. That's the guy's, guy's position he wants. Yeah, he's just throw. gonna back throw and then do his little Nair at the he, ledge. If the Nair clips, then he yeah, just burns the it downer just... off of it. That's just death. He can edit. Alright. That was clean movement off the platform. Fading out the grab. Show drop up was quick. But oh, this is tough. Malachi does not... Does not look like he wants to be playing this matchup, but... Yeah, but he, he has is, to, so. so... He did say he's playing all game. But... So we get to call him a coward. Oh, the latest of late yeah. nares for the pickup. What a great edge guard. Dang. His face is all over that. Yeah, face just got his hit and took it all away. Yeah. Every stock, so. That was a pretty good punish game. Yep. What is the sound? What's happening? <laughs> They're laughing. Word. No idea what's going on with those guys. Oh, we got a stage pick. Uh, BSU. Alright. Alright. Inside the East Coast, we don't really. It's Bob. Let's go BSU. Oh, oh yeah, that is cool. That's awesome. Wow. Just no lag on that up there. Oh, oh my god. Big Nary. Nary is so good. The Bob gets a grab and. Nary is frame 5. Yeah, it's pretty fast. The big question with Zard is how are you going to hit the glide? That is one way to hit the glide. Getting back air is just huge. Oh, yeah. Solid game so far with Malachi. He's yeah. got three dash attacks total. Big lead. 90 on him. This is death. Oh, didn't hit the reaction for up smash, but still got the, the damage and the edge guard. Alright. Yeah. Another Just do the easy thing. That was pretty quick on there. Yeah, this do is. It well. Oh my god, the this same exact awesome. starter. Hugely different from game one. Holy moly. Yeah, this is where uh, Malika's cannon is very scary. Yeah. He's gonna live. That should be it. He's yeah, gonna pop that. Alright, yeah. I mean, All right. Please stop we leave. can't really survive back to fair. Yeah. You hold out and you get run up there. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 you're not grab. getting back thrown. That was incredibly cheater cancel into yeah. mirror reverse neutral B to grab ledge. This is an all purely on reaction by guys. 
That was crazy. Yeah, he just has such, like, well-treaded punish routes yep. at every situation. Oh, uh, there's the turnaround back there. Okay, yep. Nice to get a putt. Bob covers uh, everything, but... The movement is so good. That shield pivot shield stuff is so good. He's still up a stock. He's looking great for Malachi. Yeah. Because keeping pace like this is just... It's efficient. This is how you win. No, uh, no down throw percent anymore, I guess, but... Yep. Downward angle left well, this, this is when you start getting, like, cheesy F throw kills. Because oh, yeah. they are DIing and... Random up air. Back throw, if you're, if you're real. If you're ripple. Oh my god. Yeah. Organic dookie. <laughs> yeah. OG. Everyone's favorite team. The goats. That was a, oh my god, that was the best up command grab. Yeah, yeah. Bob is scouting out like the wake up jab. Yeah, okay. Clean stuff by Kais. This is so doable. That's a way to take that this suck. Is so doable for him. This is super doable for Bobby Kais, and that's Especially that's there. how it gets done. Forty. Off stage again. Yeah, Bob keeps holding into the four throw, and I guess it just combos. All right, well that's uh, that's that's a stock more or less deleted, but yeah, oh. Bob really stretches the survivability for this character. I was gonna say that's a lot of damage, but getting the kill there is so important. Yeah, you gotta you gotta finish. Oh, oh no, confirm off that back throw and even just this chip of up is getting this is getting to down their up smash. Yep, percent. we are now dead. So yep. you know, that is there's that very scary. <laughs> yes, it is very scary. What? What? I was scared we'd get a bit of a wash set after game one. Yeah, I was also scared, but I'm glad it's competitive. Glad the people get contact. Uh, let's talk about Ganondorf. Yeah. Alright. Somehow I ended up on this thing. Uh. I'm so confused. This seems very, very good for Tice to the point where I'm surprised it doesn't matter. I'm really well. Alright, good start. You can just do that four times. That's a game that you could hypothetically have. Yep. Alright. Oh, faded oh out the curve. Knocks down to zero. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, got right to ledge, ledge after it. Back air. Close oh, it out. So Take ledge. We got game one. Yep. That, was the exact that, was, that was perfect. That was a wonderful stop. Oh my god, Bob is so good at hitting that low, low up there. Oh my god, that beat there. Oh, that's oh, such a good day. Yeah, you got a match there. Get out of there. How did we end up here? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't think... is looking real strong on this stage. Oh my god, it's so scary. It's so still so scary. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> Solid start. Kais going a little ham out there. Oh, Getting the messed up for it. Yeah. Chain grab, 40. Okay. 60. Oh, okay. Well, All right. well, suddenly, we have a game here. suddenly things are okay for Malachi. Suddenly they're not very okay again. Okay. Yeah, no, it's worth it. Got Things change quickly. Winner, but, oh, this is man. empty. Just getting hit by Jets. Oh wow, they're, I feel like, oh, they're both kind of just swinging. I feel like Bob has just lived in the corner of this game. Yeah. Oh my god, dash tech out of the corner. Melee cheek. Yeah, but better. Right. But just an insane dash tech that just went into it. Oh my god. That yeah, up tilt hitbox was weird. Oh, Back air. Except my guy's not. Tossed a few stocks there in the middle, but you know. He got Cleaned it up at the end, as they say. Yeah. Oh, that was fast. Alright. Bob was here. locked and loaded, ready to take him to Battlefield. I guess we're not going to Battlefield. Or we're going there, less fast. Uh, yeah. yeah, 2 1, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Immediate second Battlefield. And he's all stage. And that's and it. That's, a, that's the power of Charizard. And he's dead. Ephro will send you so far at zero. We di it in, you get getting burn aired. We di it out, that happens. 
Okay, okay, yeah, game. this is the big down throw punish game. Just get 50. Off to the throw dash tag. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah this is Bob Gans down tilt. He sure does. That was so tilt. good. And that move is quite broken. <laughs> Even stocks. Even stocks. That was, uh, that was the start to the game. This is, uh, this is a big swingers. Oh, yeah. Yo, swing it for the fences. DC every jab. Push. DC jab dash tag. Looking like Falcon. Yeah, right. I mean, jab's good. Yeah, smart up the high. The jab. Oh, no, one Erickson. Bob's just taking the damage. Crest to his edge guard. Yeah, grab should be death. Yep, there it is. So what are you gonna do? You CGI hold it. out, you're fair. Yep. Yep. Nothing you can do there. Oh, taking the lead. Door. Oh, back throw. Let's fucking go! Uh, insane, insane ultimate pop-up. Insane ultimate pop-up happening behind us, but that's okay. Bug Fest securing the edge guard, securing the bag. We got people doing toss off stage. Yep. Guys doing side beat from ledge. Insane option. Rob is not falling for the baits. Oh, he went for an up air. That certainly did not hit. Again, missing a follow up of down throw, but kind of just picking it up. Light, I think. So it doesn't yep. matter. And that's that is it. And, uh, should be it. Yeah. All right, Bob on the clean suck again, but as we've seen this entire game. Oh. All right. Ice can just delete them. That's so many up airs. That's a lot of them. A lot of nares, too. Dead. Uh, not quite. Bob's got a little bit of space to work with, but this is tough. And, you know. Kais just playing the aggressive game there. Yep. And Grab right. the ledge dash again. Nice. Very good, very good. The kind of thing from there. Okay. <laughs> That's oh, fine. yeah, our setup is <laughs> funny. A bit of a scope setup, but yeah. <laughs> Guys, oh my god, he's just oh big Nary. God. Oh my god. Nary is so good. Heiss wants to be in Winners Finals right now. He oh wants yeah. it so bad. He's playing with this knockout. He's saying, uh, take, take me there. Take me there. Yep. 3-1. Dang. Good stuff. Not convincing, but uh. But he made solid, it happen. But he solid. made it happen, yeah. yeah. Oh, he can really say. Oh my god. 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 Hi chat. I hope, Hi, you, chat. I hope you're ready for this incredible set that's about to happen. Fantastic Gold Drifter. We ended up at Hall of Gaming in yeah. Wallingford, Connecticut. Yeah, that's uh, definitely Seinfeld time. Definitely it is time. definitely Seinfeld time. I'm going to save the people some sanity and not do any Seinfeld jokes. No Seinfeld jokes. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we don't need to explore that territory. Yeah, we can do without. This is top eight. Yep. This loser's top eight. I never know what anything is. Loser on top eight. Bull Drifter on the run. Run away from Beating Boyka. Beating Koala. Beating Koala. Koyu, I think, is the proper way to pronounce it. Koyu, I think she is. I don't know though, I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I don't even know, so... I don't know. Alright, well... We got, uh... We got another character, Nesca, kinda just, uh... Look at throw around. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Hakim has de certainly played this matchup once or twice. Yeah, this is a throw off stage matchup. Oh yeah, this is a back throw. It is much the same as ZD against Lucas. Oh, yeah, this is a back throw. Oh, yeah, this is much the same as ZD against Lucas and DD against Spacey's yeah. Falcon. Let's chuck them off stage. Let's see what happens. We're going right in. It looks like we're going right in. Alright. Keep getting through with. Big combo, okay, yeah, big Hakeem combo. Yep. This is what makes it. Oh, no. 
no, like, we are off to a funny start. This is probably going to be a very comedic set for the people. <laughs> oh my god, what he gave us? He does. That was so that was funny. funny. No way he dies again. Okay. That would be pretty funny. Oh. Alright. Uh, but, fell into the neutral B and... Okay. Alright, we don't, we don't mean to cancel. That was the first stock. Why don't we just ignore it? Yeah. Three three. New rule set. Right? Yeah, new rule set. Three stocks to three, seven minutes, fifteen seconds. So many down airs. Super big down airs. Hold your car. No need to be your cancel right now. Yeah. But, I mean, it's really hard when you play a heavy to fight Ness and deal with Ness back air. And the fact that you will just die, like, raw. It's like getting beat there. Yeah, it actually just got you. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was just beating him on stage. Look at the damage. Dude, that was messed up. 100 damage and counting. Even going off stage to challenge. Which is maybe inadvisable. But I don't know if I keep just feeling it. And that's there. Uh, wow. There. The King's Punish game has been so on today. It's been, it's been so been on today. It's been great. Yeah. And he attended something. Right? Maybe he will be ready. No. Oh, I just barely didn't make it. Yeah. But look at Strong. Oh, Still very too solid. Lead. Not much field left there, but. Yeah, eating up Bold Shield. Yeah, Magnet Up Air, Magnet Dare. PK Fire. Dare. Okay. Meteor Cancel. Yeah, just a Bold Drifter. That's a lot of damage, though. Real consistent with the Meteor Cancel. Yeah. And I see I out there. Yeah, very impressive. Meteor canceling is uh, There's a lot of really good players who are not very good at meteor canceling. God. True. Just uh, the young Zuko. That was the young Zuko. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> uh, double fair is not going to take that, so. 154. He wants it. Just give it to him. Alright, well, we'll slowing down the pace, if nothing else. This game seems pretty unwinnable, but might as well slow things down, get a little momentum for yourself, or whatever the opposite of momentum is. Well, that's that's game one. Yep. Uh, pretty solid by the game. He hit a lot harder. Yes. That is hard. Yes. And got his openings on the stage, and then he got big damage. Yep. If he doesn't get his openings on the stage, then things look bad for him. That is the recipe to make Drifter immediately taken to the air. Just not wanting to interact with the king at all, but immediately takes 40 off the grab. Oh my god, did he go for PK Fire? Yeah, that's, that's all right. crazy. A lot, of, a lot of airspace on this stage. Yeah. He loves stage with the airspace. Yeah. Well, like Smash Bell and everything. Loves hanging out at the full hot chilling out. Yep. Down area and such. Do it. Hakeem is like, Hakeem is pretty good at navigating the wall he gets presented with every time he has to recover. But that is gonna be an up B into a down B. That's we got a, our B moves going. Angle. Yeah. Put a little back air to seal the deal. Yep. That back air is so strong. Slight percent lead is no longer very slight. Bait out the dare. Very good. Yep. Big 50. Big grab here for... Oh, it just takes him down tilts. Doesn't really go into much more on the platform. This engages the ledge, which is very, very... Very important. Yeah, very slow. Uh, it's pretty much the only way you die here, if you're nest, is if you end up on stage. Yeah. Big downers, but Voldrift is so oh consistent. Right and it just keeps happening where Hakeem right finds himself off stage. And suddenly you're getting reversal and you're off stage and life is hard. Life is hard. Okay, big on stage punish. We got that. Even though he's using the meteor cancel, that's still damage. It is still damage. It's just crazy how Bull Drifter does so much to make down air. Just kind of not that big a deal. Yeah. Suddenly you don't really care about getting hit by that down air if you're DDD. Because one of these openings can be a stock or a stock yeah. trade. That's an even game now. 
Hole Drifter taking this to the wire. Yeah, Hole Drifter wants the straight hit into offstage situation. Hakeem wants the grab. He wants that big onstage punish. Alright. Alright, found the grab. That's magnet up there. Dare. A little 40. 40. Quick 40. Quick 40. Okay, that's a big grab from Hole Drifter, but slow on the confirm. Yeah. Taking a lot of damage there. 96 is, it's not kill percent yet, but... It's, it's but it's tough. Close. But every percent is potentially kill percent. Now, oh, now this is back there percent. That's the Green Hill ceiling. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's alive. Yeah, alright. How did any of that happen? How right. is he alive? And whatever. At the end of the day, Hakeem took that game. The crowd is big. This is awesome. Insane, insane ultimate gameplay going on, probably. Yep. I don't know. They're playing like a well-defined matchup. Like, the yeah. game punishes in predictable ways every time, and you feel like it's optimal, so it's like, okay, so that's just what Ness gets. Like, this is a matchup. There's, there's, not, that much, there's not that much mix-up occurring. Yeah. This, this is not two characters being, like, doing knowledge thing. checked. Uh, yep. Ness awesome. DDD is, like, relevant to them. Yeah. And they're playing it. And they're playing it well. I like it. They know what they're doing. Could kill oh, yeah, barely. Big magnet, but yeah. not stage here to get too much damage. Got another dare, but this is just a way to rack up damage. Yeah, just yeah. don't get reversal. Then life is good. Oh, the stars, the stars are. That's possible. scary. I swear. Oh, oh no. Oh no no. This is where it's tough here in the game. Yep. Oh no no. That's how the matchup is. You can do all that work on stage, but if you get it off stage one. It's really like, it could be a one opening. Are you twisty? What's happening? What's going on? I have no idea. For our game. Holy right. I cannot believe DDD won that. I thought it would work the other way. Oh my god. One fair. Oh, oh, good angle. Be. That's what the, the angle's all set, but either that one. This is so. It's not even yet. Percent's pretty big, but it's doable. This is so doable. Especially if you got that crap. Yeah, I mean, that's 50. Take I like. I, yeah, I like taking there. I like taking there. The down air doesn't usually mean much. Uh, oh, he grabbed. That oh my god, that's crazy dead. Nair that was a super crazy nair extension. I cannot believe that worked. Full drifter. The on stage button. Yeah, magnet back air. You cannot hold in on that magnet. Sometimes you can't even hold out. But you definitely can't hold in. Oh my god, 50, 60. Getting the PK fire locked in on the landing. Yeah. That was awesome. That's funny. Oh, it's big. Oh, yeah. Raised the jump, but wasn't able to get there. Yeah. I came, but it's turbo aggressive. Just put out the fair. Oh, one quarter. But, oh, well, Drifter can't find the hit. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. What a reversal, though. Yeah, going back to the safe place, that is the ledge. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. It's DDD. That's a nice landing. Yeah, but then he got back well, up. Alright. Well, dang. Very solid stuff. Well, dang. Not bad at all. What a pant? Yeah. What a Benji? Uh, what? Like, no <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. I don't know. I don't know what else we got here. Uh. I don't know when they're summoning us out. Didn't have a little I know, this is like, this is quite just like giant. Apparently, like, Spen Spencer and Peter Rosen 
Yeah, 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 the top four. I don't think we're there yet. We have Flart Bongo, I believe. Set of a lifetime. It just had to happen. It happened at Blacklisted. It's happened numerous times. The sequel to Flarp Bongo that used to happen all the time. Yep, it is now Flarp Bongo. It's the passing of the torch. Flarp plays all Long Island. Sorry, I'm kicking the Everything is good. My lower back is killing me. Oh, yeah. We're a bit hunched over. We're a little hunched over. I'm trying to get to the volume to the chatters. Okay, there it is. How are you? Or just sitting there. Oh, we got Bongo. Yeah. Oh, Flarp what, beat Spencer game 5. Ooh. On the run. Bongo beat Mar game 5. Yo, Bongo Mar game 5 Yeah. Ooh. Mr. Mar. Maybe the Mar Knight? Probably. New character. Good tech chaser. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that Fresh so Hawk? So that sets up Fresh Hawk and uh, Bob versus. Oh, and I, we might get some Gin and Luigi run back. Actually. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, baby. Yeah. Well. We'll, we'll do it. It will be a time. It'll happen. So much off stream? Yeah. The stream like just wasn't up for most of the way there. Yeah. Got to have that. And we just people don't want to... People are now forced to watch. Not trying to run late. Oh yeah. We gotta get home at a reasonable hour. Not that we are, but you know. Are you waiting for Brennan? Probably. Oh, is he? Alright. Here we go, Brennan. A classic show now. A classic show. Okay. So, he doesn't need this. Just tell him. Just let us know. Yep. Yeah. Watch the crowd and just talk about the game. Yep. Playing. Love watching Flark win neutral. Me too. He has to do it so many times. Uh, I, I love watching Bongo in place. I also love watching Bongo in place. I love watching Bongo in place. Bongo Bongo place. He's gonna like wait a half beat and then there. Yep. And then he's gonna dash back. It's gonna be great. It's a wonderful gameplay. Yeah. And this is really a classic. It really is. It's happened like three or four times. I think Bongo usually wins. Yeah, it. yeah, but Flarp won at Blacklisted. Yeah. So, that was the most recent match. Yeah. Uh, I they did play at Blacklisted. Yeah. No, we had to commentate it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, we're back. Anyway, commentated so many times. We really have gone through the gauntlet. It was good, though. It was a fun event. It's, yeah, it's been a nice event. Very, very fun. I said to eat the rest of my dinner. I'm excited to find the Ratchet Tier Nice. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go to the melee area and find the player. Yep. Find your hair. Little hand warmer. If I were you, I'd go get some tea. Yeah. Because my throat hurts. Yeah. But that's what you get when you talk for hours on end. It's that time of the night. We're gonna get spoiled. Dom says we're gonna get moving. How do we feel about that? People in chat, give us your opinion. How are we feeling about that? I outsource all my opinions to Twitch chat. Getting shmoovy right now. Oh yeah. Let's fucking go. If you know your opponent is not here, we are in the corner. We are in the corner. We're playing some neutral, baby. There's one thing I love about Flarp, it's, it's gotta be the neutral. It's all about the neutral. Yeah? I love how he plays the neutral. He's a very neutral based He's game. He's a very, very neutral based game. Oh, that yeah. was neutral. He loves his spacing and his neutral. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And there he goes, using his spacing okay. and neutral to get a stop. Little lead. Uh, I wonder how this set's gonna go. Last one was like a 3-1 in Flarp's favor. 
This feels like a very 3-1 set regardless. Yeah. Mongo just couldn't really get a hold of him. Like, you know, couldn't hit him hard enough. That's kind of the issue with playing against Larp. He is yeah. hard to hit. Yeah. Oh. Gonna do a couple fireballs, wait for that pop off yeah. to subside. Yeah, you gotta play. Collect. There's, Collect a lot of, there's a lot of meta here. A lot of meta going on here. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty weird. Yeah. That was super crazy. Not movement. legal anymore, Sage. Alright. Well, it's legal here. Yeah. Oh, is that raw this fire? That's yeah. messed up. That's messed up. Come on. It's not what you like to see for That's Bongo messed fans. up. Well, Bongo Nation. RNG notwithstanding. Larp is up. Two stars. Big time. Yeah. Just disengages when he had shield. Yeah. Get that Bongo there. cannot hit right him. Gotta get Captain Sticky and Penguin right over here. Captain Sticky and Penguin. I just, I can't with the tags in the one. Tom has to do with that with a straight face. Yep. Oh, it's a wonderful ugly life of the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Bongo's gonna get the first hit. Bongo taking that stock with a little back air situation. Oh, insane snap to ledge. That was a super good snap to ledge, two. but. Oh. No yeah, ledge dash after it puts him in a yeah. tough situation yeah. regardless. A very dominant game so far, though. Yeah. Three stocks to one. And on kind of like a big stage, yeah. that like gives Falcon a lot of room to do what he wants. Falcon wants. Yeah. Falcon's just not really lost neutral very much. It's all, cause, you know, it's all about the neutral. Yeah. Oh, we're running it back. We're, we're running it back. It's all about the neutral. He's got the neutral. He really... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Rose, you're doing it. I'm always on the bench. Yeah. Okay, a little gentleman knee. That upper end shield is a Mago classic. Upper yeah. end shield gentleman. He loves doing gentleman after being your shield. It's pretty good. Especially against characters who slide. Okay, yeah, Bongo looks like he has a better idea of the space Flurp is playing at. Yep, hit the overshoot stomp there. Didn't get really get much off it, but... Got something. Yep. Better than nothing, okay. Nair up air up air. That's so much Bongo's looking alright. Still got him off stage. Yeah, this is... I don't know if down there any works this match. Oh, slight DI. Oh my oh, god. The up throw. With the, the option Flurp chose was wave dash. That's yeah, crazy. that was... Caught him unawares, perhaps. And he's just looking for a down air. Or a backer. I mean, well, Bongo or overextended, but yeah. he's looking good. Uh, good recovery. Yeah, he's staying alive. My god. This is where I get stuff, though. This is like one down air. Fair. Yeah. Not one up, man. Oh my god. Back in the guy. Falcon is a tank. This is, this, oh is the, this is the stage pick for Bongo. Falcon's a tank. It's it's tough, Bongo's got the DI. Oh, we're stomping on the top line. We're stomping on the top line. I mean, this game is like winnable. What? You're not gonna get comboed by that. Oh, great style by Flare. Yeah, that's gonna do it. No, you're lying to me. You're joking me. All right, there we go. 200. Flarp is sweating. He's like, yeah. what the hell, man? This character just lives forever. Yeah. What What's the deal? Flarp gonna take game one, but way closer yeah. than it looked like it would be. It was definitely three stocks, zero percent to one stock, zero percent at one point that game. Yeah. Made it respectable, at the very least. Yeah. Not back. Yep. Excited for game two. We got one band. On station seven. The Flarp is thinking they about number two. Station seven. Falco's just gonna take it to PS2 anyway. Alright. Clark's banning these like small stages with like nah, tripods and stuff. I was, I was like, nah. To PS2 we go. Yep. Oh, I like that move choice. Yeah, that's good. High damage, low chance of getting counter hit. Oh my god. That was crazy move by Clark on the platform. Yeah. This is what he does. God. Went out there for down air. Yeah, still kind of coming out big on Clark's end, just hitting the bigger punishes. It's just so tough. Yeah. If you just can't get the hit, you're not gonna get anything. Yeah. We saw the same thing in the, the DVD set earlier. Raven Tony and Silver X. 
Yeah, okay. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. 69% on him. Let's go. Let's go, Flyer. Let's go, Bongo as well. Let's go, both players. Definitely let's go, both players. Oh, that was a nice little double jump. Yeah. Sneak in with a knee. Oh, yeah, it's hard to get the fireball. The fireballs are just tough to deal with. That's yeah. just how it is. Flarp using down B to go weak. Then you cover tech away. Yeah. Just gets up there. Yeah. Now Bongo he needs to find a hit. But how is he going to find a hit? Got the funny grab release interaction there. Oh, oh great back air. Yeah, back air is so important in this match, I feel like. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is best walling tool. Yeah, full space against Luigi is kind of uh, option one to beating the character. Yep. Let's poke him. So he's off stage. Oh, no jump. No jump. That's crazy. Clark up a solid stop. I bet he's going to wave dash down smash. No way. Oh, he oh. cared. But there's a down smash. Two of them. Oh, we're going 50. We're going he just so much damage. We're going down smash with menace. Yeah. Let's talk and percent on Clarpus. He's looking good. He's chilling. Looking for the landing. Just covering that space right in front of him. Oh man, can't get in over the fireball. This is rough. Yeah, it doesn't even get the punish opportunity there because he's scared of jabs. Yeah. Those jabs would have done damage. That up air was so good. Clarp is so good. Clarp is extremely good for me. Okay, nice okay. little combo. Bongo? Bongo? Pretty good at uh, getting those punishes where you don't, you're not going to get a full one to so punish the damage. Yeah. So it's pretty good at not being too susceptible to the momentum for this building. Yep. He cuts it together. That's a nice punish. Absolutely. Now Sidnetti even stocks. Rewarded for his efforts. Oh, the up tilt. Yeah. This gets right under the nares. Double up tilt. Yeah. Oh my god. Up throw every time here is interesting. Up throw every time is interesting. He's not big on down throw, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Flarp's uh, playing the mix-up very well. Getting uh, the jump out when he can. Yep. Yeah, Flarp, Flarp's disadvantage is, surprise, surprise, incredibly good. And it's really hard to punish him for stuff. Amazing recovery with the air dodge up. Yep. Oh my god, it's like a ledge edge, edge, but got clocked by a knee. He will just do that. Bongo really brought this one back. Yeah, Bongo. Not phased by large leaf. Yeah. She kind of does his own thing with her. She's just kind of going to work. Just clocking in. Yep. Or would get the jump out. Yeah, Flarp oh, ground though, got the reset. Giving Flarp all this time to compose himself. Just take it one hit at a time. Oh, that's, that's cool. scary. This is again the near knee percent. Yeah. Oh. oh. Nothing doing. We're back in center. Yeah, Pongo is getting in way more on the stage. The more is on the stage. The top or layout is best. Yeah, it's just giving him space to near. And he really is nearing. My god, is he near? Pongo, love there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, nice Crazy recovery. Snap Not bad. What's the landing option? Clark is so tricky oh. on the platform. Oh, does the scuttle dash out of the wave dash forward out of the fireball? Trading for back air. Oh my god. Oh, Clark jumped. He committed to it. <laughs> Sitting on the ledge. It's almost a five minute game so far. Oh my god. They are feeling it out. One step at a time. Yeah, this is, uh, might be a bit of a long time. But... We, uh... Oh my god, I cannot believe he passed through. And he up through. Alright. That's the mix-up. That's so the one you. He'll start pummeling you, and he'll start DI'ing in preemptively for back throw. And then he'll get out. This is rough. By the mix-up. Well, he does not really have the greatest throw games, but, uh, Clark makes it work. He does indeed make it work. We are now at a 2-0 lead. Clark. Yeah, this is a uh, that's tough with your bongo. That was a very very winnable game. Yeah, like, that's, all the way back, but that's hard news. That's yep. hard news. This happened though. Happens to the best of us. Of course, probably the worst DI Luigi throw I've seen. Hey, Benji. Benji, yeah. very nice person in the chat. Being super nice to bongo. Yeah. Oh my God, the short hop up there in neutral. That's. 
That's some MK stuff. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, down smash like suck the oh, man. Yeah, that was, dead. that was a rough hit of down smash. Oh, dead. he's dead. Flyer off to an early lead. Yep. I'm gonna go looking for something. Oh, oh we charge it. DIM was actually kind of clutch. It made it so that the down smash didn't go back right away. Oh, we got through with the nair. Oh, oh no jump. And there was no jump. Just barely missed the confirm on the knee. He is spacing aerial in place. That's here. Sure does. Okay, oh, no reaction on the misfire. Oh, oh, yeah, space is the up air. Up the chase. Uh, yeah, flirt with that new no wave dash Luigi practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a friend who's like pretty good at Luigi with that wave dash. He's kind of crazy. Yeah, notably for de defeated serve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Top 50 player serve. Yeah. Chucking some fireballs. That's kind of a crazy yeah. smash. This is kind of slow gameplay. Oh, great. Oh my god. That was crazy. Clark. That was an incredible Zach. get up attack thing, and then everything after that was just... You really hit the dash dance on that. That was messed up. Yep. Back row. Good kill. Next one will. Got himself a misfire, though. That's, that's resources. Yep. I want him to rip it off ledge so bad. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> that would be pretty, pretty, pretty funny. I don't think it would be very good. Yeah, yeah maybe. Surely. The down be in place. That was crazy. He's still alive? There it is. There, oh, there it is. That's so tough for Bongo. There it is. That's rough. There it is. I was like, what is it gonna happen? Right. Flarp holding on to that misfire until the bitter end. And this is where Flarp makes his money. Oh my god, he's got chip. chip. Extra credit. The chip game is so tough. Oh. Oh man, that's so so much damage. Oh. Okay! Zach! Going for some oh my god! <laughs> just gets neat. He that just loves smoking Long Island players, I don't know. Yeah. Follow at, uh, at Flarp the PM God on Twitter. <laughs> Flarp the PM God. Uh, legend. Yeah, this is tough. Flarp just getting oh a platform every time yeah, now. This is, this is... The nearest just are not, not, not oh, really looking for that. I don't really get the bug of much. Clark's defense is just so good. It is so good. Damn what happened to Bongo? I, I don't know, look at the screen. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Bongo's getting hit. Yeah, he's, he's out of there. Three stocks to one for Clark. Almost insurmountable. I mean, Bongo has an ability to bring it back. Oh, definitely. But <laughs> we're on a journey. Has the journey to the right side of the stage. Yeah. Clark is still alive. It's now. Super alive. Uh, Clark's just kind of playing for some tip here. Oh my god, and he gets the slide off on the down bait. Oh my god. You know fireballs do 7 damage. Right. It's like a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. We take 2 of those, that's 14. That's, that's like a move. It's like a fox snare. I don't know how much damage it takes. Slide off the charge scene. Oh, side B. Oh my god. And the low stash punish. Yeah. Bongo is just taking damage. Back here we'll do it. Okay. This all right. Uh, I mean, all right. This is tough. He's got. Oh, he's got oh, a hook here. Waiting for the jump. But got to hit on the flat. Floor pick ground. Yeah. yeah. Oh, try to stop the dash attack. That move is him. pretty good now. Yeah, it kind of eats your shield. As you can see, Bongo has no shield to work with. Very tough position. Yeah. They've got above the up tilt. It's looking okay so far. Yeah, this is uh, looking better there. than earlier in the game. Looking to get this back here. Just one hit. But yeah, now it's, uh, now it's still tough. This up tilt into edge guard. Yep. Back there was probably like 140 or something. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. Bongo just not hitting the confirms into me. This game and oh my. Clark going for a little dash dance. The Clark's dash dancing is so good. And movement. No, 
he's not gonna get it. Is he gonna back go? No, that's good. Next oh, Longo not falling for the he's <laughs> he's this time. Instead choosing to react to the back throw. Pretty smart. Yeah. That's that one does take like two seconds. Nope. No. Not Falcon. Pretty heavy. Super yeah. live. Alright. I was gonna say, oh. it'd be crazy, but... Play 3-0. Falcon's the 4-tilt, and... Uh, that was crazy. That's gonna do it. Yeah. Alright. A little 3-0 for Flart. Yeah, I think that's something. That was a fun block. That was a fun block. Shout out to Chet. Yeah. What? Where's Francis? Where's Hakeem? Where's my man? Right? Where's Where is Hakeem? Yes, I did. Oh, they were crazy. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I thought you were going to break the shield. I was sick. I, I know that, and then I don't know what to do with that. So I never actually get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zach good. is so good today, Zach. Zach is so good. Let's go, Zach. I got a Yeah, at least. Chad, do you want to center? Can you? Can you even hear us? Yeah, I don't even think. I don't think I can hear us. Can you even hear us? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. And girls, and everyone else, we're here at the Lake George Snow Dam. I alive? Yeah, yeah, he's, he'll be here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're live, right? We're totally live. Oh, God, I'm live. Okay. We're here, top six at the Lake George Snow Dam. Now, you might be asking yourself, who cares? You know, why am I tuning into Lake George Snowdown? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. Maybe the biggest reason. All right? Other than that, we don't really have a ton of East Coast tournaments. We have a Project M Theater spot. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah, that's right, guys. Project M Theater spot thing. And only one at this tournament. Now, who is it going to be? I mean, so we got we got on the stream. We got Hawk. We got Fresh. Sorry, we got Astastic, we got Fresh. I mean, his name is Hakeem, that's my dog. Fresh, y'all already know. I mean, neither neither of these guys have a theater spot. Oh my god. Joining me on the mic here, you won't even believe your eyes. Go ahead, go ahead. Who is it? What up, it's your boy, Boyko. Oh, damn. So, theater spots, Boyko. Yeah. There's one theater spot... And neither of these players has it, and neither does Flark. So, yep. so uh, winner of this will, I mean, fight the winner of, uh... Winner of this will fight the winner of Malachi and Flark. Yes. Almost definitely. So, I mean... Oh, they already started. Oh, they already started? I can't see nothing. We're going crazy right now. 
All right, we're getting into it. My bad, everybody. Oh, dog. Yeah. So this is uh, this is astastic and uh, um, fresh. Astastic and fresh. So starting here on Battlefield, now I think this is I would say this is a slightly better counterpick for Hawk. But, uh, uh, Hakeem, SS. Yeah, SS, my bad. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think the stage is generally better for Ness in the matchup. He uses the platforms reasonably well. Oh, yeah. And we're going to say, I mean, Fresh was missing a ton, a ton of handoffs today. On, against DVD, it was, like, kind of alarming. Yeah, he, he did miss a lot against DVD. So, but we'll hoping see. Hoping that we can clean it up a little bit. You know, I mean, you know, maybe the best man win, but it's not like I want to see Fresh miss six grabs. Yeah, well, let's see how Hakeem, like, tries to play around it, right? Like, yeah. he's going to be playing around the grab. So, a lot of Ness's aerials are, like, pretty safe on block, but he doesn't have a good dash to, like, get away after he hits with the aerial. And so, Ices can kind of chase him down with a, uh, like, wave dash or wave dash grab, wave dash jab or something like that. Yeah. So, he has to, like, run further than you would think that he has to run. Yeah, and Ice is super fast on the ground, like... Wave dash is insane speed. Yeah, oh, that should be death. He just forward smash or up smash. Yeah, yeah. I like up smash. Then. All right, nice. Not missing his handoff there. We got a two to one. Two to one in stocks. This is again. This is this is a lot of pressure. Grab fresh. Oh, he doesn't get the. Uh, he gets Nana's grab there, which is not what he wanted. Yeah. Oh, nice blizzard. Again, this whole matchup is going to be Blizzard oh, and Ice Block. Okay, so yeah, this this position when you're like off stage as Ness kind of below the ledge and the Ices are throwing the Ice Blocks off is so hard to get past. I believe it. It's hard for everyone to get past. I mean, Ness, then he just sits there and it's making thunder. I mean, wait, where's yeah, the hit? Oh, nice down Great down air by Astastic. Brings us to last stock, but high percent. So this this is where you really don't. Oh, yeah, that's a grab. This is not what you want to happen. Went for the down now air. this is where the up smash will kill. Oh, he, he misses, misses it. Hawk had, or I had Stastic had two, two chances to get out of there. Alright, actually doing a ton of pressure. I like that Hakeem is using the air a lot more than grounding approach. Yeah, yeah, this is, he's coming in that, like, nice angle of approach. Ooh. Fresh is trying to shield for him, but he yeah, covers that. Alright, alright. I mean, and these two, these, these guys are homeboys. I mean, they, they're going to have a great time while playing, and kicking their ass, and they're not even thinking about the theater spot, probably. Like, just, it, nothing matters while you're, when you're in the game, you know? Yeah, it's just the game. Alright, All right, going go back to Battlefield. Battlefield. Yeah. I'm not so entirely sure I agree with this. I didn't get to see the bands, but I'll assume... Not what I assume. It's like, this is an interesting stage. I guess it's yeah. fine, you know? Hawk, Hawk. No, I think this stage is totally fine. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Oh, uh, he Booker bomb. He could have probably upbeat and gotten the ledge for Nana. Yeah, I don't know how early her intent starts, but yeah, fresh holding in on that magnet means he's gonna get uh, get back here. Yeah. Have to uh, di the magnet out, but it can be a little scary because you don't know if he's gonna air instead or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah down air. air. Yeah. Alright, I like how Hawks. Or, <laughs> I'll never stop calling him Hawk. I like how Anastasia is playing this on, honestly. She's yeah. using the platforms a lot. He's playing, yeah, and he's like playing pretty aggressive. Like pretty once he gets his opening. Oh yeah. He's getting a lot of damage off of his opening. He's gonna save her with the side B. Okay. Not too much off that up there. Oh, really great grab there by Fresh. Maybe just a. This is the whole thing, yeah, and yeah, it's gonna be rolling a lot. He's like, Hakeem is like really keeping fresh, like uncomfortable, right? Like, yeah. he's, he's keeping constant pressure on him with DJ Fire, the magnet, and this, and then, like the aerials, right? It should be death here. Yeah, F smash or just man. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the, the constant pressure of PK fires plus like the safe back airs is a lot to play around. Fresh. Opting to stay center stage, but that's kind of like the, the PK fire slash cheek needle zone, you know? You kind of have to move a little I don't like these the PK flash there. I feel like it's just allows you to, like, if you don't threaten a lot of different positions at once, instead you're forced to only cover one because you can't, like, show that you're covering other things. I don't know. 
Yeah. Huck, uh, SS has a really good lead here, though. Three stocks to one. Yeah. He's super favored in this game right now. Keep this pressure on. Honestly, I, I think he's playing the stage perfectly. Like, he's just doing a lot of weaving. This could be a stock, though. Yeah, fresh straight in the down air there. It does give Hawk a chance to get out. He misses. He's just been missing all these Ferris bites. And this is not where you want to do it. I mean, this is losers. This is for the theater spot. Potentially. Potentially. All right, because, yeah, on the other side, Flarp has to play Malachi, who he has never beaten. Yeah. If Bob wins, whoever wins this just is in. Yeah. So... This is a lot of pressure right now, and we got a 1-1 one, one scenario. Yep, so let's see what Hakeem bans. I would think he would ban, like, flat stages. Uh, probably. I feel like he's, he's going to ban. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, Ness likes platforms because he can throw the PK fire while keeping himself safe. Yeah, right? yeah. That's... So when it's, like, a long flat stage, he, uh, he can't really do that as well. So, so, like, see, he threw that PK fire. He's landing on the ground. Right, right, right. I think, yeah, I was going to say that, like, the platforms for Battlefield feel very perfect for that, but these are, the stage is way bigger. Fresh missing the fair spike again, an early handoff. I mean, a lot of damage, which is nice, but he I see should be killing there. Yeah, he hasn't done the true handoff, like, once. He's just going for fair spike a lot. Oh, yeah, nice dare. With a really nice down air. Could have had a tech from Fresh if he decided to die in. Yeah! Okay, grab. grab. Down air allows it. That up smash should do it, oh, yeah. Bad I think bad it could uh, I don't know, Ness kind of floaty, and that move is strong. And he got the charger too. I, don't, I think it was dead. Alright, we honestly, I think Fresh should, like. I know Hockey's really not giving him a lot of time, but he should probably take a little bit more time to throw some ice blocks and stuff. Yeah, he's got to do the. Yeah, get yes. those blizzards in yeah, there. Yeah, the ice block, the blizzard walls, stuff like that. I mean, but in it's any just matchup. like, yeah, and it's, the thing is, Fresh keeps trying to get these shield grabs yeah. on Ness, and that really doesn't work. In fact, he even asked me before this said, can I shield grab Ness? And I said, <laughs> no. Yeah, you can, you can crouch cancel fair forever, but everything else is like a pretty safe mix-up on shield. Even on crouch cancel, I mean, if Nesh just magnet in there, it's, it's kind of a, yeah, kind of yeah. screwed up. Yeah, I, I've always thought this was a matchup Ness actually did, like, decently well in, you know, like, not, not the best, not the worst. Got the forward throw? So you still oh, got the forward throw. That's the, up the smash. Infinite. Yeah. Yeah, so that is a... Not actually one frame before. Yeah. <laughs> not and, actually one frame uh, it, it is, like... Basically a true infinite across the stage, right? Yeah. And then they bring you to the corners and hand you off like normal. Yeah, you just have to like apparently use the C-stick forward to get Nana to throw the correct direction. Something along those lines. Right. That's great. Yeah. A nice even game now. Again, a lot of pressure here from Mastastic. I feel like Fresh is just playing the wrong space, you know? Yes, he's playing it directly in PK fire range. And, I mean, Ice is a so much ground speed. I, I feel like he can easily weave in and out. Yeah. Even if his idea was to, like, kind of stick to Ness, he could go under him way faster in the PK fire with Whiff. Yeah, and now Ness has to get a huge really punish. big combo. Oh, but he messes up. Oh, and that's a whole side for it. 34%, not even, that's not good. Yeah, not even killing Nana. No, I mean, they're synced up, just as scary as ever. Fresh playing a little bit different in space, I like that. That's going to be... Oh, got that grab. Got the grab. Oh, misses his handoff, again. And how does Hakeem get out of the corner? Oh, he just kind of... Oh, and he attacks. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he attacked and didn't just reset. So. Yeah. A lot, again, a lot of pressure. Fresh might have to roll a little bit more a little bit earlier. Yeah, I think Fresh is just trying the wrong out-of-shield options. Because he can just roll and then, like, fade back with something. And... Yeah. He just needs to, like, consciously outspace the PK fire. He just needs to be a little bit more to the left or the right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to stadium. Yeah, back to stadium. Uh, I mean, Fresh has chosen this this counter pick now, so oh, the side B, the re grab. Let's see if he can hit this hand off. All right, get ready. Oh, man. God, he I is just, just I, yeah, I've never seen Fresh miss so many handoffs. 
And you have to imagine it's like shaking his confidence a little bit too. Yeah, that's probably why he's just been going for the fair spike, because he's like, man, I just can't do the handoff right now. And he's missing the fair spike, so it's like, yeah. well, what do you do at that point? I guess you just play, you know, wobble, wobbleless ices and just have two characters smash attack. <laughs> But you could go. He did. He did. And, oh my God! He missed it again. No. He did end up getting the stock with pretty pretty low percent on himself now. So yep. you know, this is a oh, that's big damage. I wish there was a way that we could see Nana's percent. That'd be interesting. That would be pretty cool. All right, how is he gonna make it back here? Goes a little high. It's an edge cancel, but it doesn't actually edge cancel. Get another grab. Yeah, you cannot edge cancel during the animation. You can only edge cancel. Oh, the the animation. millimeters! Yeah, that was actually so close. To that bull. <laughs> oh, this might be gonna clip this jump. jump. Nice Four angle. Smash. Yeah. Oh. He could hit that. He went a little above the ledge. Yeah, good cleanup though. Yeah, he gets it anyway. 64%? I mean, damn, he still has a whole another big punish in him. Oh, oh, oh he got the this could be a start. Yeah, he's gonna do it. He oh, it and that's it. Yep, he hits it. It's a big game for Fresh here, and uh, very well needed because Hawk is up two oh, to one. Oh, here he goes again. Misses again. Nana didn't though. dash. I saw that one. Oh, there's gonna be Nana. Oh man, I mean, Popo's still here though. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, so we now, still got so I mean, This is uh, this is pretty unwinnable. I'll just say it. You gotta avoid Icy's grab after like for three stocks. Yeah. I mean, it has been done before. Sometimes Nana just kind of throws it. It already got grabbed immediately. All okay. Right. So now it's like okay. So now at this percent, you you basically can't get grabbed again because you died on smash, right? Yeah. He's, he's not gonna miss that one. Oh. Well, all right. I mean, got hit by that down smash. 100%, yeah, well, the grab is, is, is curtains. Up smash is curtains. Down smash could be. Fantastic, still moving, though. He's keeping himself. Oh, hitting Nana good. there. That was good, yeah. He got Nana just in time for Fresh can use her to recover. Like, yeah, again, this is two full icy stocks without getting grabbed once, which is kind of like melee. <laughs> yeah, true. It's it is doable. just melee. It's doable, but it's, uh, it's real hard, oh, yeah. especially because it's not like they just have grab, right? I was just about to say, yeah, they yeah, also they have down smash, they also have back air. Super strong, super strong. Yeah, this is a pretty fast icy set. Yeah, On honestly, game five already. lots of action here. We got a game five, and now the next stage is going to be kind of a big deal. Is it going to be a big stage? I mean, so those are Fresh's bands. Yeah, Delfino. That's a really big stage, but every character dies the same way to Isis. Yeah, I was going to say, I think this is an interesting pick for that reason. But the thing is, I guess it's funny. Every character kind of dies the same way to Isis, but Nana also kind of dies the same way as well. You just kind of hit her without a jump, and no matter what the stage is, she's pretty much dead. No. Unfortunate. Oh my god, I wish I could do that. Oh man, that's hilarious. Brian is already in there. <laughs> anyway, so we got a grab down there. That's a chance to get out, but he doesn't take it and he misses it. This is again. And then this is the, the third time S Hastic has done that rising PK fire into F Smash. Fresh just holding shield. He can't, he cannot just hold shield. It gets smaller. <laughs> Another grab. He's gonna go down for right, up smash. Oh, covers the tech. Oh, the that kill. Platform. Yeah, cross stage. All right, that's that's a big opening here by Fresh. Oh, nice back air there by Hawk. Good positioning, and the recovery is gonna be. Oh, good drift by Fresh. I can't believe he actually got there. I'm not sure how long Icy's can down throw Ness. Probably only like 20%, right? Uh, yeah, it's only like one or two reps. Alright, gonna down throw. Probably not gonna get anything off that. Let's see what damage Fresh can get here with the Sopo. I mean, again, super fast character, but not super strong anymore. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Alright, not really a chain grab at all, which is kind of surprising from Sopo's down throw. But any of this is just extra chip. Wow. There's some ultimate popping off happening. Yeah, yeah. Huge, huge popping. <laughs> Alright, good jabs here. Ak is having a tough time getting the stop from Fresh. Yo, so this oh, is nice. uh, this is where none of the Nesses do at this percent. Um, like none of them. And yeah, I always tell down them to up smash. No, forward air up smash. Oh, forward air. He uses the forward forward air to knock him down, and then he tech chases up smash. No one does that for sure. <laughs> it's it's so good. It's just how you get those kills at high percents. 
Oh, maybe Hawk, maybe he knows, and he just didn't do it. Why would I say that? He does not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, we gotta grab. Oh, he uses the side beat to send him the opposite way, and let's see what he can get. Misses the handoff again. Yeah. It's like, okay, so he does miss the handoff, he does get 97, but like... It's pretty crazy how close this is, while Fresh cannot do the Icy's thing. Yeah. It's just kind of playing a pretty good neutral. Yeah, no, he, he definitely is. Like, there would be an alarming amount of stocks lost if Fresh was a little bit more on point right now. Nice sink, nice sink. Really good sink, actually. Oh, red. Yeah, okay, down nice. air? Down air is not safe on block. Especially if you're facing down. the wrong way. Yeah, that down air was very high. Yeah. Oh no! You don't want to okay, get I mean, caught he has in to the do the big handoff here. Okay, so Ness will live that. But okay, yeah, he gets another grab. Oh and no, he's doing the thing. Sick. Okay, he doesn't get it, but this is still a lot of damage. That's a clean stock ahead. This is like. Oh. Oh yeah, we got some blizzards in there. Good DI. DI on the blizzard, yeah, to avoid the down smash. Okay, I like that Fresh, Fresh kind of looks scary now. Oh, except for when he gets pressured. He was yeah. kind of sticking to him. I like that. The chase. I was thinking, you know, like, what does is, what is Astastic have to do to bring this back, right? Oh, oh gosh. Not get hit by random back air. Yeah, back air. But he's got to use more PK fire. he got to, I think, use a lot oh, of the pressure that was, that was working for him. So interesting. Oh, uh, kind of scary spot for Fresh there. You want to be off stage with Sopo. Yeah, Icy's not super, super gimpable at low percents. Possible, but hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, honestly, so this is what I was saying. He's got to, he's got to get in there and get that, that pressure going. That like won him game two. Yeah. He did not let Fresh breathe. He made him uncomfortable. That's good. That yeah, should be dead. Dead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is super doable for uh, a fantastic here. Probably not gonna get much no off combo there. Yeah. off that. You should just back throw. Oh, didn't? Not the greatest DI. Yeah, don't do that. All right, a lot of different DIs here. Or, nice yeah, snare drifts. to cover. Now you just charge the upstairs. Uh, okay, yep, we'll damn, we're it. back to we're back in it. Last stock, gate five. Again, for the theater spot, kind of big. Fresh, uh, Fresh needs a grab, and Hawk needs a lot of pressure. Yep, but s Hastic did play the last two stocks very well. Oh, oh grabs, no, he crossed it's up. It's all to Fresh at this point. Misses. Oh, he misses. He's got stage, this though. Hawk has no big. jump. Okay. Okay, yes, has to get in again. Oh, he gets the he double jump land. Oh, he misses again. This is fucking... Brother. Brother. Chill, chill, chill. You gotta chill. Get that shield back. Get that shield back. Just relax. Throw some stuff. A B. A B. That's gonna be it. Oh, Fresh actually clutches it. I can't see them. I can't see them behind me. Only the player can, but damn. They're hugging. They, they... Oh, man. That was a lot of dropping. That was yeah, an alarming amount. A lot of Still actually clutch that set. That's that's a lot of willpower. <laughs> All right, so Fresh moves on. He's... This, we should have um, Flarp and Malachi on the other side of those corners. Yes, indeed. Flarp and Malachi going at it, and well. So, fun fact. Tell me about Flarp and Malachi. People want to know why Malachi plays Ganon. <laughs> It's because of Flarp. <laughs> so when he was going to theater, he said, I'm playing Ganon against specifically Flarp. And, and since then, the Ganon has grown into a disgusting monster that we all hate. Yeah, unfortunately, we've seen an alarming amount of Ganon in the last couple of tournaments. And uh, no one's happy about it. Uh, and Ganon's just going to start punching him. <laughs> But, I mean, we'll see what Flarp can do about it. If he gets beat pretty bad, Flarp doesn't really... I mean, he kind of has an Icy's, but, like, that's, that's not really the card you want against Ganon. It's a, yeah, not a great pick against Ganon. I'm not sure what else Flarp has. Maybe you know, I think... Um... In theater, it was a 3-0 or 3-1. 3-1, I thought. And then the next time they played at Blacklisted, it was a 3-1. Flarp take game one. Man, it's gonna be, well, it's all on Flarp, honestly. Let's see if he can even contend with this guy again, as it's, it's truly a monster. Yeah, so, um, Ganon's ridiculous in this game, and <laughs> yeah, that's, just, that's the end of it. Yeah. Oh! He's actually not just ridiculous, he's also disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also has Pig, but like, no one plays Pig. 
It sucks. I love pink. Uh, so, I mean, one thing that Luigi loves to do in most matchups is use his, like, low traction, even in shield. And that'll get him shield grabs on, like, some strange stuff. But Ganon has actually enough shield pushback on his moves to make that not matter. Like, yeah. like Luigi is not going to like shielding against Ganon. Omega. <laughs> Omega. Right, that's fair. I do think, I mean, there's a couple of different reasons Malachi would be considered favorite in here. Uh, I mean, again, Flarp has a theater spot to play for. He's going to have a little bit of extra determination. And, I mean, we'll see what he can bring to this table. I'd like to see some good, old-fashioned, neutral gameplay and, a, and a, just a voluptuous punish game on both sides. What do you think? Boy, you think voluptuous? It's one of our words. It's one of your words. <laughs> um, I think what we're going to see is a lot of forward tones from both characters. Oh, yeah. I think something Flart might uh, benefit from, which he already does. I mean, a lot of... Uh, wave dash, like wave dash in mix-ups with down smash, because that kind of breaks CC pretty early. Uh, like wave dash in jab turnaround grabs are also like pretty nice to turn the opponent around the wrong way. There's a couple of things that Luigi has as like strange, fast approaches that end up being a bunch of weird mix-ups. But I mean, Gan is just going to be in the air the whole time. He's going to try to be just forward airing and spacing back air, and uh, Bob is just damn good at it. <laughs> And yeah, to answer the chat, um, if Flarp loses, Fresh does get the theater spot. That's right. That's it. Boom. That's it. You know, the top three already have theater spots, and if Fresh is granted. Okay, here we go. But I will say that if Bob were to lose, it would be a, a big set. <laughs> that Fresh had already won today. Fresh has yeah, defeated Flarp true. earlier in the bracket. All right, down smash. Break, break any kind of ASDI down for sure. Kick him in the face. There's the forward tilt. He uses the forward tilt to stuff out the, the approach option of Luigi, which is, of course, grounded with wave dash. Yeah, yeah. which it's just good. Like, lots of range, lots of power, not a lot of lag. It's just good. Yeah, but Luigi also has a very forward tilt. Uh, less range, less power, very fast. <laughs> yeah. Go up. And, I mean, we also Luigi recovering against Ganon, probably not too fun either. Unless you land the fireball. You know, Bob, I don't know if Bob has downbeat at all today. Not that I'm saying go do it, but it's, you know, he hasn't he hasn't kept anyone honest yet. Oh, back air. Wow. Very strong move. For some perspective, it is stronger than the sweet spot of ice. That's factual. Oh my god, I hear Malachi laughing <laughs> at the pain that he's causing with this gun. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a really tough spot for Flarp. All right, that's going to get him center stage, but so is yep. Ganon. Oh, God. He gets to center, but so does Ganon. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, Ganon's, uh, Ganon's Dacus is very good. Oh, I'm not... Power smash, really strong move. Yeah, super good. Lots of growth on that one. Uh, it is a little sad that Flarp has to play Malachi to, like, have a chance at the theater spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's rough, but, I mean, that's what happens when you go into losers. Uh, you're kind of punished. Yeah, no, exactly. If he just if he had beaten Fresh, he would have been um, in Fresh's spot playing Hakeem for the spot. Hakeem, yeah. yeah, he would have had to play uh, DVD. Comatose. Would have been completely different. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what did he do to grab ledge there? He just double jumped. That's, why did I not? It's crazy. This is a rough matchup. I will say this is this is a tough one. Luigi might be having a good time against Icy sometimes, but. Little cannon makes that hilarious. God, this actually does seem very hard for Luigi. He has. One of the things Luigi has is he's, he's pretty heavy, right? Like he weighs a hundred, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of characters don't really kill him unless they're killing him off the top. I think. I think since Luigi also is like pretty floaty, and most of Ganon's moves sends at I think forty-five. There's a down B. Huh? Uh, he had the oh, down, the down B. B. Oh, yeah. Most right. of Ganon's moves send to 45 and they're super strong. He's gonna die off the top, even though like things like four dare. Right. Yeah. So it's like, man, these moves are strong. Attorney <laughs> winner back in. I uh, so high. I'm sure Bob is having a pretty happy time about that one. I mean, that was a no problem game for him, but 
Farb, what are you what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? Like this is this is Farb's nightmare. This is Farb's not Brian isn't even Farb's nightmare. Yeah, it was a close set at blacklisted. It was very close, last shot was hit. Normally like a good player, a good chic player would be most nightmares, but like yeah, Bob playing cannon? Damn. That's that's great that sucks. <laughs> All right, I mean, you crash cancel the down smash. That, that, that's one of Luigi's only uh, options there. I guess maybe you just have to, like, sadly commit more as Luigi. Like, wave dash in just with, like, an up smash maybe behind them, and then you slide. Like, I don't know how you even... Like, getting past the F-tilt is one thing, though. Making your way behind Ganon is, is quite tough. Nice F smash covering the second place. We just have to go for an edge right here, back air. Oh, uh, I was thinking drop, uh, maybe refresh Big the drop, drop zone. Yeah. That would have been nice. Yeah, I mean, Ganon's defending himself easily. Jab, forward throw this time. Huh. Yeah, he goes for the down throw, maybe just trying to catch him. Like, it's the DI or something. Yeah, I... Nice recovery. Personally, would respect Bob a little bit more and be like, I'm going for the F throw. Okay, I'm gonna hit him again. Alright, nope. got we'll die. Alright, charges up a misfire there. Hopefully, we'll be necessary in this matchup. In fact, I, I think I might want to want him to use this offensively. Like, how else are you hurting Ganon? Like, maybe use it as a finisher in mind more than a recovery. Maybe. This down throw should kill. Ooh, escapes. Oh, he escapes. And the not fast falling is, is, is way safer there. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of both there. Yeah, eh. That's way more committal than like a wave dash and jab. It, it does kind of have a better uh, payout if they don't crouch cancel it, but again, Bob is a player to respect. Bob is really good at holding down. <laughs> yep. Oh man, he just dash tags right through. Okay, good grab by Flores. The F throw. Oh, not an aggressive. Oh, yeah, big F smash. Yeah, oh. Nice F smash. Yeah. Okay, now Flarp can maybe be a little bit more aggressive on the edge guards being a stock on. Incorporate things like the drop zone. All right. Oh, can he grab it? Yeah, grabbing Luigi. Uh, up smash. Uh, okay. Okay. Guess the down throw. Maybe an up throw there would have been better. Perhaps. Right, down gotta throw. Grab oh, fair. Dan. That'll do it. Is that in and then out? Did he di that forward air out? He, yeah, he did not di the forward air correctly. I think he was thinking because he went straight up, he was going to get up air. It's possibly a oh, lots of up air of damage. Up air. Jeez. It's like it's like most spots. He's like checkmated oh. against Gannon's edge guarding. No misfire here. He does oh. get back to ledge. Oh, nice. Flarp, man, I, I do want to see Flarp take a game and like get some confidence. Maybe he's figured out one nice thing that he can do in this matchup here, but I mean it is way closer than last game. Last game was a three stop. Okay, oh, down B, kind of quick. Beat. Was that out of shield? Yeah. Might have been out of shield. Yeah, apparently he's been doing that, down B out of shield. I, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mix-up there. Oh, that was not what we were looking for. No, I think he got a little antsy on the recovery, thinking Malachi was going to go to ledge. Yeah. Ganon has the best dash attack in the game. <laughs> yeah, it is quite strong and good and fast and insane. Oh, all right. That would have been... Uh, Oh, oh, nice up smash again. Farp's outspacing the dash tag. I right, love that. That was such a micro space too. He just did like a little, a little, a little scuttle, right? Yeah, get in there, nice grab. Yeah, okay, yeah. you can try to. I actually don't think that covered anything. I think maybe if he does like up throw, and then he can maybe tech just on the platform. Luigi has a great wave land. True. All right, nice center. Misfire, yeah, gets him back to the center stage. Nice up smash. Out of the shield, stupid but... up smash. Oh, this is actually something. That's good damage. That's. Not a good F smash. Tough spot, but gets ledge. Very big. Good F tilt. Alright. Good damage again. Bob doesn't oh, jump. No, off stage. Not where you want to be. No misfire charged here. Oh, gets ledge, Bob. Kind of. Oh, ooh, good up smash. I don't think he has a jump. Oh. It's tough. If he gets grabbed there, he loses. Up B? A forward air, I think, would he kill too. Oh, down oh, down air. Wow. does kill across the stage. You know, I, I am a little surprised he didn't up B. He. Usually up B is that. It seemed like an up B. Yeah. Okay, hey, Farb took a game. I mean, I don't really know what changed about that. Maybe his approaches were just a little bit better. Uh, yeah. 
I will say that Bob's edge guarding that game started quite good and then ended quite bad. He let Flarp have the ledge a bunch of different times. Alright, All right. Right. Two, damn neutral. See, that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. You like up smash the shield and can't really do anything about it, and then, you know, that's kind of keep that in mind. So, Malachi very fast at reacting to uh, Tomahawks. Ooh. Nice. So, typically, you try to cover the roll after when fighting him. Tomahawk, and then wait for the roll. I usually just get grabbed back when I try to Tomahawk. Okay, should be Tomahawk behind his shield. Nah, 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 I'm going in. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good, really good spot for Ganon, but Flarp does kind of inch his way out there. Very bad spot for Flarp now. He has pretty much one shot. Oh, I hate dash attack. I think he probably wanted to go for Okay, that, I mean, that, that was a mix-up. That, that was a mix-up. that was on purpose. I don't know. Oh, yeah, a little low there. That's going to be a start for Flarp. Big. Big Flarp taking a little bit of a lead here. Oh, reverse. will not die. And misfire in the center. Uh, goes to center, that's acceptable. Oh, now he has to do it again. He has a lot of resources here, though. Yeah, oh, no. once again, going for that early up beat, thinking Malachi would drift back to ledge, and then he can drift onto stage. Bob is doing a really good job of edge guarding this game, though. He's got the right read. Alright, gone, gone. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Very scary to be above Ganondorf, yeah. that up air is. Well, some would say it's the best move in the game. Oh my gosh. It is the best move in the game. I said that. NVTN. Oh, doesn't have the misfire. He grabs this. The forward air is yeah. going to be enough. I think he could have had better corner DI. I agree. Maybe I agree. lived. I feel like he's not living that one, man. You don't think at all? No. Uh, that looks... That looked bad. <laughs> okay, and again, you could, in some spots, up smash their shield like that. Sometimes you can even down smash the shield oh, like that. Big grab, Arbor. Oh, taking on the platform like that actually was worse. Sometimes it's better not to tech. Yep. Especially as a Ouija. You'll, you'll just slide while you're in knockdown. And that's a common thing that even these Luigi's and Lucas's do all the time, too. So. Oh, there it is. Down B, out the corner. Get play again. Another really tough spot for Flarp here. What's the edge guard going to be? Oh, bear, maybe? It does like an insta land, but... Oh, the angle down, down. He has a misfire. He does have misfire. He's got a oh, he's not going to use it. That's sort of res that's respectable, I suppose. You can maybe find a kill with it somewhere else. Maybe. I think you can find a height to misfire in snap ledge. I don't think misfire snaps. I think from that distance, he might have like, gone down enough. Oh, oh good edge card by Blur. See if he can finish it off. Not here. Sure. All right, another shot here for Ganon, sort of. Uh, another oh, shot here for Ganon, sort of. Now he's kind of closer to the ledge. Oh, and Nair probably oh, won't just the wrong way. I heard Flor say no. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> okay, Flarp is having kind of the worst time at this point. I'm looking for a back throw now because I'm out of. We're out of options. Oh, Bob does not care about yeah. the opponent. Oh, jeez. Okay. I all right, game four. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know what Flarp's thinking now. I mean, he, okay, so he won on Metal, metal Cavern. So what does that mean? Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if we can get some uh, nice wave lands here, or like we can get some uh, shy drops or whatever we call it in this game. Yeah, that. Oh man, that's so a lot. So this is this is tough, and and I always saw Malachi. Oh, oh I'll let not to, to, to ban FD when he's playing because as a player he's just so good at using the platforms. Yeah, so, and I agree. I will say that Flarp is also quite good yeah, yeah, at yeah. Luigi-specific te platform tech. I just think that Luigi-specific tech is not that great. Well, it, it, I mean, it's a lot of speed in general. If you had to get somewhere, you can. I mean, especially like a tournament winner wave land off the platform. Like, that's you know, kind of you're at in there. 
it's nice touches by Clark. Oh, see the wave land on the platform. It's the eats the ball off the back air. Oh, gosh. Okay. I mean, like right here, that's, I mean, we all knew it was coming, but it, it is fast. It is definitely fast. I, I mean, Clark versus Tech Boy from Blackwood should be utilized that super well. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Assassinate that. <laughs> Word. Okay. Uh, you were You were out. Oh, this is so hard. Yeah, another, another thing about this stage that I think is hard for Luigi is he, he doesn't really get to the top platform that fast. So, like, Bob's shield was, like, going down a little bit, right? So he was able to just kind of retreat to the top yeah. and let it recover. Luigi's, Luigi has nothing on the top platform, honestly. Yeah, yeah Bob knew. Bob knew. It is kind of his only really good thing that he can do here. Well, he gets a misfire. So he'll have that handy. Being very defensive with the edge guarding, I, I, I honestly think he could be a little bit more aggressive. It's scary. It's getting it. Okay, nice up smash. Like, if he did, like, a turnaround wave dash off, like, back air as fast as he could to drop, I think uh, drops on back air, honestly. I think it would help. He does have his misfire. He does have a misfire. He will use it. Okay, I actually think... Going for the Ganon with the Misfire might be the best. I think Ganon can cover the top platform if he goes there and any, any other platform. Yeah. And it's a little hard to know, like... Okay. Always go for the edge cancel. That's a good edge cancel. Oh, that up air... He probably didn't need to full hop there. Ganon mashing up air out of hit on A classic. Best move of the game. I mean... Tough spot here. I'll get hit by Ganon's other leg. Oh my god. Alright, sure. I'm looking for a misfire, thinks it's his only way to take this. Dash attacks through him. Nice back air. Yeah, uh, he didn't want him to grab a ledge. Yeah. Damn, alright. He's a tough spot for Clark here. His last stock against Bob. FD. Okay, sure, that's how it starts. That, uh. Well, F tilt by Malachi's power extension was really good. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna down air him out of Super there. dead, yeah. <laughs> that means Fresh is guaranteed the theater spot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Actually, congrats. Fresh. Fresh is in. He's in. He's in. Fresh is in. Everyone. Fresh is in theater. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Yo, Fresh. Fresh, you're in. You're in. You're in. <laughs> okay, he's now in. he's happy. He's in. Now he gets it. Now he's happy. <laughs> he's in. Two Ice Climbers players in theater. Pain and suffering for the remainder of the bracket. Absolute tragedy. <laughs> right. I mean, this should be a nice one. This should be good. Have DVD and Kais played um, since DVD picked up Sheik? I don't remember. I don't think so. I can't recall. Like, which one would they have played at? They weren't at the LI thing. They didn't play at Blacklisted. And what else did Brian go to, right? Like, nothing. Nothing I can remember. Uh, I don't think he... Where did Brian just go? Where did he fly to? Uh, Joey's birthday bash. Kais and Kais was not there. there. So I don't think he's played. And I mean, Kais is no slouch to the to the Sheik matchup. I mean, damn, he's been playing against Bob for who the heck knows how long. A long time. <laughs> That's how long. But we saw Bob play Ganon today. He thinks have changed. You know, Brian doesn't play Toon Link anymore. Brian has played Kais with Toon Link, and I think he's he's certainly up. Yes, I think he's only actually lost to Kais once with Toon Link. Alright, that was maybe at a Flex Zone? Or was it at a... Somewhere in LA, right? Uh, retro Rumble. Oh, Retro? Yeah. But Brian Sheik, pretty beast. Yeah, Brian, this is like a... This is like crazy, like, synergistic... Like soul character for Brian, like yeah, I, his character just seems to click with him so well. He he does he does Stop. things that I d Stop. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Uh, anyway, yeah, Brian switched to to from Toon Link has been div truly paying dividends. Like that's that's the word we're gonna say. It, it is it is amazing. Toon Link, not terrible. I mean, every character in this game can certainly win. I mean, every character in this game can win. So bad. Okay, but Toon Link does kind of get pretty messed up by things like Sheik and Meta Knight and Fox and all that kind of fun stuff. But Sheik, on the other hand, who only gets messed up by Fox, 
kind of good against a lot of Toon Link's bad matchups. Can deal with Zero Suit. Can deal with Meta Knight. I mean, yeah, yeah. And is totally fine against these heavies. Like, you'd think, like, oh, why would you ever play Sheik against, like, Dedede or, or, or Kais or Charizard or something? But it's like, Sheik is, like, an ultimate control character. I mean, she disables the opponent. So it's like, you can get a grab on heavies even easier. So it's, you just kind of have to hit them for a long time. But it's, again, it's like the neutral versus punish game. I mean, she's never getting hit, and she barely ever kills. It's like Diddy Kong. <laughs> What's up? So, Brian baiting the jab immediately. Yeah, nice Charizard. Alright, in it, in it, in it, in it. I think PS2 is a completely acceptable pick for these players. Alright, so this is where Charizard thrives. Wow, oh, big nair. Wow, through that platform. Oh, both hits a get-up attack. Yeah, Brian was right that. Takes a lot of percent for it. This was actual catastrophe. <laughs> Brian getting hit by that double get-up attack has set up some nut stuff. Yeah, Brian's very good at gumbling. Yeah, uh, so if Sheik... Oh, that's another thing. Sheik has Dacus in this game, but doesn't get the sweet spot. If Sheik can poof at ledge, you can never neutral get-up and beat it if she picks ledge. If she picks stage, neutral get up is a good option. If she picks up, neutral get up is a good option. But you have to roll at the right time, which is also pretty tight, at the right time to beat she poofing at ledge and picking ledge. I hope everyone understands what that means. It is big. <laughs> and she does not have that in melee at all. <laughs> yeah, old ledge occupancy on melee. Is and, and she just stops when she hits the stage. Oh, the forward smash. Tyson glideless. That's right. good. Okay, so we're at three stocks here. Big jab. Big jab, actually. This could be something. Oh, oh Kais kind of drops it. Maybe it It looked like he missed the glide land, which then fucked up everything else. All right, good spacing by Kais here. Kai, I mean, Charizard does have big, fat moves, but they're all a little awkward to use. It's kind of a strange heavy. All right, good edge cancel. Jesus Christ, get oh, he actually gets poofed. Yeah, so he is alive here. Oh, Kais, okay, so that's kind of a bad habit of Kais is to always edge cancel the Flare Blades. Like, he does not have to, but he always kind of does. So, Brian has already picked up it. Picked it up. He, so, you watched Kais play before. So. Oh, Holy I Jesus. Think I think he meant to be reverse Thunder Punch. I think you're probably right, but my god, that almost killed him. Oh, get nice jab up air. Oh, uh, oh, good up smash. Yeah, that'll cover the air dodge. That's something Brian likes to do a lot, is air dodge right before he lands on a platform to avoid, like, a shark attempt, but Charizard's up smash lasts long enough. Oh, nice down tilt. Okay, Brian picks stage there. He's a little scared, but you guys get off of it. Okay, another grab. This is this is a good punish here from Geist. Brian goes to the stage again. All right, really tough spot for Brian here, taking basically all of this stock from this one punish. It's one tough edge guard. He's gonna go high there and gonna get hit again. Ledge. Yeah. Yeah, that was a crazy. Uh, that whole part of my guys was just really good. Yeah, just he was on point that whole sequence. Yep. See what he can get. I mean, she's not cer certainly not a one shot character, but oh, spot that's not what we're looking for there. Yeah, fast. Lots of damage off to just this grab. Oh, that's it. Super good. Na that air was just damn good. Just well placed. Kais got what he deserved. Which was that game win. Alright, counter picks, counter picks, counter picks. Makes a difference in our game. Yeah, that's the difference between this and melee. I mean, look at all our stages. We got lots of different options. Strange layouts. I think Battlefield is probably his best bet. Uh, I'm not sure what he thinks about Metal Cavern, but uh, yeah. I mean, this is just the Sheik stage. I mean, it's, yeah. everything about the stage says Sheik is good here. All right, starting off with a nice uh, chain grab here. These are all 50-50s indeed. Big fat jab to stop the entire world. <laughs> no edge guard. Brian's staying really safe here. He's realized that punish, Kai's punish game is kind of on point. Right, so yeah, let's see how Brian like changes up the way he plays. Oh, double back nice. That was good. Her. I don't know if Alper would have killed the Kai's DI properly. So. I, I agree. I, I think that was pretty damn optimal. That was yeah. just good. That was a nice way to uh, back by Kai's into the jab. It's very safe. Ooh, yep. Boost grabs. That's something that Kai's is going to have to watch out for. I mean, he's kind of a big body. Sheik's boost grab goes 
very far, and that's the whole matchup, honestly. Like, Sheik is trying to grab you and, you know, distort your all, all your momentum. Kaisa just has to keep it together. Okay, no grab there. Back on shield's not gonna do it. Big jab again. That seems to be the theme here, is that Kaisa's getting nice jabs on Brian's approaches. And back air, uh, back throw is... Um, tricky to the eyes so fast. If you do, he doesn't really get so much follow up. If you don't, he gets something to see. Yeah, ideally if you get grabbed by Charizard, you always want to DI behind him. If you can, initially, always just hold behind him. Yeah. Alright, Brian looking very good on the stage. Oh, I mean, comes back in the new stock, Kais, he already gets grabbed. Ooh. Ooh. I want to say Kais missed the timing. And now Brian gets some extra damage. He has a lot of extra damage. Oh, good fair. Alright, Brian up by a uh, nice clean one here. Kais... Gonna have to bring this back, but oh, this could be something. Air to the fall off down air was Up there. really tricky. Oh, this is this is exactly what Kais needed. Oh, Brian able nice to jump out, but he saw his jump. Oh, Ooh, Brian kept his jump there. Yeah. All right, beats the needles. Nice. It's good by Kais. I will say honestly, this tournament, I think Kais has mixed up his glide to ledge timings more than any other tournament. Realize he had to change it. Yeah, I, I like to see the. I like to see it. Love to see it. I mean, that was a little nuts, but it was different. <laughs> yep, going for the edge cancel again. Not necessary. Doesn't that time. Okay. Up throw lands on the top platform here. Damn. That's certainly landing on the platform. is the only reason that had any potential of killing. All right, guys have to be a little safer there. Wow, finds his approach. It's kind of that thing where both, oh, that was dangerous. In fact, if Kais didn't flare blitz, he would have snapped, and Brian would have been in deep trouble. Yep. Oh, oh jab. Forward, jab. And Kais not ready for the DI on that forward air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice up smash. Yeah. Big punish. Uh, I feel like Kais is missing his timings on his jumps. I don't think so. I, that looked normal to me. You think so? Yeah. It's just a tricky follow-up. Oh, he burns if Kais holds too long, and he's gonna uh, get hit on the needles. Okay, I mean... I think you might actually be able to, like... DI the, SDI the needles, like, up if there's more than one. But that was a really great back air fair. The needles are, I will say, they are RNG. On if they shine spike angle or they send upwards. It depends on the hitbox that you hit with. Which is, so you throw a needle, and there's two. Is it the one closer to Sheik or farther from Sheik? No, each needle has three hitboxes that do different things. Each does three? How PG is this stream? Is it? Can we say dog side? Can I, mean, I say that the needles are fucked up? <laughs> I've already said fucked to be completely fair. Nice. Oh, is he checking his controller? Oh, uh, maybe he's changing the uh, stage. Uh, to be default. Oh, that's the thing, actually. Is that so? They were saying that you can hold R to get defaults, but they're not actually the default. It's uh, their default. Okay, Mario Land is acceptable. I will say, it's, it's a little crazy that the stage actually was unacceptable. The colors are a little a little big. That's alright. <laughs> so. You know, something I think Kais is not particularly good at for a player of his caliber, and I kind of glean this from playing against him, actually, is uh, utilizing crouch cancel. I could agree with that. Like, he, Brian was down tilting him there. You could, like, down tilt tech, Sheik, uh, hold ASDI down and tech, the, the down tilt, right? Yeah, and yeah. he's just, like, getting popped up by it, which is arguably the worst thing that could happen. It's yeah. like not crouch canceling these back airs, doing, like, a dash grab or something in, you know? Like, I will say I am also pretty bad at this exact thing. Uh, it could just be that he has, like, his second agenda is just, like, I don't know, positioning first. Like It feels like he wants to jump a lot of the time. Oh, this is going to be a tough recovery. Oh, he had it, but he let go. Alright, this is big. Oh, over 100. Oh, nice, uh, nice. Nice. Nice by Kaisa dash past. Because he's been going for that dash pass grab. But he, uh, he doesn't really get that. Yeah. Um, I'm actually very surprised um, Kais picked this stage. Because I think something that Charizard really has in this matchup is his ability to run away from Sheik 
and like outspeed her. And um, in this stage, you're constantly being pressured by her. You're like always in boost grab range, and she utilizes the platforms really well. Yeah, I honestly wasn't sure who counterpicked this. I wasn't paying so much attention, but I would have assumed Brian. Oh, Damn. my God, that was just, like, perfect. That was the right timing. That was absolutely insane. Brian going high again. Pays off. All right, nice chase. Good recovery by Brian, not jumping too early. Kais is kind of in the clutches here. Oh, he's got no glide. Basically nothing. He does get to, to the stage. Okay, nice edge cancel into the back air. This is gonna this is gonna be a tough uh, tough comeback to make. Ryan just gonna recover high. Yeah, alright. That's not that's fair. Yeah, now you're just like on this small stage, right? You're like one mix up away from dying. Uh, yes. I mean if you get basically F tilted or down tilted at all, I mean you'll die to yeah, yeah even that. Yeah. It's almost on her stage that she died. Damn, I wish I had a water bottle. No you want some of mine? Ugh. I wish I had my own. Alright, I'll take some of yours. I would love water so much. Oh, I'd love you for that. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Anyway, this okay, is a kind of thing that we would definitely have expected from guys. Yeah, I do think this is this is better, um, you know, for the reasons of the stage being bigger, but it is also a little scary because needle games are real. Yeah, I think Kais has been playing around needle games pretty well this whole set. I think he's I think he's ready. <laughs> I think he's ready. I mean, did Brian ban Delfinos? I'm not sure. I was distracted by the water. <laughs> Me too. Okay, he actually didn't go for the uh, edge cancel there, but Brian got him before he even tried. Yeah. That's a lot of damage, and now Brian gets a tech chase going, but misses. Kais does end up escaping. Brian yeah, opens for some insane stuff. Yep, winding down to the end of the set here. This is a winner's finals, so you guys aren't out yet. Thank you. That was a, a great edge guard sequence by Brian. Just uh, really hit everything he needed to hit. And each chance Kais had, Brian took it. Oh, the instant needle to fall. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, this water is so good. Oh, Kais, Kais did the right thing, but he did not stay on the ledge. It doesn't seem to matter though. Yeah, back throw, like I said, very fast. He misses the, the eye and explodes. Ooh. Brian is doing such a good job on the ledge. Oh, oh my, gosh. my god. Kais missed attack and gets the down tilt. And then once again, that's kind of what I'm saying, where he didn't pull down on the down tilt to try to get the tech. Yeah, yeah. He, he just gets popped to... up and uh, gets up smash for it. He should be able to stick to the ground for like an insane percent against all of Sheik's tilts, basically. Yeah. Alright, Brian kind of holding in. I do like that Brian just chooses to recover to the platform because I guess the question you have to ask is like, what's the worst that could happen to me here, right? Like maybe he gets a few more hits, maybe he gets sunk, which is kind of looking like he's going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and he didn't even down air. I, th I figured that down air might be his best punch off the platform. Big forward air. Oh, this will allow him to transform. Yeah, not really what Chris is looking for here. Oh. And goes for the grab. Doesn't really pay off. Brian finds it. Okay. Brian keeping it safe. I mean, that's fair. Okay. Oh, no back throw. Oh, oh misses it all. He kind of fell off a double jump there. Yeah. Yeah, this is not looking good for Kais. This is a hard comeback to me. And Brian has just looked, as the set has gone on, he's just looked better and better. Yeah. He is adapting really quite well. Really figured out all, like, Kais' patterns and stuff like that. And I certainly think this is one of the better stages oh for this God, matchup. Oh, my God, just nice. like that. Yeah. Three 
seen him going back into the corner with an overshoot boost grab and back air. That was just a good one. That was a good game. Nice nice job to Brian. I like the adaption there. I think, honestly, Kais was certainly implementing a lot safer landings and like timing mix-ups with his glide this whole day. So, I like to see that. Usually, man, he usually gets hit in the same spot every time. Yep, so now we're going to have Loser Semis, which will be Fresh versus Malachi. And, uh, take a quick pause. We're on the bathroom real quick. Can we pause? Can do that? Uh, I'll be back before they start. Alright. I'll be holding down the fort anyway. Yeah. What a tournament. I mean, things have things have gotten a little bit crazy. I mean, my gosh. You can see that Brian has gotten so much better. Like, his Sheik is just going in, dude. Oh, man. Watching Brian's Sheik go in is so crazy. So good. Yo, what up, Bird? I see you in there. Ronan? I see you there, Ronan. Who else we got? Ooh, 75. Yo, I love this. Everyone say, yo, what's good, dog, in the chat? Yo, what's good, dog? We're all the way in Lake George. Why, you might ask? Great question. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be another... Oh, boy. It, it's like... It feels like Ganon is just the sweet spot for this tournament. I mean, ice season to ice season to Luigi. I mean, playing Ganon has been disgusting. Oh my god, you ate a lava cake? Dude. Come on. I want it. This dude ate a lava cake? Was it from... Where was it from? Did you make it? You didn't make it, did you? Yeah, I was gonna say. Is it from Domino's, bro? Oh, you made it? Ah, oh, it must have been godlike. What's good, Ronan? I see you. She. Rice crackers. Rice crackers. <laughs> What's good, rice crackers? <laughs> what up, Kev? What up, Kev? Pete's down bad. Yo, why am I down bad? Oh, you know what? I am down bad. Lava cake is godlike. So, yeah, as I've been saying, I mean, now, now, now Bob's Gan is going to be playing as another stupid Ices. So it's like, bro. Sure, Ganon was for Florida, but why is he playing all the Ices, too? It's like, I wanted this Ganon to go away, but this is not happening. I didn't enter today because I missed Reg, and I wanted to commentate, and I kind of didn't want to, like, eat up a theater spot. Like, I didn't want to just, like, beat somebody in Losers or something and then, like, have them miss the theater spot because of that. Whatever. Honestly, it's fine. It's one tournament. Yes, sir. But what we got? Oh, my gosh. There was a time all the way back at LTC where Fresh played Ices against Bob's Peach and actually did pretty good. Once. And I visualized that moment. That was crazy. Oh, Fresh? I mean, Fresh has been dropping everything. Like, I, I think he has a 0% chance of winning this set. I'm not going to lie. In fact, he's going to blow it so hard he might even play Snake. Also, we, where the heck is he? I don't know. Let me get some more water. Be back. Hi friends, it's your boy. Hi, Bird. 
Back and we got water. We're good. Fresh front. You're just trying to spill theater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can put. You can put five letters fresh. You gotta put a T H T R E, I guess. Anyway. Uh, so fresh is in theater now because of this tournament, which is pretty pretty great. Um. But I, I really, I think he has a 0% chance of winning this game, or this set. I mean, 0% chance. I will say Fresh has never beat Malachi, despite being in the same region as him. Ever. For years. <laughs> but he's starting off strong. I, I, I really have a 0% chance. I, I don't know. No, you can't say 0. It's Ice Climbers, bro. Bro, Bob. You can't say 0. Bob. Bob has played all Ganon, has practiced nothing but Ganon, and has another good Ganon matchup. Just the whole bracket of good Ganon matchups. Like, what? It is a good Ganon matchup, but it's not one that he's really played so much, right? I think he played he's against Deadpool. down two stocks. I mean, it looks like he's down two stocks, I'm pretty sure. He's down one. That's right. As I was saying. Anyway. So we'll just commentate the set. I hope Fresh. I hope Fresh tries his hardest. I mean, he does get in. That's great. But you know, still, still go for it. Why do you think he's going to? He is literally up three stocks. I'm pretty sure Fresh has a zero percent chance of winning this game of this set. Oh, I thought I thought he was out again. I was like, bro, is he actually just gonna hit all his handoffs? What? So he misses like twelve in a row and then hits four in a row. Uh -huh. Bob just immediately back to stadium. Okay, I, if Bob loses in five minutes, that's completely acceptable. I know I'm trying to come home. That is, in fact, fuck my car pulls Bob and Brian. Oh man, Brian always is making it to grands these days. No, he's gonna get kicked from the car pool. Super good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Bob changes up here. Probably just going to attack a lot more. Yeah, I feel like he didn't do anything last game. Oof, alright. We'll move up the 0% the chance to like 8. No, no, you're on 0. I'm you, allowed to you move. You committed too hard. No, How did I commit move. too hard? Why, why not? I, you know, I had a change of heart. Fresh has a 0% chance of winning this set. <laughs> he tried to shield Grave Grand and have to In what world? Okay, down throw? Over there? To be fair, it. fresh shield grabs a lot. You know that. Yes, fresh is a very big shield grabber, but he somehow finds that. Yeah. Wave dashes in just enough. All right, so Malachi started this game off much stronger than the last, and now he's got good corner pressure going. He is, and like I was saying, he's just so, so good at platform movement and using the platform to shy drop like that to mix up the direction that he's facing. Yeah, especially with like viewer versus cape and stuff too, or like viewer versus float. There's a lot of strange mix-ups that keep him safe. Which Bob doesn't use nearly as much as he could. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I feel like that's never been uh, a Malachi thing. Oh, he just exploded! <laughs> what the heck happened to that guy? He was like a Ganon in a hundred. Why did he die? Yeah, sometimes you just gotta give up, bro. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> like, alright, just I'll die and stop handing me off. Oh, the back air. It's like yeah, I got evasive. Oh, man, Bob gets it. Alright, Sopo against Ganon. Tell me what this matchup's like. Sopo, it's looking pretty good for Sopo. Yo, yeah, Sopo actually favored. <laughs> Sopo significantly goes up the tier list when he loses Nana in the Ganon matchup alone. Yo! 50? Or more? That's great, man. 
Up tilt. Dead. Nah. Oh, evasive. Doesn't get a full match. Oh, forward throw. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> the schmicks. Yeah. That's, that's a really strong on DI out. That is for sure. Straight up a kill throw. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. The banana. It's like, it's like Peach's forward throw, right? But she has zero mix of them. <laughs> yes. Zero mix of She's nothing. Alright, but Fresh has brought this back. Okay. Wow. In extreme overextension. That was, that was just bad. <laughs> Fresh, if you're listening to this, Jesus, man. <laughs> Yo, Pete, I thought you told me I wasn't allowed to call people bad on commentary. I just said don't be mean. You did say don't be mean, that's right. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I'm allowed to knock Fresh's head off, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Fresh, a uh, big fan of that turning winner, Nana Blizzard. He can't, he cannot oh, that. see that. Oh, he's gonna get handed off! Oh, but he mashes! He got out of there! That was... That was such a match. Malachi running away. I'm out of there, too. I get out of that grab, I'm gone. Oh, come on. Nana's just kind of spinning in place. Can't get her, can't get her. She's too evasive. I'm just, yeah, when they're not synced and she's on the platform, she just does some crazy stuff. Oh, he just left. Yeah, hey, that was a good shark by Fresh. He uses the blizzard to kind of force Malachi to jump, right? And then sharks up air. Yeah. It's pretty formulaic here. That is, that is nice. He's classic for sure. I mean, it's not... You can't do a whole lot when you got Nana blizzarding anyway. It's like, oh, she hit him with the best ice block of all time. How is she so smart? I swear this Nana would go at least like one, two in holes. <laughs> She might. Oh! That was the craziest ledge steal. Yeah, he's gonna die for it now. Actually die. Alright, we got Bob bringing this one back. Oh. Uh, no, oh. he's dead. Why didn't she just beat? That, that is unpunishable. Triple roll. I actually hated every one of that. <laughs> one of those moves. Oh, that's a grab. And he misses the SDI. Yeah, he does get the SDI. Oh, oh, she throws up, he misses the C stick forward. Alright, one more. Maybe one more grab from Fresh. It's gonna be rough if Bob gets. Oh! Misses it again? He doesn't even get the back air. Gets whatever that was. Ooh. He grabbed from behind! That was insane. You think he jabbed? <laughs> you think Bob jabbed? Uh, I, I feel like he must have moved. He must have moved. No way that grabbed it. Alright, we got it. We actually got a 2-1 here. What? No, we don't. We have a Sorry, 2, two uh, I said 2-1 for no reason. I cannot believe you put $3,000 on the set. Insane to me. Insane. 2500 It's way different. It's a 0% chance of winning this set. Man. Oh, fresh head. Such a good shot there. Oh. Malachi, so Malachi did say for those, you know, who may be asking, like, oh, why is he going Peach or anything like that, you know, um, or Zero Suit, whatever. He said, this tournament, he just wants to go all Ganon. He didn't, like, grind too much leading up to this, so Ganon a little more low maintenance. And paying off, I mean. And paying off. Again, a pretty good bracket for Ganon. Ganon and fourth place. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of a lead here, certainly dies to the next grab. Now smash, up smash, ice smash. Take it around it. Up smash down here, yeah. Alright. Fresh yeah. taking no damage after getting Nana punched in the face. Oh god, Nana is truly the sacrifice. Oh, this is big. Jab grab. Nice, nice classic. Are we doing forward air? We are doing forward air. You can infinite handoff on the ledge there, but no down smash. Where's down smash, huh? Maybe we got the whole theater invite for Fresh powering him up. Looks kind of good now. 
Except for missing all that grabs. Oh, no ledge. Instead of he, instead he jumped off forward. <laughs> yeah, I think he was wanted to save Nana. I didn't expect her to go so far away. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Down throw up smash. Not going to do it. It was so close. He's 84 after the hit. He even touched the blast up. Wow. That was jab spot dodge as an approach. Yeah, kind of sad that that worked. Smack those knees. Oh man. Okay, I mean, we got Sopo again. If he gets the grab, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, well, he's in uh, the stage. In the stage here. He can make it. Oh, God. Dead guys here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, even, 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 even. Relatively good stage for uh, Ganon here. This is, can certainly deal with it. I mean, they got ice blocks on the platform. This is like an infinite. <laughs> this feels infinite to me. It's like, it's like the player is trying so hard to like zero in on one of the ice climbers and get them away, but it's like the other there's another one sneaking up on you. Yeah. Look, there, there's so much space covered by spinning people. Icies do love to spin, don't they? They have so much spin. That's oh, a spin. And that was wow. a spin. Insanely Great spin by Fresh. Yeah. Oh, he does the evasive spin. <laughs> oh, that was kind of big. That was that was a big, big old back there. All right, last stock scenario, possibly Bob's last life of the tournament. Literally a zero percent chance of success for Fresh. Here. I've never seen the easiest reverse thirty in my life. Ooh. Oh my God! Please don't reverse three. Oh, I want to go home. Can we just have Bob throw? <laughs> Come on, Bob. Just, just get out of here. Oh, grab. Oh, nope. Rolls. Grab. Nope, that's Ganon. Okay, so there goes Nana. So now it's just up to the Popo. Okay, if he grabs him, he's at seven. Oh, God. Bob is being a super wall right now. Running out of shield. Oh, but gets the grab. Order. Yep. That is... I guess that just works. Fresh just dies. Yo. Fresh drops his controller onto the floor. Alright. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go, Kevin. 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 Um, <laughs> So what were you saying about 0% chance? I'm going to use the wrong decimal. Uh -huh. Alright, so we will now have Fresh continuing on in Losers Finals against Kais. Oh, everyone in the venue was saying, let's go Kevin, so we hit it. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't think they played it earlier today, so. Uh, they have played in the past, but it's been quite a long time. Yeah. Where was it? Was it six? Did they play at six? I thought they played at um. Or did they play at the tournament. LI thing? No, I thought they played at that tournament that you went to. Is mass thing? No, the one you went to that. <laughs> they might have. That tournament was upstate also. Where is it? CGC? CG yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, they CGC. CGC? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just saying shit. Anyway, Fresh has been to Hog and he, he, pretty recently with Gallo. And they, they played there. So. Uh, unfortunately for Kais... He has to play against Icy's. I mean, that's kind of how it is for everyone in the bracket. You're just trying to avoid Icy's. You're trying to avoid silly things like Luigi Squirtle. It's tough. But, uh, you gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta do it. You can't, you can't win a tournament these days without beating Icy's. I mean, that's, that's facts. So we got Fresh, and we got Tech Boy. I mean, they're here to stay. Oh, Kyle won CGC. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> 
Happy belated, you know what I mean? Good job, Kyle. Congrats. Alright, here we go. Game one. Let's, let's see how uh, Kais does here. Yeah, Fresh coming off a, a couple of nice wins, so I'd say that he is... And here we go. Oh, he's going for the real chain grab. The infinite handoff. He's actually doing it. I guess maybe because of Charizard's big body, he's like yeah, okay with it. Yeah, that forward smash will do it. All right, guys, probably not feeling too great. I mean, again, he did kind of just lose to Brian. Uh, and, and again, Fresh coming off two wins. So, yep. it's a little Kaisa, momentum is a little Kaisa strange. He's a competitor, though. You know, he's been playing a long, long time. I feel like he's used to being in this position. Yep, yep. I agree. I think Kais is, can keep it together. But I will say that I won't say that his morale isn't down a little bit. Last set was 10 19 at Hog, and Kais won 3 1. All right, perfect. Fresh has been lab ratting it up since then, though, I will say. So he was probably a little pra out of practice in uh, October. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Kais Chris. does have his. Um, you know, I know he doesn't really like Charizard Icy's too much. He does have Knuckles. It's not, you know, it's not, oh my god, he died. played Tech Boy at, at Blacklisted, right? And then played Knuckles, didn't yeah. he? And the Knuckles actually took a game. And it was like, what? <laughs> it was a big, wow, moment to see the Knuckles take a game. But I don't think we'll see the Knuckles here, honestly. I think these are going to be close games. Oh, that was a great ice block. They should be dead. Ice smash. Okay, I like the, I like the extra rotation. Shores is dead for sure. Yeah, so I I actually think that stall of ice is uh, very bad. The it's slow. Delay? Yeah, it's slow. Most characters can just grab it in between. Yeah, I think specifically fresh uses it when the opponents are definitely way too close. That's fair. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go, Kevin. Uh, so we got Soko against Charizard here. Probably not particularly good of a matchup, but you know, I'm not, I'm not really the expert. Yeah, clearly. Thank you for recognizing that I was so right. <laughs> Honestly, just a nightmare for Soko, I think, in this okay, one. Okay, should be there, yeah. No chain grab like Ganon. I mean, not a lot to go off. Anyway, synced up. Fresh has 36% little lead here. Small lead, but all it takes is one grab. True. Or one grab from Fresh to make it a way bigger lead. Nice. Oh, oh no, he gets stuck way. in the corner. He gets grabbed. Damn, how did he get grabbed back for missing his grab? That, that is and tragic. He is dead. I wish we could see a little bit more of them in the player camp. I'm not going to lie. But, uh. Fresh yeah. in his. Oh, this, this is. Oh, no, wow, this that is was the, the chain grab definitely works on Charizard at least once or twice. Nice one. Got him. In the corner. Alright, we got something going on here. Uses That's... the belay. Yep. So, no, the side view, rather. Uses that to uh, the squall hammer to try to get them reversed back on the other side of him. Yeah, but it does give the opponent a bunch of different uh, chances to STI up and get out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nano was running out. Oh, so when Kai's down here, she just DI'd off stage and got obliterated. Exploded. Again, go for the edge cancel, but Zopa's not really going to be able to contest that one. And Kai's oh, going for a crazy recovery. Clean extra damage. You really want to avoid getting into that, like, 100-ish percent range against Ice Climbers, because you will die to the grab-up smash. Yeah, and that grab-up smash way easier than anything else they have to do. Yeah. In fact, there's really no messing it up. Oh, nice drift by Fresh to get back. Kai's not covering it. Oh, <laughs> good edge cancel with the Nair into the insta fastball back air. That was really cool. Oh, oh definitely messed side. up. Oh, dead, yeah. Ooh, steps on her head. I think 100 head. damage is still enough. Because you get, what, down throw? You get a pummel, a down throw, and then the up smash? That might still just be enough. Yeah, I mean, well, 112 definitely. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, so... Those are into Tice really oh. can't get grabbed when they're oh. synced up here. Oh, oh, oh that, that was, was big. Good. Oh, oh man. Gets stuck coming off the ledge. Not, not he, the way he wanted. Had he hit the down air, he probably wouldn't have felt pressure to jump off the ledge. Right. So, he almost definitely wouldn't have jumped into that. Nice. Let's go, Kevin. Alright, so Kai's counterpicking the battlefield. Um, generally considered a good stage against Ices, but, you know, 
We'll see. Yeah, it's it is interesting because they do get grabs on the platform, and then you can also get ice blocks on the platform. Oh, he's hitting it. He's hitting the. Oh, oh. he missed, missed that one, and then goes for a humongous overextension. Yeah, that never would have killed in a million years. <laughs> that was definitely trash. <laughs> like, okay, here, nice and ten extra damage. Oh, get him. Uh, that time it worked. That did kill in a million years. Okay, Fresh got a little bit of lead here. Fresh ledge, sure. That hit. I think, yeah, he probably did like, jab or something. Oh, oh another oh, grab. Nice. Caught like his dash back, I guess, oh, and got hit by the blizzard, and then just was not ready to DI. I think he expected to run. Okay, yeah, he didn't get the kill, that. but I mean, it's 112. I mean, that's the whole stock. That's that's the thing about Ices, where you miss that stuff and you still got 112. Dead. Yeah. No, no, not Ooh. yet, not yet. Charizard, big boy. It's a big boy. Okay, it's the glide. Alright, we got Hell on Earth coming out. Okay, yeah, Nana might be dead. No, not even close, actually. Okay, still alive. She is just messing yeah, around. she's so evasive. <laughs> Kais has enough time to kill her dash across the stage, kill French also. Alright. Okay, so uh, Kais picks that up, going to the ledge there. You know, instead he just jumped. Ooh, gets a perfect shield, but not oh, enough. Oh, man, that was, that he was picks, not he good. He picked something weird. Not, not a good time to grab, I think. Yeah. I think you just have to, like, get yourself out of the corner first. I don't know, Charizard grabbing Ices in general seems tough to work with. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is smashed the eye down grabs. there. This, this is what Fresh usually be doing in bracket. Yep. Yeah. We do any of this today. If he starts hitting these against DVD in Grand Finals, if Private Lee gets there, I don't know. Much closer set than it may have been. I agree. The set will be a little bit closer than it was. Alright, just open left again. Get a couple of chain grips here. There's a back on stage. Doesn't land though. Yeah, that, they, they do have a very good back throw. Nice extension by Kai's the silk up here. Uh, they do have a good back throw for setting stuff up. Alright, fresh taking a little bit of time. It's alright. You have your angel platform. Oh, he gets like a still in. Okay, a lot of stuff coming here. Kais, again, kind of just approaching the ICs just head on. I feel like, especially as Charizard, you have a lot of different avenues where you can get angles of approaches with, like, the nair through the platform, and, like, you can land behind them or, like, do a hit. I think there's a lot of different things you could do instead of just one forward dash grab or, like, dash jab like usual. I think it's fine against other characters, but ICs specifically... Okay, well, it gets, gets hurt Nana with not too, too much percent here. Was that? Nice. that was good, that was good. Yep. People actually all day have been catching on to Fresh's drift back to ledge. Yeah, he, he does it a lot. I like to see all the adaption here. Alright, one grab. Now it's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, okay, good DI on the up throw. Oh, oh smacks. Not quite enough. Oh, Nana's going to die. Uppy, uppy. Wow, he could have up at any time there. That huge for, uh, for Kais. Oh, but the down smash. Oh, one more of those. I don't know if Kais can live another one. But does he need to? Oh, it's a back air. That's going to do it. Oh, how is that yeah. strong enough? It has how much growth? Is it? It's a lot. 112 or something? It's a very strong move. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah. What is it? It's like 12, 12, 30, 112 or something? Yeah, that was just a little. I think that jab was just a slight overextension by uh, by Kais there. I think he just needed to kind of dash back and play it a little slower. But you want to like, like you see, like this is your moment, right? So you yeah. want to like extend it. I just feel like Kais's avenue of approach needs to be mixed up. Like, he, like right to start basically all of this, he just jumped over Isis on the platform. Fresh was just like, no, it. got him. It was like, you have to just be a little bit more. I don't know. Proactive. Yeah. Oh, fresh start in this game, first 30 seconds with a handoff, zero death. Alright, guys getting the grabs here, splitting them up. Nana's doing whatever she's doing, man. They're synced. <laughs> That's the worst thing ever. You get them de you get them desynced, and then you're trying to work on them, but, you know, it's hard to hit them all. Oh, no, he, he got the forward throw there again. Yep. And now he's got the handoffs. Yep. I mean, this is 130. Right it's, yeah. yeah, overkill. Kais down to two stocks here, fresh up two, zero. I mean, losers finals. Oh my God, that was, that was so kind of sick. Yeah. Every, you know, every now and again, fresh will do some crazy shit like that. Oh yeah, fresh got some real crazy tools, like setups and whatever else. Like that's the icy sauce for sure. You don't yeah. get to see it too often, but. Okay, 
Okay, that should do it. Nice sweet spot back air by Kaius. Yep. Alright. We're gonna get a super jump, as we usually do. No, Kaius doing that. <laughs> that was, I was gonna say, the quickest Nana kill I've ever seen, but no, he didn't clean that one up. It's so hard. It is The hard. ability to snap ledge. And the fact that she jumps, can't, meteor can't, not really meteor, well, she can. You can make her a meteor cancel, I think. Yeah. Okay, uh, nice. Um, patience and neutral by Kai set up. Oh, he went for the up B, but kill Nana. he's gonna get hit for sure there. Ice blocks, yeah. Okay, interesting jab. Oh, that is close. Oh man, fresh being real. <laughs> fresh being real right now. I like what I'm seeing here. Okay, nice forward top by Kai. Fresh is gonna save her if he can. Oh, fresh went for the grab and get it. Alright, we got some forward again. Okay, he uses the flare blood to that nice lingering hitbox. <laughs> Hard to deal with Charizard's Nair is so cool, I will say. Alright, get the ledge. And we're and flying. Spot, but continuing the edge guard. Again with the drift back, drift back yep, it. covers it again. Time with the back air. All right, one grab, up smash. You know, get stuff. Enough spot for Kais. Oh, I kind of liked the idea of the up smash there, but it was too slow. Now I got the back air. Yep. Oh, no, misses the chain grab. Oh, gets the chain grab. Now he gets the handoff, and let's see if he can finish Wait, it. For the, he actually, I think he purposely helped. Yeah, I think so too. That was trash. Shop style. <laughs> I, I feel like. Okay. Fresh, not notoriously, the guy to play a set and scream out Giffy Cat after <laughs> yeah. getting the combo. He has done that. That's so funny. Uh, tough position for Kais, man. Your last stock, you're, you're really well a couple hand off away from dying up smash. I mean, yeah, get a split. This is what you need. Oh. Alright, that's kind of desperate. Oh, Fresh is the right read there, it. but... The that's up smash, top platform, that's going to be it. Fresh does it. Yeah, Fresh does it. Wow. Fresh going kind of crazy. I really thought he had a 0% chance there. Yeah, I thought I knew you did, but like, I got, I got faith in my boy. I got faith in my boy. Roy. Roy. Like, there's no one I trust more than Fresh in a sense. <laughs> Oh, I just gotta keep you know what's so cool? First of all, he was saying the gamers be average, and boy, he, he'd be proving it instantly. He just goes to the tournament, boom, everyone average. <laughs> it's like, dang. Alright, I mean, you're right. Fresh and DVD. Alright. If you're just tuning in for some damn reason, welcome! The grand finals of the Lake George Snowdown, featuring the one theater spot that has gone to Fresh. FS Fresh takes the theater spot at Lake George Snowdown. Well deserved, my God. He is actually cleaning house. <laughs> the only one who stands in his way is DVD, who stands tall in everyone's way. <laughs> oh, Fresh making his tag. I made it. <laughs> I. Made it. So he's, that's his three games. Yeah, this dude. This dude actually clown. So Fresh was eliminated. Well, sent to the losers bracket by DVD in winners. Yeah, I think it was a three-one. It it was a three-one. So I mean, Fresh being able to take a game from the Toon Link, I mean, that's pretty good. It's, it's notoriously a pretty tough matchup for uh, Icy. Might have played correct. Yeah, Brian's Toon Link, um, I think he's lost to Fresh once. I think once, yeah. Like Olympus or something? But, uh, I mean, this is like a new and improved Brian, and we have a Fresh that's like, getting back into the game, but like, pretty much there. Get in there, man. Hey, no! And so we're going to have a lot of bomb tosses this game. I mean, this would be one of the reasons why you would see Toon Link uh, counterpicked against certain floaties and slow-ass characters, Peach, Zelda, Mewtwo, and the like. Just really good at positioning with projectiles, bombs, and boomerangs. 
It's a lot of extra damage and tough to play around, especially when you don't fully get to control your computer. <laughs> Nana is kind of random, kind of a genius, kind of dumb as hell. <laughs> so. And Brian gonna certainly make sure that she's gonzo. And now this is gonna be against another tough matchup here. We got Sopo against Toonlight. And I will say, again, Fresh kind of running the gauntlet here, playing against Luigi, Ganon, Toon Link. That sucks. If you're an Isis player, you would cry at that bracket. But Fresh, I mean, he's here in Grands now. I'm not really sure how the Isis Charizard matchup really is. I feel like Isis is fine there, but... Yeah, I think they're riding that one for sure. The other one is doing it? <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, man. Fresh has got a bomb! <laughs> Brian's got a bomb! And I will say that, like... Boy, is this a slow one. This is certainly a slow start. I mean... So, Nana's been gone for maybe a 45 yep. seconds yeah, now. Yeah, so this is, this is what makes Brian so good, right? DVD. He, he killed Nana, and he's not rushing to kill Popo. Right. He, and he now he's not going to rush to kill Nana again. He's going to, uh... I agree. Fresh talking to him. I also think that Brian did take a lot of extra damage that stock. It was end up being pretty even, percentage-wise. Fresh gets a grab. It'll be exactly where we were. Is that exactly how Brian should be playing? Probably. Probably. He's never lost to Icy besides Fresh once. Yeah. I feel like we should just take his, uh, his play as gospel. He does do quite yeah, well. See, there is his overextension, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. I mean, you see the Icy's and hit stun, and you want to kill. You want to kill. But having two of them is a problem. I mean, Sync Dice is scarier than any other character. I mean, one grab and you're... Besides Donkey Kong. This might be the one. DK does have... The thing is, DK does have to let go at some point. These don't... Yeah. They, they never let go. He let's go when he punches you. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, back to the match, Pete. Oh, Brian, uh, I think, did not wiggle out. Yeah, that was interesting. Just didn't get the eye toss, I guess. All right, we're getting ledge here. Now Fresh does have a little bit of a lead here. Let's see what he can do with it. Nana dies immediately. And now we have Sopo, which might be able to chain grab Toon Link for like maybe 40 or 50. Or maybe none. I don't actually know. I would imagine pretty far. Smack him. What's so fast? Smack him so Ooh, fast. Smack. Yeah. Grab? Oh. Oh, the F smash. Brian, maybe trying to buffer a roll there, because that's me. Getting yeah, the F smash. I think, I think you're right. I think you wanted to buff a roll. But it, I mean, technically that might have actually been safe on Sopo's shield. Ryan doing lots of great bomb play here. But Fresh, you know, doing a pretty good job of, of not just folding to it. Like, keeping it only 28% this whole time. I mean, I don't know. I think Fresh is playing pretty good. And Ryan is probably just playing right. This is good. This is, I like what we're seeing here. Look at that. Not, I mean, he overextended a little bit with the up air, but then, like, he's just side to B, sink him back up and retreat. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Brian, I mean, Fresh has, Fresh, Sopo, has not taken any damage in, like, almost a minute. Yeah, little jabs. ACR time started. Look how, yeah, look how stupid fast ICs are. That That's was more gonna like make one him. millisecond from the bomb popping. Fresh is on point. On yep. point, taking a lead. And this looks, again, this looks catastrophic for Ice. I mean, Toon Link flying around constantly doing shit at you. Again, Fresh just using his shield very well. Fresh grabbing three times in place. That's strategy. Because now Fresh has his down smash. Alright, good edge cancel. That's tricky there. Gets grabbed. Now what, dash attack maybe? Yeah, that's kind of like, you just use the side B to get down, and it's good. Yep. Order. Yeah, right, good dash attack. Dash attack, extra damage. Lots more damage here. Rush with the stock lead. Yep. Big percent lead. Sobo has Brian. probably another up air there in, the, in there, too. Oh, bad DI in the up smash. It's gonna kill him. Yeah. Wait, that was bad DI? Yep. Yeah. Okay. DI behind. Like... Yeah, yeah, I, just, I didn't see which way he got grabbed. Okay. Okay, one grab. Whoa, what? <laughs> okay, 
I like what we're seeing here. This is a little crazy. Lots of bombs and lots of defensive play. Yeah, so now Brian is going to do his absolute best, right, to not get grabbed, not overextend at all. Oh. But so po, great way dash out of shield by Fresh and yeah. that down smash. Yeah, and now Brian so kind of cornered. He is completely cornered. He does get a hit off there, but they do get synced again. D sinks them now. Oh, he doesn't go for dash grab. Oh, so close. Brian does escape with that nair. A little bit of blizzard. He can keep his double jump for that. They're trying to grab the, the thing, but nice actually gets super split. And he's gonna he's gonna go after Fresh here. That was oh, that very turd. <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> ambitious. Nice will stay alive there. Yeah, unfortunately for Brian, I mean, the fruits of his labor only just cause ice to be sinking. Oh, like, blows up the best bomb. bomb of all time! Oh! oh my God, they're just so fast. Like, like Toon Link was already running for help, and they were there to destroy. Like, with a smash attack, I mean, what, what character gets to smash that fast? They be smashing. Fresh takes game one. On a pretty damn neutral stage, so that's... Good looks for Fresh. I mean, he does have a lot to go. He's got to win two sets against DVD. This stage actually didn't look that bad in the first set that they played. I really like how Fresh is playing this. I know what I'm trying to go home. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Uh, Fresh is playing extremely slow and, and right, so... Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's just a reminder, Brian did kind of throw himself off stage at, like, 30%. True. It does happen. You know, Nana, sometimes Nana just blows it, so... Sometimes you just blow it. All right, Brian pulls a bomb right in Fresh's face. A lot of damage here. The bomb's gonna blow up. Get a little bit of blizzard. It's the shield up. That's nice. Brian retreating to the toppest platform. I mean, that's why the stage is here. I mean, yeah, those platforms are just so great for Toon Link to jump back and forth between, pull his bombs out, mix up where he's oh, going. That that was and ambitious. That was an extension by Fresh. <laughs> All right, nice cleanup there by the other B. Brian just gonna take to the skies. I mean, he's gonna do his best to. It's 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 like a really grind for 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 Brian honestly because he's gonna go as high as he can and even if he he lands a bomb I mean it doesn't always grant him the split he does have to do something else after it but boy while he's trying to do this Chain he's getting grabbed 62 percent off of one grab yeah that's rough not over yet I don't even think he has a jump he does not no yeah that's that's it. gonna be it roll up my fresh he could have probably pulled another bomb and then made it to the wall and then done the infinite wall. Maybe. You think so? Yeah, if he did another bomb pull. Instead of the up B to get back. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. And now Brian, down two stocks. Down two stocks on his own counter pick. I mean, I, Fresh oh, just like, I, that didn't do much, but he's clocked in. He knows exactly what Brian's looking for. Like, I would say that Fresh is placing himself in his hitbox is way better than the first set. This theater spot might have hyped him up. Hyped him up to no end. I mean, this monster. Oh, look, look, look at it. Foresight. Yeah, I guess that one. Foresight. What do you mean? <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> jumped out of it. <laughs> Foresight. Look at him. Spinning. Yeah, the Zare dash attack. Gonna be a nice combo. <laughs> For Brian. Alright, Fresh dropping from the Angel platform here, retreating to the left side. Brian resorting to his bomb throw technique. Getting grabbed. Again, it, it's hard. It's not free. Even, even, to, even. This is like one of the better stages for camping on and like staying in the air and staying away. And and I mean, Ryan's still getting grabbed. Yeah, it's just hard. I mean, it is just hard. There's two characters to play against, and they're both. If you get grabbed by either of them, it's it's bad. Look at her. Oh God, she sent. Yo, know, I wonder if he used the get up attack on purpose to accelerate himself over there. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like, damn, he got over there and it just assassinated Sopo. That's going to be LB. That's LB. Oh. All right, so Brian took two in a row. Yep, yep. Took a lot of damage, but... One grab, one back air, one smash attack is certainly going to be lethal. Chat got some crazy ideas that Brian's going to try against uh, Zelda. He's just going to keep going Toon Link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toon Link is certainly going to be Brian's pick here. Yeah, Brian going to the ground? I mean, does he need to? Probably not. That down smash is going to take it. Like, like, we saw Brian just fall to the base platform, throw a bomb right in his face. I mean, look at him, just 14 for nothing. 
Brian actually just shitting the bed. Get out of the and bed, that Brian. Grab no, this is any sort of handoff. It didn't even look like he went for it, actually. This is a uh, big damage now. Yeah, this and is bad. That was great read by Fresh. It's not him in the corner, corner, but like a scary part of the corner. Another grab. Uh, another grab, and he gets the. That should do it. Damn. That's a two stock on Brian's counter pick. He's probably thinking, huh? <laughs> So now what's the counter pick? I mean, we're going to ban the biggest stage we have, and we're going to ban the jankiest stage we have. So are we thinking something like Delfino's? It's the next biggest stage, has a huge wall for uh, Toon Link's wall jumps. Right. And lots and lots of space. I mean, the platform layout might be better for following up off bond interactions, but we're going to go to Battlefield anyway. Did they up until? Yeah, I think so. Damn. All right, Brian going to resort to the top platform here. It's a little different, but, I mean, ICs are not slow vertically. Like, they just jump it up no, there, and they're instantly they're not. there. They have, yeah, their up air is a really, like, very good move. You know what from the jump squad is? Is it three? three? It is three. Okay, I'm yeah. like, man, they be jumping so hard. <laughs> oh, escape. Yeah. Okay, Brian, perhaps being a little bit more aggressive here. It's like... It's like, I, I like the bomb play, but maybe he just plays it too long. Right, maybe he's not mixing in enough enough aggression uh, as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. It's, it seemed like every time he tried to mix in aggression after playing a big bomb game, he did get instantly grabbed and messed up. So, I think maybe more of a uh, aggressive sword game. Oh, fresh oh. mixing a sledge dash. It looks like he went diagonal. I think ICs have a horizontal, do they not? I couldn't tell you. I was I thought they had a horizontal, but I could be wrong. If anyone in the chat wants to confirm or deny, let me know. Anyway, back to lots of bombs. That should be it, yeah. Fresh react to that roll in the grab. Yeah. It's good by fresh, bring it nice to a three stock a piece. Oh, not a great bomb pull by Brian there. I, can, I Honestly, I am seeing a lot of sloppy bomb pulls. And, I mean, again, he is certainly full force into Sheik now. Uh, this is definitely a good counter pick. It's totally fine. But I can see some of it. I can see where he's being a little sloppy. Some of the bomb pulls are strange. And, like, when he is going for approaches, Fresh has always got the shield grab on deck. Alright, this is good. This is a good split. Uh, he probably could have... Fuck me! Could have what? Fuck me! <laughs> good job! <laughs> I, 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 that's fine. Next! Good dash attacks. What do you want to say? Yeah, Brian playing uh, this this game very well now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many bombs. Oh, was it Link that can't pull three? Yes. Oh, okay. Link can't pull three because it like overloads the game's memory or some shit. Like, how is the bomb different? This one does more hitboxes. Yeah, I don't think so strange. What does that have to do with? Anyway, nice stab. Nana's is not going to defend herself against something like that. Yeah, Nana just be like, all right, yeah, you can stab me in the head. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Yeah. Oh, a beat. Oh, wow. That was a fast. Not a fast fall, but a fast fall. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> By Fresh, cutting his side be a little early there. Nice to get the ledge. And Brian has a full stock lead. Snipes Nana there. That was good. Got Sopo. Get her out of here. And now Nana is certainly going to die. No, she's too evasive, man, and this grab is going to be, <laughs> oh man, he tries to, I think Fresh got to just throw there. He could, yeah, position throw, just maybe a back throw or something. Yeah, he can pump it, uh, he won't mash too much. Nice. Oh, I, nice I, I there. yeah, I like what Fresh was going for there, but Brian countered it perfectly. Okay, yeah, I mean, Brian playing the smaller stage, way better. Well, not, not really smaller than Wario, but... Not smaller at all, actually. I guess not as vertical. Anyway. Brian's such a good user of Zare. Ooh, nice uh, fair. Great out space. spacing, yeah. Brian's certainly trying to make sure that this does not go. 
to a second set. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but Fresh is not giving up. Nice job using the ice blocks to keep the ground, make the ground lava. Yep. And then Brian get caught, caught up in there. Yep, yep. It's like in a scramble, a scramble situation like that, Ices would love to set CC down smash. And they're going to win most of the time. Yeah, but yeah, because they're off beat, right? And so they uh, interfere with your crouch cancel. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, just that is enough to, like, make a that mix-up. You know, they, they just hang out in the air a little longer than you think. The side beat. Ooh, gets Anna out of there. Ooh, has a shield. Right. Oh, tilt oh, Brian just goes down. That's another... Only two SDs by Brian, it seems, so far, but... Still necessary. Oh, good split. That, that was a perfect split. No shot, that was landing. Oh, it's a nice block. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, goes for Sopo. Sopo, yeah. Not enough yet, but... Oh, they synced. Oh, they're synced. They are synced. Oh, first is nothing. Yeah, Brian had a crazy mash there. I can hear it from here. Oh, super dead. That Everyone's be, dead. Yeah. Everyone's dead. Oh, nice up man. This is six and a half mini game. What was that? <laughs> no, five and a half minutes. Oh, thank God. It's eight. Fuck, it's eight already. Damn. I thought we'd be out of here by eight. I'm not going to lie. Just a, just a wrong guess. <laughs> All right. Going to Green Hill Zone. This sort of doesn't really make it so Brian can't camp as much. This is an interesting counter pick by Fresh, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you're always kind of close to the ledge, right? So he's got his handoffs pretty much everywhere. I agree. I, th I think he's grabbing Brian less than he has grabbed anyone else. That's to keep in mind. Uh, I didn't, again, I should have paid attention. I didn't see what Brian banned. Do you know if he banned Smash from FD or something? No. But I would imagine those would be his fans. Yeah. He could try something like Metal Cavern. Wouldn't be a maybe a terrible choice. I've not made this. This could be fine. It's a little I think strange. This is, I think this is the best pick. Provided those are the two bands. Metal Cavern. Uh, I truly am not entirely sure how Isis perform on Metal Cavern. It's like they don't have too trouble, much trouble getting to the platform because of their. Uh, Jump squad. Ooh, uh, it it would have been crazy to get a drop zone back air there, but I think that was the ticket. Oh, nice. I'm going to dash attack. Yeah, yeah that was good. He's going to go for up to here. Wrong side, but still just enough to kill. Strong enough of a move, yeah. And Brian's going to hang out on that big old platform up there. I mean, there's now that platform is extremely high. There's nothing they can do to get up, up there when it's on the side. Yeah. The stage to generate. It's really high. No one can get up there. Falco, Lucas. <laughs> it's funny. Falco might be able to short hop, like late uh, shine land on there. Short hop? No, no, no. Like full hop shine land. That's a short hop tonight. Yeah, yeah. Full hop shine land. Fresh has no shield here. Now Brian is a. Uh... Electing this at this time to be aggressive. Oh, oh this is the grab. He's gonna die oh, for he's it. missed the grab. Okay, it's three to three. Uh, 72 damage, kind of a lot. That's enough to split them pretty far. Yeah, yeah, first taking a lot of extra damage from these bombs. Oh, I like this at uh, the Z drop there. Oh, jab grab. Grab. Okay, now we got something. He goes for the forward air. Gets the spike. He actually lands it. going to give Fresh the lead here in game four. Yep. Fresh has been practicing, like, the a the actual infinite handoff a lot and not the forward air as much, but, boy, we are seeing the forward air a lot. Yo, get him! Brian shielding, trying to dodge all the damage <laughs> possible. Still got clipped. Yeah, and Anna going absolutely she holistic. Just simply too good. Like I'm I said, rolling. She one, rolled away from one, that two and fours. One, two, and fours. Oh, get her? Or him? Oh. Okay, let's get the, uh... Oh, this is... Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's terrible news. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, Nana's got the ledge. Nana's off the ledge. God, Brian's so good at controlling his grabs. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he grabs just enough. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Okay, I... 
It was like, could Fresh deal oh, with this? Wow, that was a super snap. We got up smash? Oh, she didn't even have to go anywhere. Ooh, I think he should have been DI'd slightly more in. I think a slight he does win. Higher lift. Yeah, higher ceiling on this stage. Oh, nice not rolling, actually. That was that was some patience. Nice Big stuff. Oh, they both send him. Oh, she just jumping. She left. And she's she's here. She's alive. She's synced. So put the one messing Brian up. Brian kind of mashes Nair out of there. And oh. that'll kill those. And then yeah. he's going to dash it out. Yeah, fresh drifting back. That does happen if you hit the ice instead of side B. One of them just falls for some reason. Like, invincibly. Like, it's really no, strange. No, no, they're not invincible. Well, it's like... They're just, he threw they're a bomb there. Ball. Yeah, yeah, but like he threw a bomb at both of the ices in him. How did one get out of the hitbox? Is what I mean. How oh, did one like they just get it? How? What? I don't. Know. I like forward air them and one still falls. Yeah. Don't look at me. I'm, I, look at the game. This is close. I am visualizing a, a liar. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, so the popcorn's gone. Corner, yeah. And, oh. Oh, Fresh is gonna tap him. Yeah, doing great at these sharks and up airs. Oh, oh god! If he had crouch canceled that jab, I would have shit pants, dude. Dang. You gotta find a new ride home. Oh. oh. That, I mean, that was bad. That was a bad spot for Brian to walk home. Oh, again, if he's crouch canceling these jets, he could get a down smash out. This a is big. big. That might kill Nana. Yup. Okay, now we have a tough spot. Oh my god, the drift. Okay, I mean, Sopo's alive. Sopo's on the ground. Oh Sopo's down dodging. Throw. Up smash. Good DI. Not dead yet. Can maybe survive even another one. Oh, okay, guess the ledge. Jump the boomerang. On his way back. Dodges everything, except for that one. Oh, and Brian brings that one back. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's curious. a big momentum swinger, I think. I think, uh. Oh my god, he did 912 damage? Oh my god. 912 is, uh. That's a number. That's a number right there. Oh, he wants to go back. I'm not sure, but okay. Serb, if you're watching this at any point in the future, if you ever complain about Icy's again, I'm going to run you over with a truck. We'll rent the truck. <laughs> anyway, here we go, game five. <laughs> All right, so back on Green Hill. Oh, so we have a grab. Grab the. the uh, oh, got him before he can get to the platform. Yeah. Now this is an actual handoff. Misses. Okay, but he misses the the killing part of it. Yeah, I mean he handed. Don't do it. Oh, now we're getting ruined. Not, not too big of a punish because they're low percent, right? So, like, what can you really do? Oh, you! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so Fresh, you know, I said it was a momentum swinger, but he's still looking good. Fresh is oh, actually. Gonna get a grab. Again. This is gonna be a chain grab. Okay, we got the handoff near ledge. He's gonna, gonna get be? the spike. He Boom. Goes for it. Oh, he gets it. It is the spike. I. I'm not gonna say oh that God, Fresh is fine if this goes to the statue. I'm not. Yeah, if Fresh wins this, this does extend the. This does extend our stay at the tournament for about 25 more minutes. Tragic, perhaps. But Fresh is fighting for his right to be a competitor. It's okay. We're we're happy to stay. Oh God. What time is it again? Oof, not great. But that's okay, because we're here. We're happy. I'm happy. Great up by Brian, and he's going to uh, bring okay, us to that. a one-stock lead for Fresh. Yep, we have to love how Fresh is playing this, except for... Oh, oh man, that was a crazy grab, but Brian with the oh. crazier mash, and another crazy We got another mash. crazy mash. Brian's actually just, like, got the mash on deck. Uh, Brian is a coder. Could this be the macro? I, I like with you. <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm just, you know, possibilities are endless. Alright, that side B could use some work. All of this could use some work. Actually, this whole stock could use some, some elbow grease. Some elbow. Yeah, definitely some elbow grease needed. Oh, life insurance bomb. <laughs> oh, was that the, bo the Bob bomb? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actual trash. Alright, I mean, Blizzard is bust. Brian is down by a clean one, though. Back yeah. air might 
Okay, okay one back there is not going to do it. Oh, I don't know why I didn't see that. The background, the background's white. I don't know. Like that, those clouds. Are Fresh, dark literally away. cheating. You're using the background of the stage to hide his character. Yeah. Oh, they're falling. That was sad. How did he? How did he? Genius. Brian back on the uh, the platform. But oh, 22. Master Mar. Master Mar. Oh, good roll read. Oh, reaction. Okay, Brian got great STI. Now Brian's the kind of guy you don't really wanna have to side be in down air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's handoffs. getting out of those ninety nine percent of the time. Alright, taking still a lot of chip damage. I mean he's throwing chip damage, but like the ice the ice box are uh, relentless. Alright, snipes Anna a little bit there, he gets a split. The man is kind of just spinning. Oh, I think he did not expect to get the hit Ooh. there, so he wasn't ready to react. Another good nice, bomb. Another bomb. Oh, Nana misses, but moon Nana. lasers. Down smash. He shielded the third oh, hit. This is gonna be sure. damage. 18%. Okay, nice. Not grabbing there. All right, gonna be a tough, tough land here. Oh, the bomb kind of causes the land to happen. More damage. More damage. There's three each. All right, we're hanging on the ledge a little bit. Bombs are pretty good at hitting things that are off the ledge. They're definitely not going to take it. We're <laughs> last off nice. situation. Game five. Brian Pink up here. The upbeat. Oh, not okay, enough. not yet. Big, <laughs> nice, big stage, but one grab is mega curtains. Uses oh, his double jump there. He might die. Yeah. Oh my God, we have a bracket reset. Wow, a bracket reset. I'm so excited. I actually can't wait. <clears throat> And Brian just lost his Taco Bell privileges. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right, well, hey, you know what? Honestly, I will say, Fresh being able to take that set from Brian is kind of big. I, I mean, there are so few players this year who say they can take a set from Brian. So few. It's <laughs> February. Okay, well, this... I mean, I guess the rankings did just come out. It's first the first one to take a win on Brian. Fresh the first one. Fresh is number one right now. <laughs> not number one right now. Fresh is number one right now. Who did he beat this tournament? Malachi, Kais, DVD, Flarp. Is that? All right, here we go. Game one of set two. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so we're gonna see bomb throws and more icicles, and that is pretty this much is just the hypest gameplay I've ever seen. Do you think they have the Russian thing on? I know, but I wish. That's just godlike. All right, so we got some kind of handoff, but 62 damage is way less damage than even the failed handoff. So I don't really know what happened there. You know, it's, oh, do you think Brian would ever, like, switch back to Sheik and give that a shot? Oh my god, he's dead! I hate this game! <laughs> or, like, play Ike or something? Do you think he would switch? He might. Maybe he'll do Ike. Ike is, is pretty good against Isis. But it's not free. Isis is not free. No, no one's free against Isis. Um, no. I'm actually not gonna lie. I, I think if he were to play Ike, he'd have a way easier time. I think Brian's yeah, Ike is good. <laughs> yeah, his Ike is very good. And, uh... You kind, of have to, you, you, you kind of have to think less, right? Like, Tillich has such a small little sword, he's got a space stuff so much. Oh, but Fresh is now up two stocks to one, only taking 40%. I wouldn't say think less is, is the uh, thing, but I would say that you, ha you have to hit way less buttons. Yeah, 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 same thing. That is not the same thing. <laughs> I think I honestly believe that if you were to say, if you were to yell "play Ike" in the middle of the next game, and then someone else was like, "Yeah, just play Ike," you would actually just do it. Oh well, he's dead here. He is down four stocks to one. Okay, now is the perfect time to yell "play Ike." <laughs> I mean, Ike might be his best time. He's not going to play Sheik. He wouldn't play Marth. I really spit with that one, but uh, I don't know who else he has. He wouldn't play Zelda. No. Although, like, I think he wanted to at one point, right? No. 
No, he wanted to play Zelda against Sony. Did he? Yeah, he, he practiced Zelda for a little bit. It was just like... I think he practiced Zelda so that if he smashed the switch to Zelda, he knows how to play her. Oh, that's fair too, I guess. Yeah. But let's not count Brian out. What was that grab? I'm counting him out. <laughs> After that grab, okay, well, there's no I told you already that Fresh is literally cheating. Ike! I swear, I told you, I literally, did I not, did I not, you guys heard that, right? You guys have to have heard that, I'm right next to the mic. Okay, so, I mean, again, not a completely free matchup, but you have to do way less, in general. Uh, it's hard to, it's hard to explain the differences between, like, playing Ike against characters and, and regular characters, because Ike is not regular. I think he's just different. He's just right, different. So so I was talking to Brian about his Ike, right? And he, <laughs> you know what he said to me, which actually really makes a lot of sense? He said, Ike is just better to win. Why? Because he still, like, loses to the top tiers, but not as bad, and he still, like, bodies the dummy characters, <laughs> but better. Huh. I suppose that is true. Like, look at that, Toon Link's not killing there. <laughs> Toon Link is not killing there. No, fresh, the chain grab is over, he's at 50, it's over. There's no more. <laughs> no more chain grab. It's different. But already performing perhaps quite good. I mean, it really isn't over until the Sopo dies. It really is not over until the Sopo dies. Really, nothing makes any sense until the Sopo dies. Uh, okay, I, I, I kind of like that idea by Fresh there. Oh, that was quick. Uh, oh, Fresh swinging. Brian's going to hit that tipper back here. Not going to be the strong hit, so we kill. Fresh doing a good job covering the left of the ice blocks. Oh, Fresh oh, had, down I don't think he had a rebound. Fair. Yeah, nice down throw fair. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, Ike. he's Ike now. Oh, my God. We're good. All right, now I... Uh, Brian is lost to stock. Oh, best F session of the game. <laughs> Who said that? Get out of here. They suck. Oh my god, he got another like inside body grab. And, oh yeah, he's gonna get fair spike. That was that was a different kind of fair spike. That was like a that was a different kind of fair spike. He jumped him. he jumped the hell out there. Yep. And now Brian somehow finds himself down to stock because Ice can clean house. But now we have forward air. Uh, that was smart of Brian to grab ledge there. That was smart by both of them. I think Fresh like thought that Brian was going to do something like that. Yeah, so he just oh ignored Nana. That was good. I like that. Up there. Up there might have been able to get a Yeah, spot. I think up there you definitely want a sweet spot, right? Uh, you could probably have set up the sweet spot. It would have been awkward. But first hit, strong hit on, on DI. Bad DI might have killed him. I have played Fresh a lot with uh, Ike, so he's not going to be a little a brainlet in this matchup. There he goes, being a brainlet. <laughs> Brian is daring. Brian jabbing. has become a brainlet. <laughs> Instead of pressing the B button with two Link, he's pressing the A button with Ike. Okay, which is arguably bigger. Not even an arguable. Yeah. He's like, uh, who does it right? Okay, no spike, no spike. Oh, nice ice block. Get some blizzard in there. Oh, uh, okay. No space this blizzard. Big for Brian. He's gonna be alive here. Oh, jab. Okay. Oh, mega mash. Mega mash. Oh, uh, yeah, smash no might have done it. Oh yeah, second oh, time. Yeah, so it's weird when I gets hit by a. Blizzard, it's so much harder to jump out for some reason. This guy's got big feet. Very big feet. It's, it's like... Uh, it's weird. Oh, he's going for the up air. Not a ton of range on that one. And that is flying into death. Smack. Big forward air. Looking for another back air off the platform, as we do. Spacing a little bit. Fresh getting in with his down lightning. Down throw fair, should do it, right? Oh, yeah, down throw fair, good, yeah. All right, last stock here. Been performing better than Toon Link, but holding down into the blizzard's not going to do it. Yeah, you never want to do that. 
Yeah, Fresh just kind of needs to... Fresh is going in a lot. If he were to use the Blizzard in the Icebox a little bit more against Ike, it's really effective. Oh, he missed the SCI because he was mashing. Is this going to be it? Oh, he goes for just the chain grab. Okay. Uh, I mean, 100. Oh, oh that's a jump. big one. Gets back. Goes for down smash, but... Man, they, they just shielded. Ooh, that's not the good hit. Oh, switching targets. Missing a bunch. Nana going absolutely ballistic again. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh. Never seen Fresh Crouch that long. Not though fair. It's just too fair. Oh, that's right. That's where I thought. Forgot that works. Garbage game. It's bad. Oh, catches him right away, and that's gonna be Damn. it. But that did go pretty well. That did go pretty well. I wonder. Fresh is probably pretty happy about that. I think Brian is also pretty happy about how it went, but Fresh is probably like, oh, thank the Lord above. Brother. I had brother in there. Okay, yes indeed, we have a 2-0 right now for Fresh in the Grand Finals reset. But that is how Grand Finals set one started as well. Alright, we got the Ike. I Live think Brian does need to use more back air in this matchup, right? It's very, uh, yeah, very, very good on shield. He's good on shield indeed. He keeps getting reversed, like, butt grabbed. Ike is a big fat idiot, and Icy's have a big fat butt. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> that does, thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Not throw fair. Alright, Nana just kind of doing whatever she wants to do, she's just doing it. Yeah, uh, Brian, so yeah, more back air is, is quite good. Again, ice blocks are, are just good against Ike. Oh, that down Damn. smash is going to take it. Yeah. Oh! Bri Sorry. <laughs> I was like, Brian never grabs because you wouldn't grab Ices, but Ike is one Ike of the characters is, that gets to that's grab true. Ices. true, yeah, his forward throw is very good, right? Is, forward throw is good, but can be countered, but back throw is very good. And oh, yeah, because he, like, teleports. <laughs> Meta Knight teleports. Ike, we, st we step. We be stepping. Uh, is it teleport? Uh, he moves further than Meta Knight. He might. He might move further than Meta Knight, but Brian has not hit the Z button once. He's not even thinking about it. Like, it's really good against Icy's because all they knew is shield because they know you can't grab. Right, right. We grab. Oh, we grabbing at No, that's that's an excellent point. Yeah, I've noticed he just hasn't grabbed at all, man. I grab all the time. Um, but I can't tell him. I can't yell grab. That's that's a, That'd be an absolute coach. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody in the crowd were to be like, Oh my god, why aren't you hitting Z button? She, you! I'd be like, Well, I was thinking that, but I wouldn't say it. Why did they speak like that? Where are they from? Oh, he got it. He didn't grab there. Oh, nice job. Maybe that'll be like a little trigger in his head, like, Oh, wait, I can grab. Or not, you know, whatever, that's fine. Good nares. Just keep racking up that damage. You can't kill him until you rack up that damage. It's the right. reverse on the jab, which is unfortunately going to sink them up. Yeah, that, that's too, just too, too fair. tight of a punish. Just yeah, fair. just fair. You could do fair. You could do just quick draw attack. It's another thing Brian is not using is quick draw attack at all. Yeah, I was going to say, like, in the first game, I felt like it would have been really good in that last stock situation. Yeah. It's, it, like, Brian's spike is, is very, like, basic, <laughs> fundamental, just kind of using the range, using the attacks, but it's, it's like most people, when they, like, use their pocket Ike, they don't have the, like, Ike nuances. Right, right. Which makes sense. I mean, I'm not that main of the character. Nice fair. Yep. Brian bringing this back to a pretty even game. Two stops. Two stops. Fresh, I mean, this is, again, Brian's last chance to keep it in, to keep himself in this tournament. Fresh has already has snagged that theater spot. Brian is sitting pretty as the king of the world. I don't know. Just saying stuff now. Commentating. This is me commentating. <laughs> yeah. Nana is crying for help, and Fresh waits just long enough to get her, but I mean, oh, it's too does long. not drift properly. Now he is down a stock. The Brian Ike, the bike, as I like to call it. You oh, do there. always say that. He did get the grab there, the, the back throw. Yeah, I am always talking about the bike, you know. Yeah, I was always like. He does say bike a lot, and, like, it makes sense. Right. Yeah. 
Good back here. Here we go. This is what we need. Oh, okay. Good side B to kind of interrupt Brian there. Good nares. Uh, that nares probably grabbed a Oh, nice up air, yeah. I, I he did that before. That's yeah. like a really uh, godlike actually. Yeah, very good. It stops the opponent from getting that ledge. Oh, wow, Anna misses her ledge tag. She messed up like four times there. He just spent this whole like two minutes saving her. Down throw, no fair, no jump. No jump. What do we got here? Some little sign B, back throw, sure. You just down throw nice. them, right? Like, you can down you throw fair again. You yeah. can just forward throw them off again. It's like, I think back throw was shit there, actually. <laughs> back throw absolutely moronic in that situation by Brian. That was really dumb. <laughs> All right, moving on to Smash Town, which is true. This would be a, a perfect counter pick for Fresh. It's a nice flat stage for him. Not too many places for Ike to go and escape the uh, icicles and whatnot. Oh, no, gets grabbed right away, right Ready in the grabs. corner. Ready grabs. Fresh should know this timing. I mean, goddamn, do we play a lot. And if he messes this up, I'll make fun of him. And I don't have to. All right. Fresh taking only less than 20 seconds to uh, wrap up that first stock. You only get four. You only get four, everybody. Four stocks. And if you didn't know how Smash works, if you take damage, you can fly far. <laughs> oh, my God. He's pulled her from so far away there. Yep, good blizzard. Oh, but he, it's like you get the nice blizzard, you got the icicles coming behind it while approaching. Nice forward tilt, that'll do it, yep. Why, why would you do like approach? You just got, like, sat on it. Oh, okay, I like, I like the backing up there by Fresh. Ah, uh, he's kind of going in with some strange stuff there. Does get some weird side B clips. Grab? Yeah, grab. Oh, escapes, yeah. Again, uh, but you... Watch out when you're when you're down here and someone like Brian, he's getting the SDI. Oh, oh man. He challenged and destroyed Ike's forward air. Icy's have the superior weapon. Just a wooden mallet against Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> the sword of sacred entities. It's like it's a stick. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, and it's uh, certainly in trouble here. How is Fresh gonna get her out of this one? By just, just get doing out. nothing. Yeah. She is so much better. Noob! Noob. Up smash? Yeah. See, why would you need F smash when you have up smash? Garbage move. Oh my move. god, F smash is so broken. You have no idea who you're talking about. Brian winning. If Brian F smash more, he's winning even more. It's like F smash right here. What's he gonna do? He jabbed and pooped on. What? No, he'll die. Up smash. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, 5% separates these two. Oh, I uh, probably wanted to see some sort of B move there. <laughs> Brian with a double roll, terrified of his uh, first life. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Doing a lot of platform movement here, but now it's paying off after the platform has left. Fresh rolling. Brian jabbing hardcore. Oh, oh, they landed. Weird way. Oh, oh interesting the counter. counter. Okay, we have to do this. No, you just F tilt again. He always fades back. Yep. <laughs> he could have F smashed. It's like my balls don't <laughs> Oh, okay. Fresh has lost it completely, and that's just fine. Um, okay. Nana's gonna die. As she's like, I will yeah, now yeah, go to my partner. Nice. nice by Brian. That's always tricky to tell. They have a lot of drift. Yeah. All right, Brian again Brian ahead in this one. Up a stop despite starting the game getting zero to death. Yeah, instantly. <laughs> what are we looking for here? Oh, down oh, smash. Oh, the balloon. That, uh, that might have made a Mrs. L cancel. Yeah. It made a Mrs. Fastball. Oh, get the back here. Nice F smash. Get Samus' F smash. We're doing fine. Hit Samus' F smash, he would have killed him. Himself. Okay, so Fresh brings us to last stock. Yes, sir. Last stock. One grab could be tough. Oh, rolls into the blizzard there. A little strange. He could have F smashed that and killed him. Stop that. <laughs> That's my blizzard again. Can't jump, but. Okay. Oh, Nana rolling towards Ike there. She is uh, in a precarious spot. Brian is being extremely looking unpredictable, honestly. I, I'm like, bro. <laughs> okay, wow, they go in. <laughs> that was an in move. 
Oh yeah, that was a good shield drop. Really good shield drop. That 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 was the shield drop for the game. Oh, misses the forward air. Uh yes. Yes. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. oh, 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 oh. He gets out of there. <laughs> Does end up getting out of there. Oh, no grab. Even a perfect shield. No grab. Shield push back. Nice. Oh, Nana is vape. Vape nation. Oh, this is really good for Brian. Yep. Oh, F tilt would have been nice there. Ooh, good crash cancel, but not nothing out of it. Oh boy, you're fine actually. Do not die. Okay, a little bit of damage. Down Grab, throw. Down throw fair. Ooh. Escape. Tough spot for Fresh. Ike is a monster oh, man. Brian covers the roll in. Oh, oh look and at Brian he, in the player camp. He gets the, the pop off stretch. The pop off stretch. The pop -off like, stretch is so funny. The grand finals. Oh god, is it nine yet? Okay, it's eight thirty. Oh man. Oh, tough spot to be in when it's a uh, three-hour ride back to your home. That's three right. hours, he says. Three and a half. Could have been four and a half. Like Spencer. Spencer's never getting home. He's young, though. Spencer's never getting home. Wario Land. No. Interesting pick. Okay, Interesting I think Ryan is quite good on platforms. And uh, we will see what's up. That is all. Yeah, I was going to say, I do think Brian is very good on uh, platforms. Ice is also has some some stuff. I mean, you throw Nan on the platform, and if she, like, blizzards on a shield, Sobo can go up there and just beat the uh, grab. You know? Brian, right, right. That's like a weird, busted-ass thing. Oh, okay. Tech Boy... I feel like in these positions, Tech Boy would have been able to get follow-ups. Or I guess punishes on, on Brian's position. <laughs> uh, Down smash? Oh, okay. Oh, he should have smashed. I thought he was gonna. He, oh, wow. That was a tragic event for Fresh, but great for Brian. Oh, she's still here. Brian doesn't go for ledge that time. Playing extremely safe. Stupid, unbelievably safe Brian is playing. He is as if his life, his his whole career, his entire Yu-Gi-Oh depends on this. I mean, I guess Fresh is kind of doing the same. I mean, he's on yeah, the other Fresh side. Is, Fresh is playing very patiently. He just wants his, his opening. We got it. Oh, yeah. Big overextension, though. Yeah, and now he's in super trouble. He is, in fact, dead. That is... Under the umbrella of super trouble. Oh, Uppy. Never. No. No? What do you mean, no? No. He could have landed that and been fine. He wasn't going to kill. He got some damage in there. Um, that was kind of turds, though. Oh, that was, uh, worse. Um, okay. So Brian needs Brian another to get some hit. damage here. That counts. Uh, yeah, fresh, uh... Brian being kind of an indomitable wall here. A little back air, but man, this is not enough to kill a man. And you have a nice recovery high. Oh, oh god. That? I'm surprised nobody swung. Oh! I have shit banged. I'm still coming in the guard. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, nice. Fresh, maybe uh, focus next time. Oh, Brian, do a uh, mistake roll there, that's for sure. Not until it's not going to cut it. Alright, not a whole lot happened after that semi-tragic positioning. Yeah, this this whole game, they're both just playing so careful. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, this is game 10. This isn't This is really just going to be a matter of who wants it more. True. Nice there. Escapes, once again. I feel like you could just charge quick draw at that, right? Uh, I'd have to see it again, but the answer is probably. Ooh, grabs. Oh, uh, that damage. wouldn't have killed anyway, not on this stage with the wall. Ooh, now it will. This will, yeah. Yeah, that's just it. Damn. Big F smash. Yeah, right. Fresh getting back to the ledge there. Oh, immediately gets back here. It's kind of big. Ooh, short hop. Not enough. 
holds him in shield, but Fresh does nothing. She might die. Ooh, close. Alright, they are mega split. I mean, Sopo is sadly under the ledge and now dead. Okay, we're at two stocks each. Oh man, this is this is this is clutch. This is tight. Even though it's pretty slow, it's, it's not actually slow enough for a timeout. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, Brian being very careful about his approach, just staying on the platform. Yeah, he's, each time. he sees Fresh is trying to shark him. Oh, oh, that was oh grabbed. Nice get up attack. Get up attack yep. yep. Oh, grab. That was yeah. terrible. That was farts. That was, yeah, that was turds, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's... And Fresh is up. Game 10 Grand Finals. He was up last on two. Brian took it back. Oh, 28! 28! Ow! Yikes. Oh, Bayonet, too. I mean, you were never getting past that. Back airs. Okay, so pulls one is off. Or swinging into the opponent. Oh, this is a lot of damage now. Yeah, yeah, a lot of pressure on Bryant to just not get grabbed or down smash at all. It's oh, tough spot going high again. Okay, Fresh gonna have to side B. Nana, oh, she does actually end up sinking. Or, you know, side B. Oh, this is, oh man, this, is, this is not looking good for Bryant. Oh, it's B. up B, that's, that's it. it. Fresh, Fresh takes is gone. My god, yeah, Fresh is gone. Damn, that was so good. That's just, that's just such good game, but it takes two sets off DVD. <laughs> Evil killer. Oh, God, not the tits of Mario. Oh, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. <laughs> Fresh has, ex has exploded, but that is... Oh, come on. Yeah, you're messed up. Stop it. I mean, Fresh wins. Fresh wins. Wins Snowdown at Lake George and takes a theater spot. Well, goddamn deserved. Uh, well. Damn. Great tournament. Thanks for running. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Alright, so yes, so we still have the remainder of the HDR bracket, and we are going to transition over to that, finishing up with top eight, some good players there. Uh, I know Frozen, she's doing real well. Yeah, yeah, and for anyone who doesn't know, HDR is kind of a mod on Ultimate, making it basically PM Ultimate, you know what I mean? It's kind of like Melee Physics Ultimate, as, you know, we have Bra uh, PM as Brawl Physics. Yep, Bra so, so stay, stay tuned, tuned for that. that one indeed. And we're out. Good shit.